what's up what's up it's the arthur motes experience with deke i'm arthur motes and that's my main man deke what's good bro everything is good bro everything is good oh deke last time i seen you i was 35 and uh you know things were kind of looking up but still at the same time it was a lot of uncertainty surrounding everything you know surrounding quarterback moves what moves could have other moves would there be any additional moves at other spots or the field you know but yeah 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 man i went to sleep i woke up next day bro 36 has been off the chain so far d i'm just like i don't know which steelers team i'm watching i don't know which general manager i'm even looking at I thought I knew this team. I thought I knew this general manager. You knew Kevin Colbert. I, 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 you didn't I, know Omar Khan. Could I thought I knew Omar. I've t I thought I knew Omar clearly. I don't know Omar. But I love what Omar's with this in the wire. Omar's coming. Omar's coming. Yeah, bro. So so it's been just a great time in terms of my professional squad. Then collegiately. We got action, baby. Brooklyn. Where we at, Brooklyn? Yeah, yeah. We got, got a little, little March Madness action. You know, Wisconsin. I hate it got to be y'all, but it's got to be y'all. So, you know, I'm hyped up about that. I mean, just, just across the board. I'm just, I'm just, yo. We even got a casual snow today. It was like the weirdo just here, take a little flurry. I'm, I'm enjoying everything across the board, bro. I'm back in the saddle with you, man. What's, what's the word, bro? What is the word, man? Because you know we got all of this we going to talk. All of this. So out of the three things you talked about, I'm happy about uh, what Omar's doing. Shout out to Omar. Shout out. Shout out. Happy for you and JMU. R respect, Not happy respect, about respect. March Madness and the NCAA tournament, though. I would actually agree. I did have, like, when I saw y'all not make it, I did feel some And I'm not happy about the snow, either. You don't like the snow? No. I thought you liked snow. Yeah, from like December to January, that's oh, it. It's time enough. for spring. It's fair time enough. for golf. It's time for 60 degrees and it sunny. It is definitely time for golf. Initially, I was thinking, oh, I'm going to play golf this week. Nope, nah, nope, not yet. I still got another week out of wait. Yeah. But, yeah, man. It's been yeah, the NCAA play. tourney, why I don't like it right now, yeah. and I'm boycotting it. I'm not filling out a bracket. I'm not going to go out of my way to watch the games. I'll put it Respect. to you that way. I know we're going to be meeting later yeah. this week, and you even said, oh, we could go out, and the I, NCAA games are going to be on. You, Fine. If they're on in the background, look, I'm not turning it on in my house. You, you notice why I said Boy Saturday. That. That's why I said Saturday and not Friday. All right? Friday and Sunday, I, I, I know I got action Friday. I might have action Sunday. So I don't want to put you in that position either. You know what I mean? So that's why I was like, you know, Saturday, bro, we ain't tripping. Just games on in the background, man. It's, yeah. yeah, it's not going on my TV. Yeah. I'm not spending any of my own money or time. Respect on that, bro. On Respect. trying to get these games in my in my uh, front view here. I, I, I'm not at all. Now, I, I, it's disgusting what happened. Do you have any response to the people bringing up the no city game, the, the no Duquesne pit basketball game, and ultimately... You know, looking back on it, they're saying that that could have been a, a difference maker. You guys get the nod versus not get the nod. Even though we still felt like y'all should have got in based on your resume. It's like... Response? Who's bringing that up? That's, I mean, that's people brought it up, that's, bro. That's, that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Well, no, because they were talking about the strength of schedule and the rankings and everything like that. And then because Duquesne did get in and based off of their RPI, they're like, yeah, that could have helped you guys out a lot. Didn't Duquesne win their uh, tournament? Yeah, but that's also why they were saying that it could have helped you guys out. Um... Listen, all the metrics are out there. Yeah. Pitt is top 40. and all. Like, they literally made up metrics. Yeah. So who gets in the tournament becomes more clear. Like, these net rankings and yeah, all this stuff. Yeah, that's what I thought too, bro. Yeah. Pitt's in the top 40. Yeah. They're the top 40. I, I say right now, based off how they've been playing, they're like a top 30, 35 team. They could play yeah. with anyone. I told you. Like, Not. they were toe-to-toe -to -toe with UNC, and 62 points. And they, it took UNC hitting two blinded yeah. threes, like, just – out of their ass to yeah. win that game like whatever they were good shots but right, right. i mean Pitt was right there should have yeah. won the game actually the commentators did say that too and even when they were talking about the uh 
the team is getting revealed, man. They were speaking highly of you guys, bro. Jay Bellis. Yeah, man. They spoke real highly of you guys. Bro. Jay Bellis, I'd say, knows basketball. No, no, no. Jay definitely knows basketball. And he knows music. He, he Shout out to the Jeezy. Says Pitt is attorney yeah. team. Yeah. Said Pitt is attorney team. Watched them live. He was mm -hmm. actually calling our game. I think it was, was the Wake Forest game. Yeah. He was calling that game. He said, yeah, this is a tourney team. I, li I like Pitt's medal. And then he, he kept saying it, too, he throughout did. the no, whole facts. process, the whole facts. selection process. And even yeah. without us getting snubbed, he was like, this is a shame. Yeah. Pitt should have got in. There, like, there's no question about it. So from all the rankings, I get the whole out-of-conference strength of schedule thing. Yeah. But they have teams in there with worse out-of-conference strength and of schedule. That is also true, bro. And worse overall records. That is also true, and bro. And worse net rankings. And Talk all that. about it's, it, bro. Talk about it, bro. They play with y'all, bro. Listen, I, I've, I've, face, I've witnessed two of the worst snubs in my lifetime over the course of the last two or three months. Oh, who? I didn't know you were about to say past two to three days. I was like, all right, I got this snub. What's the other one? I was nervous, Deke. I ain't know. I was nervous. I'm sorry. Two months. I, I mean, when were those NFL honors? I'm sorry. I guess this was this was this was within that a was month a and a half. That was last month. I've witnessed yeah, two of the worst month. snubs in my last lifetime, month, bro. Over the last month and a half. Seriously, man. TJ Walking snubbed the depoy. And Pitt not being in the NCAA tournament right now. Because I, I it, here's my problem. It like it like breaks my brain a little bit. Yeah. I look at everything. Yeah. The rankings with Pitt, TJ, all of his stats versus Miles Garrett, all this stuff, Pitt yeah. versus all these other teams that got in. Yeah. I'm like, I literally can't comprehend yeah. why Pitt isn't in the tourney and how TJ Watt didn't win the deep point. Like it's yeah. it's like the same thing. It's like the same uh like scenario <laughs> honestly it's just this <laughs> this is college basketball it does not the other one was the nfl you. honors it like, does it's not what i mean it's, it's like insanity like yeah, it's it's I actually mean, insane yeah. how like you could justify pitt not getting in <laughs> but know, some of these idiots are doing it like these bracketologists and, and these so-called bracket bracket gurus for the market yeah, these they guys are idiots yeah. these guys are idiots because that wasn't the first time like we've seen pitt not be in the bracket either that was the other part obviously most of us like oh all right okay but Y'all were like the hot button team a little bit low key, like, cause people did feel like y'all was legit. But Clemson yeah. got in, the sixth team in the ACC yeah. got in over the fourth team in people the ACC. People were pretty upset. Like, about what, the what the one. hell is that? People got pretty upset about what, what now, the hell did is Clemson that? Clemson do ACC tournament. I missed them. Did they do anything? They didn't go as far as Pitt. So yeah, I we, we were in the then. final four. We were in the semis. Y'all head to head. Who won? Uh, I don't remember. In regular, okay. it, it might have been one and one. I don't know. But okay. but we were the fourth team. They were the sixth team. Yeah. We had a really nice road record, too. That was that was one of the things they were pumping us up to. We beat yeah. Duke on the road. Yeah. Duke's a top 10 team. We beat Virginia on the road. Virginia made it. Like, there's an argument. I did Pitch should have been over UVA Virginia, too. Get in the joint, bro. But, like, yeah. whatever with the Virginia stuff. Like, Clemson being in. Are you kidding me? The sixth team in the ACC. Pitt was the fourth team. I Won you, a bro. game in the ACC tournament. I see you, bro. I was see tied 62-62 with UNC in the yeah. semis with minutes left. Like, what, are you kidding me? I seen it, bro. I seen it. It's a shame. I'm happy they boycotted the uh, the NIT. They're just like, we're, I did we're not that. doing they anything They say our season is done. Yeah, they say our over. season is over. I was it's like, over. oh. It's almost like TJ Watt walking out of the NFL yeah, honors. Facts. I, I respect it so much. It's like, bro, facts. no, there's, there's no argument for Pitt not being in the NCAA tournament. We did yeah. everything we had to do. Yeah, did we screw but, ourselves a little bit early in the season? Want, but you wouldn't want to see them go NIT and run the tables no, now? No, not at all. No, no, no not at all. No, screw that. All Season's right. over. All right. No, we, we play for real chips. I mean, NIT still count, bro? No, no, you no. Know, still count, bro? No. Yeah, man. I think this is better for recruiting and stuff anyway. Just goes to show how real we are as a program. I hope it work out for y'all, man. I hope it work out for y'all. Yeah, it's a shame. Yeah. Hey, I mean, it's it's such a damn shame. I'm so happy yeah, they man. boycotted the San IT though, because that I was actually gonna make a video yesterday <laughs> uh, when I heard the news, and that's literally what so I was gonna say. I don't want to see the play at all. I, I, I was literally gonna say that. I was gonna say let's not play in the NIT, but Pitt ended up doing that. I'm like, all right, good. They agree with me on this. Respect, respect. Well, there are multiple types of fans. There, there are that type where they like, I don't want to see any of it, and then you got the other ones that are like, bro. Go in there and kick everybody butt. At least we sent it a message that we should have been a tournament team, but this proves it. So either way, it works. I love it though, man. I love it, man. So yeah, yeah, very, very interesting, man. Very we, interesting. we did everything we needed to do no. to make it to the NCAA tournament. Could we have had a better season? Sure, but again, based off the teams that got in, yeah, we were better than teams that got in. Look, like, there's not even a question about You know, we already there's had not. our talk. I told you it was simple over here at JMU. We had the most regular season wins, and we still coming into the tournament with the most wins of any team, boy or girls, this year in college basketball. I said, bro, I'm not leaving it up to chance. We got to win this tournament. I don't want to play that game. So shout out to my dudes take care of business, bro, because, yeah, that's that vibe right there that, yeah, yeah. Just like TJ Watt. Yeah, did everything he needed yeah. to do to win the deep play. <sighs> there's not an argument mm -hmm. for him not winning the deep play. Somehow mm -hmm. didn't get it.
It's like that, bro. It's a shame. It's like that, man. I, do we have to rely on AI to get these I, teams in? It's to, like to that pick the right bro. teams. I don't yeah. want to do that. I don't like AI, but when you got humans screwing it up this much, then we might have to. We truly might have to. <laughs> I don't like that because that's another step in robots and AI starting to take over. Like if they start picking the tourney teams and stuff, I, I mean, I don't know where it goes from there, but it could be a slippery slope. But I mean, if we're not getting it right, we might have to turn it over to the robots. This is terrible. Like I said, man, I, I do feel bad for you guys, but all I know is we control the part that they say, if you don't want to leave it to the judges, just win the tournament. We took that route. So shout out to that. AJ Martinez, bro, shout out to you, AJ Martinez. I ain't even peeped that you dropped the, the big boy one to start the show off. Smacks to you, man. All right, shout out to AJ Martinez. Did drop the hundo. So we will pause this convo for you real quick. AJ, salute you from the culture, man. And he says, for the culture, Steelers Nation taking heads Super Bowl number seven on its way. I like that. I like that a lot. That's going to be perfect for the thing that we talk about today, man, because, yeah, we have definitely made some uh, roster additions. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. I like it. I like it. All right. All right. Last thing with March Madness, then. Are you at least going to root for Duquesne since they are the city squad? And you said all things care. Pittsburgh. I'm not, all things. I'm not watching it. I don't care. Even though they're from the city? They are I, literally right across the street from Pitt. I don't have a comment on it. Dang. No comment at this time. No Respect. comment. Respect. So, yeah, that, that was a little rough weekend there. Dang. Uh, no. From that snit, college basketball, yeah, sure. But, no, everything else was good, I'd say. We'll talk. We'll talk. All right, y'all, let's start it like how we always do, man. Drop it in the comment section where you are tuning in from. And then that way, we'll give you those big boy shout outs to start today's show. And of course, don't forget to hit that like button one time for the culture and subscribe if you are new to the channel, baby. Y'all know how we do it over here. Al Moranich is still not worse than Florida State football. Mm. Hmm. Brings up a good point. Dev brings up a good point. <sighs> yeah. Brings up that's legit. That's that's a tough one. That's legit. That really is a tough one. I did feel like Florida State wasn't the, one of the best four teams at the time. That's a tough one, dude. Like it was better for mm. the college football playoff to get Alabama mm. in there. That's but a tough one. Yeah, I I mean Florida State fans should be pissed. I, I understand that. Yeah. Them doing everything right, everything mm -hmm. they possibly could. Now, Jordan Travis getting hurt didn't help them. All right, I'm reading these. <laughs> it's legit, though. I was like, it's legit. It's definitely yeah. legit, though. Yeah. It's legit. I think at the time, I, I, I was fine with Alabama being in. I was. Because, yeah, Florida State struggled those last two. They, they struggled against is it Florida and they still won, though. Louisville. Yeah, they still won. They still won. But, yeah, it's a good thing. There's It's... Not a 14 playoff anymore. It's getting bumped to 12. You see they're trying to make it 16, maybe? I did see that, bro. Yeah, now they're yeah, it's getting too know greedy. What it I is, think 12 is perfect. 12 is <laughs> perfect. Let's stop with 12. Hey, the almighty dollar is always going to win, bro. They say we're about to get these 18 football regular season games, too. Don't, don't trip. Yeah. <laughs> the almighty dollar, baby. 16 was perfect. The almighty dollar. I would go backwards. 16. Uh-uh. Regular season games, six playoff teams. AT, Although Super we wouldn't have, card, we wouldn't have made on, uh, two playoffs yeah. over these last three years if it was six teams. We benefited from it. <sighs> Mr. Steele, four one zero Salisbury, Maryland. Shout out to Salisbury, Maryland. One time for the culture. Yes, indeed. We got. Uh, you know what? Should we read AJ? I mean, he just dropped. Bro, a 50. holy! All right, AJ. You, On top of the hundred, I, I yeah, think we could skip. Yeah, we got to stop it. We're gonna stop that one for that one. Yeah, and yeah. AJ Martinez. Shout out to here. AJ. AJ, you on one day? AJ said Omar ain't the only one that can get busy over here. All right, shout out to AJ Martinez today, man. Salute you from the culture, baby. Salute you. Uh, he says, "I love all of you, all Steeler Nation. We gotta win a Tomlin team Super Bowl, mm -hmm. not a BC takeover." Uh, he's talking about Cowher. This team can do yeah. it. It is truly Tomlin's. Much love to Ms. Trita. She a bad girl. There it is. We're like Mike Tyson heading to the ring about to destroy my homie. There it is. All black, everything in the cutoff team with the low black socks. Can't see those socks. A little short, so short, a little thigh meat. Yeah. Menacing. Very menacing. Russ ain't scared of my homes. 
I ain't scared of none of them dudes. Why would he be? The rest already won them Super Bowl. When you already done one one, bro, it's a certain level of confidence that you just you just you just got that. You don't Beat care what the situation Beat is. Him bro. Last year with the worst team. Yeah. Rum Hut. Two oh four Winnipeg, Manitoba. Shout out to Winnipeg, Manitoba. I've never heard of Manitoba. I like Manitoba though. You ever been to Manitoba? Never been to Canada. Serious. I gotta get you to Toronto or something, man. Get you to the six, bro. Man, man. Pull up on Drake now. Yeah. Man. Not on my bucket list. I'm not opposed to it, but <laughs> not something I'm seeking out like that. Don Juan, checking in from the 229 Georgia by way of 901, Tennessee. Shout out, shout out, shout out. Let me tap in real quick, man. I got the sure. homie Michael Hyrack in the 642. He says in the chat, hit the like button, please. That's what Michael Hyrack says. So salute you, Michael. Light skin Jesus 92 in the 814 Erie PA. And he says it's the lightest. Then we also have Leah Warren in the 254. All right, now. She says, Kenny going to have fun? Holding that clipboard, and she specifically asked, where is John Easton? <laughs> he is definitely, it was only two people I really wanted to talk to today. I get to talk to Deke today. I feel great about our convo. I cannot wait. I haven't even talked to him since, every, I was even ghosting the text. Like, I was like, I don't want no, I just want to talk to him, like, in the moment. Like, live, just, I want to feel his energy. I thought we talked, I mean, me and TG were not, talking not, a little not, bit, not, right? Not since the, not since the feels. We, we, I stayed didn't I say something on you, that? You did. I didn't read it though. I stayed out of it. Oh, I, really? went, I wanted to just. I wanted to stay about it. You and TG. I was like, I needed. I needed to just hear it. I wanted to just you see your us. eyes. I wanted to just just surprise me. I don't want. I don't want no idea coming into the day because I felt like it was a lot of people that was trying to like put words in your mouth, Deke. Okay. They was trying to say Deke is gonna act like this. Deke okay. is gonna respond like that. Deke, yo, you better I check when you. I've tape out. You feel there, me? So you, you it, can it, check it out. I, I know. I but know. you wanted to be blind. I, to trust it. me. Okay. I saw all of it, and I was like, I'm not gonna read. I'm not watch. I was like, okay. no. I want to wait until I see Deke on Monday, and then we're gonna talk, bro. So yeah, you know, I ain't even. I wouldn't even have you on the tape. I was like, nope, nope. All right, bet. I'm just like, quick acknowledge it. I'm chill. So you were the one. John Easton's the other one though, because John Easton was heavy, 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 heavy handed. Heavy, 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 heavy handed. So I, I know that it can't be a scenario where he was that heavy handed. And then after all this that didn't happen this weekend, oh man, I, I he's definitely on my list. He's definitely on my list. So yeah, so yeah. You, you want him to call in this time. Look, look, look. You man. want him to be the first look, caller. I said we ain't doing phone lines today, but when we do phone lines, I might call his phone. <laughs> I might just be like phone lines open. Hey John, I called you, bro. What are you doing? All right, get this off your chest today. I need to hear it. All right. And, and tell me your boy gonna beat all hurts too. Let me hear that next, all right? But that's another day, okay? That's another day. Now they say a John that left to go to Philadelphia. They say he, he took his he took his fandom with, with with Kitty. That's crazy. All right, <laughs> all right. But anywho, anywho, it's all love. Y'all know that. <laughs> Quad Summit at three two three Watts, California. Corey Hugh wins in the eight six four Grayer, South Carolina. And then I will end it with the homie. Oh, I can't make this up. Eddie Sherrick, <laughs> the six one zero Philly. He says really funny. Talking to my Eagle fan friends about KP. No, nah, respect, man. Respect. We're going to obviously tap in, you know, into his dynamic as well, man. It was, like I said, a lot that uh that transpired, man, since <laughs> the last time we were on. I'm trying to think, bro. The last time we were on, we were reacting to Russ signing for $1.2 million, bro. And at that point, Kenny Pickett was still on the roster. Justin Fields was still on a lot of people's naughty list. I'll leave it like that. He was on people's naughty's list. But since then, we've moved on from Kenny Pickett, brought in Justin Fields. We even got a congratulatory or welcome to the family tweet from Russ to Justin Fields from a public standpoint to just end any type of, does he feel some type of way about come Justin on. Fields? Well, we can't say come on now because cause and effect. Like we said, whenever it's Russell Wilson, dude. Cause and effect, bro. Just cause and effect. He that was the um, least surprising tweet action. I've ever seen. His action said he's a good teammate. He's ready for whatever. And he's welcoming Justin Fields. The reports surrounding Kenny Pickett, you know, which Russ signed it doesn't sound like he sent the congratulatory tweet. I was searching all all lot. I didn't see it. Okay. I did see him post a post, but it didn't say Steelers. All right, I did peep that. Too. I was like, all right, fair enough. All right, but what you know, it's been a lot that's transpired since then, bro. And like you said, now we got two other quarterbacks that at one point in time, yeah, not everybody 
a part of the podcast family were as open to the possibilities of one or two or both of these quarterbacks being on this roster, you know? Mm -hmm. So I did want to open it up to allow you to express your feelings about Russ, Justin yeah. Fields, and, you know, just where you stand today versus then, last time we talked. Because like I said, I don't care what door. They was all over here like, yo, well, check you know I wasn't opposed to Russ being here, right? Oh, no, no, I, I know that part. We got that okay. part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you even gave us a little, you gave us some glimpse of that, and we were joking about the whole competition, which I still was saying competition, because even with Justin Fields, it's still going to be a competition. It's always a competition. It's always a competition. Now, do we feel like somebody's, you know, well, got a better chance of winning this Sure. Well, the verbiage that's been put out there is definitively you're coming in to be the backup. Yes, but you've also heard verbiage directly from Coach Tom that also still says to compete and learn and be the backup. Ah, he keeps yeah, us honest. Absolutely. You, you, anybody, and this is the thing, and this is kind of like what I was kind of alluding to with the Kenny stuff. It's like, yo, regardless of who is here, you're always competing. But it's just like, yeah, we know you might not have what it takes to beat this dude this season. But technically, every day you out there, you are competing. So it's like, yo, he got to have that. But floor is yours, bro. What do you want to know? <laughs> All right. Justin Fields is here, man. I know you weren't too fond of him specifically, you know, Thursday prior to leading up to this. Has that at least changed for you and why? I still don't think he's better than Kenny Pickett. I don't. Still, I don't think he's like up to this point. Yeah. Everything that is appealing about Justin Fields is the talent and the upside. And right. I said that weeks ago. Whenever mm -hmm. we floated the idea of trading for him, while it was just Pickett on the roster yeah. and yeah. being a Fields versus Pickett competition. Like I get it. I just didn't want to trade a second, maybe even like a third round pick, and then right. worry about. Picking up this fifth year option, is yeah. he just coming in here gonna be a one year rental when we're giving mm -hmm. up like a, a decent asset? Yeah, you yeah. know, second or third round pick. Like that's because that was the communication prior to the pick so, this week. Yeah, my it. thought mm -hmm. was like, all right, we got if you're if you're gonna go like young, unproven guy, let's see if yeah. he could turn the corner, like be the guy in year three, or yeah. in Justin's case, it'd be year four. Let's just stick with the guy that we got in house. All right. And then bring back Mason because you're not trading up any assets. You can get yeah. him for, you know, what he signed for with the Titans, which was, what, 3.6. 3 you know, yeah, we, yeah. We, we could do that. Yeah. We saw what Mason did at the end of the season. Like, I, I think that would be fine for us, right? right? And then the Russell scenario became available. I'm like, listen, yeah. I'd like to keep it in-house. I'd like to see this through, but I would completely understand if the Steelers brought in yeah. Russell Wilson. 1.2, right? yeah. Completely understand that. So we end up signing Russ, and... I think I had that same. I was like, you know what? Yeah. If anything, now like I, now that it actually happened, like maybe I undersold the excitement or just the the buzz and the feeling that I think this fan base and this organization gets when you bring in a yeah. Russell Wilson. Maybe I undersold that's the that combo, a man. Bit. You had about well, that buzz. Yeah, it's, it's, like, it's, it's a real, buzz, man. bro. It's a buzz. It's real. You could, I mean, you could the feel Steel, it when Russell was doing his press conference. Too. I don't know if you noticed the Steelers social media all of a sudden, bro. What? They're crazy active on the rush, 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 sports center, well, rush, you're rush, even rush, seeing the ESPN, players, rush, rush, like, rush. Like, it feels different, bro. It does. It's just a different feel. It yeah. does. Yeah. Like, it feels like we're more serious about being a contender. Mm hmm. And even like the moves since, it's like getting out there. Yeah. So that happened. And yeah. we were sitting here on Thursday talking about it. I was getting roasted. Kenny was getting roasted. It was it was one of those days. But Kenny was Which, still here though and Kenny was still fighting and Kenny was still Kenny a was part still of the band. Here. He had his hand in the group. Yeah, you Kenny know was I mean? still here. But yeah. I said it. I was like, we we know what this is when you bring in Russell Wilson. And they're they're going to say it's a competition and everything. And yeah. you know, at least they gave Kenny that. Like They could have just said, Russ, you're QB1. I think the Steelers would have been right by doing so. I don't mm -hmm. think Kenny has done enough to have the Steelers – or basically, I don't think Kenny has done enough to have the Steelers make their personnel moves based off how he feels, really. Yeah. Respect. So, like, if you're bringing – and it's Russell Wilson, too. Like, you have mm -hmm. every right to just say, yeah, we're signing him. He's QB1. Right. Uh, but we still haven't heard – we hadn't heard from Kenny up to that point. Yeah. We had no clue. We just assumed, like, all right, he's he's going to – Part taking this competition, yeah, we right? Said it was one of the two things. We say he's either going to ask for this trade and go the way that we kind of saw him at the end of the year, potentially, in the whole debate, or 
You ready to get out there and beat them yeah. out, man? If I didn't you, really think capable, the, we'll the out, trade request. I, you know, yeah. he's pissed about us signing Russ, but mm-hmm. I didn't really think the trade request, or I didn't think we'd get to this point, really, mm-hmm. because I know the Seahawks game and how that played out, mm-hmm. and we talked about that. Something weird happened. <laughs> like, Kenny denied the report, and like that, in my opinion, was the outlier in how he handled these type of situations throughout his whole career because everything up to that point yeah. pointed to him being a really good right. teammate. It so I'm like, this is back, a one-off. We got a he back, said, back, he the, said. The whole, the, you didn't learn anything, and then the weird dress, no dress scenario. I'll give Kenny yeah. the benefit of the doubt here. But something weird happened. Like, if super weird, bro. something came out later and, and said and confirmed that this yeah. was true, that he refused to go in, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised. Right. I definitely wouldn't be surprised. And even he still hasn't flat out like hard denied it because even when he was talking about it uh, today, he kind of just said, I did see that. He was just kind of like, what, what in was the talked moment. about was talked to, it was like it's behind closed doors, but you're right. In the moment, he said, no, he, that's he not said, true. No. Like, I There's can't no. believe people are attacking right. my character. But now it's it was a conversation behind closed doors. You know, one thing was said, could, I'm like, that doesn't sound like what was communicated from you or just, this. and that's the part where we're like, when we don't know 100% one way or the other is just, actions you know read off of the actions cause and effect type stuff all right so yeah you have that and we do get a reaction from kenny Mm -hmm. on friday how'd you feel about the reaction bro it caught me completely. I well, was. Bro, I have a question I'm, for I'm you. I'm having a family weekend, bro. Well, I have a, a question fan. for you. I'm listening, bro. Your birthday bro. was Friday, right? It, it was Thursday, but I was celebrating on Friday as well. You know what I mean? It was Thursday, yeah, right? Yeah, but it was. It was. Well, let me I ask turned you, up the whole weekend, Deke. You know that. Well, I let me up ask the whole you weekend. because I don't know if the timing of all this is a complete coincidence. Oh, don't do me like that, Deke. What was your like wish that, whenever you blew out Deke, the candles? Don't do me like that, Deke. Don't do me like that, Deke. <laughs> is there a possibility that I wish for Russ and Phils? And I said to my little man, G, hey, Greg, guess what, quarterback? I saw it now and he was all hype it might have been a possibility that i was doing i was like you know that one you watch on youtube and tiktok the fast one with the legs oh yeah he's here and you know you know you let's ride you, you, that one oh yeah he here too yeah 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 i ain't even gonna lie bro it's a strong possibility that that might have been added to my it was like a, a wish amendment you know what i mean like i already wished i was like you know i'm just add that in there i ain't think it was gonna happen it was 11 11 yeah bro I was supposed to be taking the weekend off. Remember me and you even talked. It was like, bro, we're going to chill. It's my B-Day, 36. Yeah, we're going to get back on Monday. And Deke said before we left, it's like, yeah, nothing should happen. We should be good. And I was like, yeah, as long as that, we ain't tripping, bro, we good. Yeah. Little did I know. Oh, yeah. Little did we know. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. It, instead of it being a chill week, it was like, all right, let's just go react. We got to react because... You know how this stuff. Oh bro. my God, the Justin it was Fields just so trade almost stuff, killed me, bro. Like it almost killed me because I was out on the golf course yeah, all day, yeah. and I was coming off of no sleep the night before. Oh, you! Oh my, I had to wake I up early it. to meet I someone more. Yeah, I was just having a good yeah. time with friends, and like, it, yeah, it just it snowballed. So I didn't yeah. get any sleep the night before. Go out on the golf course. I wasn't bad on the golf course. You're like moving around, yeah. but I was like crashing after. Oh, of course, I get home. And I see, I was just about to pass out. See on my phone, yeah. Justin Fields. I was like, "You got to be kidding me!" Hey, bro. I was like, "You got to be kidding me!" Yeah. But, but then I said to myself, "If Omar Khan's working, I work it. I gotta Facts. work. I gotta Facts. work. Then I'll go to sleep after Facts, this, bro." Facts. I feel it because I'm telling you, I was turned to the max. Like <laughs> when I said it was my birthday weekend, Deke, and my whole goal was to see how bad I could get my mental. You know what I mean? Like I just wanted to just be completely unplugged. I'm like, bro. We we crossfade it, we research it. I, I was in land and I was uh, up in the sky. You feel me? Yeah. Sometimes you got to surf it. Just, I, was just, I was both of them. All right. I was like, I'm a fly and I'm a. Just, just give me that right there. All right. It was a great vibe. But yeah, it was a couple of times where I had to get up on this thing. I'm like, oh, sheesh. Let me deep breath, take a couple sips of this water. And, and yeah. But like you said, when Omar's cooking like that, bro, Omar was in his bed. Ba- bro, it was move after move after move. We do the trade. I'm like, I said, I'm, at the show. I'm about to get inked up. We got the old fam. It's about to be a vibe. I'm like, hold on. You got to stop. S- stop. Pick the pick the gun up. Pick the tattoo gun up. Just What'd you stop. Get? Let's ride. Just look, bro. I just, just, just put, keep put unlimited in, <laughs> in, in, in old English. <laughs> just, just, just old English. Just, just be kind unlimited. Of you know what yeah. I mean? Just what's up. Yeah, bro. So, so, you know, that was a fire thing. Then, Deke, I'm thinking, okay, it can't be anything else that's going to happen this weekend, right? It couldn't be anything else. We didn't sign Russ. We didn't trade it, Kenny. All right. 
what's the quarterback scenario? But we ain't tripping. We're good. Then we go ahead off the top row, Dusty Rose style. Give me Justin Fields. Yep. Bro, by the time the Justin Fields news hit, when I tell you, Deke, the way this crossfade had the boy, <laughs> the way I was already, I was drowning in my own, I was just there. And that thing just, I was like, oh, God, let's, let's, let's fight this fight. Let's get up out of it. Bro, that's, that's Omar this weekend, bro. So when I tell you the birthday weekend was electric, bro, cross the board, man. Cross the board. But Steelers need to sell now, some type of Omar Khan merchandise, or something, bro. memorabilia, t-shirts, something. something. T-shirts would be pretty badass, like those. Uh, Tell you, bro. You know those t-shirts they have out right now that are mm -hmm. like the uh, the vintage '90 looking ones. Mm -hmm. That's what we need an Omar Khan yeah. one. Yeah, with like him and the uh, the Godfather the big face. Yeah, colored yeah, yeah. shirt. Seriously, bro. Yeah, just sitting at the desk. There's that Photoshop picture that's yeah. out there. I have the one where he's in the Hall of Fame jacket. That one makes the round sometimes. You can that's throw clean. that in the, that's the, that's the, the t-shirt. Yeah. When I'm smoking a cigar or something with glasses, you, you, you could do a lot. You need to be smoking on a Bears pack, bro. Just I'm like, yeah. bro, you are cooking. The, I don't I'd know. Buy the shirt, bro. Whatever you're doing in negotiations with the Bears, keep doing it because you are wearing them out. God, dog, I I ain't know Omar talk pieces like this, bro. I'm like, I don't Omar. What do you have on Chicago? That's why I want to know. I feel like he, he he got something. Omar, that man though, he that dude right now, man. All right, so we're gonna get to this picket trade then. And have my reaction. Yeah, I, I need it. I need it on the front end because we're gonna get to these supers. But I need that on the front end, bro. Yeah. Well, I guess pick a reaction then field reaction. Yeah, too, right? yeah. Give me a bat to bat, then we'll start. You know, yeah. deep diving into the questions and dive. You know, breaking it all down and stuff. My reaction to us trading Kenny Pickett to the Philadelphia Eagles mm -hmm. was and is good trade. Good trade. 100% good trade. Oh, okay, 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 okay. What does Mike Tomlin say? We want volunteers, oh. not hostages. Oh. We trade Deontay. Oh. Did we doing it? We're trading Kenny Pickett. Yeah. Absolutely. Let's go. Let's go. Absolutely, dude. Let's go. It's pretty sad. Like, if you don't want to be here, we got to move on. Even though it was Kenny, though. Yeah. Because when I Absolutely. saw it was Kenny, I'm like, I don't like Dude, I didn't. So here's the like, thing. Bro. Like, I didn't have this information on Kenny. Like all of my oh, uh, all, respect, all, of, respect. all of okay. my takes respect. on him is like I just I think he could be a good quarterback for us yeah. on the field and like he does have that moxie. I, I from what I've seen I thought he was a good locker room guy, good yeah. leadership, all that stuff. Yeah. Now that Seahawks report came up and now looking back, I guess combined with him requesting the trade out of here, like that that looks even worse. That looks yeah. way worse. Yeah. Maybe I would have been harder on that at the time than what I was, yeah. but because that's inexcusable. Like if that actually happened right. now, looking back, it's like, nah, bro. Like that's mm -hmm. that's not the Steeler way. That's, the that's not what we're about here. That's not that's not yeah. good teammate shit. And it came right out to him saying that he didn't learn anything when we saw Mason play the week before and have the best offense performance that we had seen on the field also. Yeah, yeah. so um, when talking about Kenny Pickett being here and being the guy for the future, all, like I just assumed he liked it here. Things were good. And uh, that was that. I know he wouldn't be happy about us bringing in Russell Wilson. Right. But still, we didn't know what Kenny's reaction was to that. Yeah. So if it is, yeah, I'm out of here. I, I, I don't want to be Shout here out to my dog. You got to get him out. You can't Shout have it. out to my dog. Y'all better hit that like button one time for the homie Deke. And don't forget to subscribe if y'all are new. Quan Summer, you know what time it is, bro. He's not above reproach. Let's I go, said it how many man. times at the end of last year. Let's he opened go. the door. That's what I'm talking about, Deke. The door was still clearly left open throughout this offseason because we didn't get to see Kenny play at the end of 2023 at all. Facts. So that door was still open. Four Facts. competition. Tomlin, Con Rooney talked about that. And it just so happened... We got this once in a lifetime opportunity mm -hmm. to get Russell Wilson in here for a million point two dollars. Seriously, so, bro. So, yeah, I get why the Steelers brought him in. We've, we've talked about that. But if this bro, is your reaction, lie, then, yeah, you're not above reproach. Like, we can't be walking on eggshells and having your feelings dictate our personnel moves. And that uh, even that uh, even uh, goes back to Mason starting or not. This is facts. What did I say after the Bengals game? This is game? facts. Mason's got to start the next this game. This is facts. He's got to start. So. Let's go, bro. That's where Let's we're at. Let's go, bro. That's where we're at. Now, Let's go, bro. Now, here's the thing. On the flip side, I Respect. think both sides are right in this. Fair enough. And how they handled it in a way. Now, could Pickett have handled things better? 
yeah, maybe. Would I have handled him that way? I don't know. I'm not in that situation. I, I would I, like I, to think so I would which, handle which, it more like a Mason. I was gonna say which which are we specifically talking about? I'd say both. The, you no, know I'm saying the Russell Wilson uh, signing or the Mason getting hot at the end of the season and then them deciding to roll with Mason going forward into that Seattle game because that you're, seems you're, like the the you're talking about Kenny refusing to be yeah. back up that report yeah. I'd say both I'd say I'd like to think I would handle it like I, I just I don't like this but I gotta just be a good teammate yeah. like that's how Mason has handled himself throughout his Steeler yeah. tenure a lot of dudes like I would like to like think I could I could handle it like Mason a lot of people handle it like Mason and those are the guys that are able to stay in this league a lot longer because all you're doing is buying yourself time yeah. But the dudes that do try to take a little bit more of the heavy-handed, you're not going to disrespect me, or I, I feel like I have a voice that needs to be heard approach, man, them dudes typically get fast-tracked out of here because it's too noisy. Like, you're nobody is bigger than the team. Nobody is bigger than the game. And we've even seen it, whether we're talking A, B, or some of these other big-name dudes, you know, that have fallen – when that noise starts to get too loud. Yeah, if you if we yeah. could trade A B for what right. we got for him. Right. It's like we could trade Kenny for and nobody's what we above got for approach, him. man. Yeah. Yeah, so um no, I think both sides are right with how they felt or handled the yeah. situations in a way. Like I get why Kenny would feel disrespected. A hundred percent. Like if he's told, yeah. Hey, you're gonna be the starter when you get healthy mm -hmm. and then Mason plays the way that he did and they're like, yeah. you know what, actually we're just gonna roll with Mason. Mm -hmm. I I get why he'd feel disrespected, especially yeah. too like that's your job. Like you, you were the first round pick, mm -hmm. and like you were the guy. Like everything yeah. set up for you to be the guy. Mm -hmm. You had a winning record when you went down. Mm -hmm. You only got to play a game and a half without Canada. So you're thinking to yourself, like, let me show you what I could do without him. Yeah. You know, let me show you more on tape here. And then uh, fast forward to the off season here. You know, competition and everything. And uh, he accepted that. I based off the conversations mm -hmm. he had with Tomlin and Con. Like Tomlin said, Kenny understands there will be competition. It's a big year for him. Um, you know, and just so happens, like Russell Wilson. Yeah, I guess that's it. Uh, it just Bro so happens Mason, Russell Wilson. Yes, Russell Russ, Wilson is that competition. Not. And initially, though, did you see how the reports came out? Initially, yeah. it was open competition between yeah. Kenny and Russ. Mm -hmm. But then I guess Kenny had some reports that were thrown out there from his camp saying that, like within 48 hours, he was told that Russ is going to have the inside track to the competition and take mm -hmm. the one reps in OTAs. Yeah. And I think that was the breaking point yeah. for him. Being like, it, it, I think he's just saying to himself, we know what this is. I'm not even yeah. going to like play and act like this is going to be a competition. Like, mm -hmm. I, I, this is this is Russ's team now. And probably him seeing how his teammates reacted to mm -hmm. the Russ signing. You brought it up. If they're doing off-season camps or little yeah. off-season workouts – and their respective spots, mm -hmm. where are the players going to go? Where are the receivers going to go? They're going right. to go Russ's way. So I, I get why Kenny's probably just like, this is too awkward. I feel disrespect here. Just get, give me a fresh start. Like, I, I get that. Um, and I, But I also get why the Steelers did everything the way that they did, though. Because yeah. Kenny did leave the door open. Like You can't have how Kenny Pickett's feeling dictate your yeah. business decisions and what you think is best best for the team going forward and winning games. Yeah. And getting Russell Wilson for one point two million dollars just flat out helps you win games and helps you be a better team. Respect, respect. That's where I'm at with it. I, I think it's a good trade. Yeah. No, I agree with you, man. Um, you know the whole former player part of it, man. As I looked at it, it's just like when the reports came out, I was just like, "Dang, bro!" It still just comes off as him not wanting to compete because. Now you yeah, put yeah. yourself in a worse position. Yeah, yeah. Here for, you were going to yeah. compete. Regardless yeah. of if you thought you would win or not, you were going to compete. That part had never changed. Yeah. Check but, your check your ego yeah, side. Right. And, just, but, and just we said work. that, right? Yeah. We said don't be entitled. Don't feel like because I'm a first rounder, I'm deserved of this, or because of this, I should get this. No. You've opened this door. When you open that door, you don't get to dictate who the competition is, what level is. And we talked about that this offseason as well. As well, But it was just, like I said, it was real disheartening to see that be the approach. I would have much rather, if you were going to request a trade, you fight like a son of a gun. And then if it came down to training camp is over and they announced Russell Wilson as the starter during that, you know, two week period before the regular season starts. Then you request a trade. Yeah, and maybe and maybe you felt like you beat yeah, him out or you played good. I think it's good. way more respectable. I think that your new team would feel even better about what they're getting from just a makeup standpoint because it would look like, bro, 
we knew what that was, but at least you still stood 10 toes down and took the fade. You still fought him. Even though we knew you was going to lose, you still fought him. Essentially, what you did was we knew that you had to fight that cat over there, and you had a lot of people barking for you over here, but when it was time for you to actually get in the ring with that big dog, but you copped out. You was like, hey, man, I'm going to holler at you. I don't want to fight that. And that's the part where it's just player to player. you like, yeah. bro, that's soft, bro. Like, you don't want that. And he is going to have that on his rep until he does something to kind of get that up off of him. And unfortunately, it's still going to linger. It could be five years from now, man. You know they're going to bring Hey, man, you remember that time, bro? Hey, you know he'll check out on you because that's what people do once they've seen this happen before. And that's the only thing, like I said, for him, man, that like I said, I was just a little bit disheartened to it. I get the feelings because I've been in the similar situations, man, where there's drafting first round picks, assigning players to come in your position. And you're like, bro, or they telling you, hey, we drafted this dude. We're going to move you. And you pissed off. You hurt. You, you embarrassed. You're like, bro, I done bought. I done got numbers. We win with me in here. I do this and that and that. But does it matter? No, because that's the business. That's what the team wanted to do. And you just ultimately have to say, bro, the team is bigger. I'm going to put in whatever work I got to put in. And if that means I get to start week one, or if I don't get to start to week 10, whenever it happens, though, I'm going to be ready. Mason Rudolph, I'm glad you brought him up, was the prime example of that. Yeah. It's like we've seen dudes, you know, have to sit and wait for a little bit, and then they never gets caught. And it's like, man, Kenny, you ain't even give yourself that luxury. And now you've legitimately put yourself in a worse position. To get back to being a starter. To get back to being a, to stand in the league, first off. I'm like, bro, you're in Philadelphia right now. What did they give up for you? Not a lot in terms of compensation. Not a lot. So you still got to see what they're going to do in terms of how they want to fill out the rest of their quarterback room. Do they view you as a surefire number two? Or do they want to bring in somebody for you to compete with? Yeah. That's a way different conversation yeah, than what he had in here, man. Here, you yeah. had QB too. That was worst yeah, case. Yeah, bro. And if you were QB2, you have a 35-year-old quarterback in front of you on a one-year one year deal. One-year deal. Catch what I'm saying, bro. But your, yeah. your pride and your ego, man, has got you sitting to Philly where you behind a $100 million dude that went to a Super Bowl that was an MVP finalist, league MVP finalist, and who they really like over there, bro. Yeah, they, like, they signed him yeah. <laughs> franchise money. For I'm like, Kitty, you're the outsider now. You 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 the, you the half blood. He ain't pure blood no more, bro. <laughs> That, hey, hey, that half blood hit a little different when you walk over there. I'm just throwing it out there, bro. You, you got to really prove yourself when you're a half blood. You got to, like, show they don't, they don't you're respect you. you saying the Eagles half blood? Yeah, because I'm just saying, when you're a half blood in general league wide, when you walk into that locker room, bro, everybody <laughs> is sizing you up. I'm just, every single body is sizing you up. And it doesn't feel like when you were drafted. Because when you were drafted, they size you up, but it's still like love because you were the draft pick. When you the when you the one that you get traded or you the free agent, they like, hey, who is this cat, bro? I don't know you, and you trying to take my man's spot anyway. So I really don't even like you, low key. Duh, yeah. So we are gonna find out, man. But <sighs> shout out, shout out to like I said for both parties. Like I said, I, I do get Kenny's energy though. I just wish he would have handled it better. Yeah, I think I get his energy hundred percent though. I don't know what it was. Yeah, maybe that whole Russ is getting the QB one inside track when OTA star was the final straw, but. Yeah. I still think if you if you would have taken mm -hmm. a step back and looked at it for a day mm -hmm. or two, just really objectively take the emotions out of it, straight yeah. business decision, it's probably still in your best interest to stay here. Yeah. But it is what it is. Yeah, if you if you feel that way and you think that you could control your own destiny and this would be the better approach for you and your career and prolong it, because that's what he said mm -hmm. in his Eagles press conference. I don't agree with it, but that's how he feels like he could – prolong his career and have a better career in this league by getting traded and yeah. going to the Eagles and being their backup next year. All right. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. You're entitled to that. Because not everyone gets to the whole, like, I'm, I'm going to request this. Although, I guess here you, you do. Like, if you do request a trade or one out, we, we're going to oh, yeah. we're gonna give you that. We'll ship you. We ain't tripping. And I, I, I kind of like that about it. I think yeah. that's actually an attractive part mm -hmm. of the Steelers and how Mike Tomlin operates. Yeah. Is that we want volunteers and hostages. We want yeah. you to be a stealer. Right. I want you to want to be here. I don't want to feel like I'm forcing you or I'm holding you hostage. Because now you're... So we probably would, like, if we yeah, couldn't get a trade, we probably would have cut Kenny. Nah, you catch what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. And that's the part where I'm like, at least here, you would have still had the luxury of you were drafted. It was like in Philly. It's like, bro, you ain't even got that right now, man. And you said it. Like, we still like Kenny here. Yeah. Like, Tom, the organization, it, everything. Was... Mr. Rooney, Omar Khan, 
and Coach Tom, all three this all season have said Kenny Pickett is still QB1. Kenny Pickett is still a part of the conversation. He's still here for competition. Like, his name was more than Mason. And we said, yo, if anything, we said we understand Mason being, you know, a little upset about it. But we were like, Kenny, of all people, I'm like, bro, this was, to me, one of your best opportunities. Now, we'll see what happens in Philly, you know, injuries, stuff like that. Yeah. Man, I don't think that scheme fits him, though. That's the other part. Because it's designed for Justin Fields. Hurts. Or, excuse me, just, just for the, yeah, it's not for Hurts. Yeah. But that's the part for me where I'm just like, I don't like that form all the way, man. Yeah. Uh, there was one more thing I wanted to say. Oh, so, yeah, me bringing up uh, how the Steelers still liked him here. Yeah. I guess just not to the extent that Kenny liked, though. Because Very he's true. he's probably thinking, and this goes back to him feeling yeah. disrespected, like, you're saying you got full faith in me and all mm -hmm. this, but then you bring in a Russ, and then you're giving yeah. him the inside track at ones and OTA, and mm -hmm. he's thinking, man, I, I, I've been here. I was the guy you drafted first round. I had a winning record before I got hurt. I'm good. Like, I, I just I don't believe you guys anymore, like, yeah. in your faith in me. But I, I don't I don't think, again, I don't think Pickett had the uh, – he's got the right to do whatever he wants, but, from you know, from the Steelers' standpoint, I don't think yeah. – they should be dictating their moves off what how Pickett's feeling. Like they're just trying to get better, and you get this opportunity at Russell Wilson. Yeah, we're gonna do it. One million dollars. Can't go wrong with it's, it, baby. it. I think it was just um, just a, a series of unfortunate events for Kenny Pickett these last five or six months because yeah. probably nine out of ten times. This all season does not play out like no. this. It is way different no. than Kenny. Yeah, bro. yeah. It's I mean, it different. goes back to that Mason game. If Mason doesn't, it yeah. just just if Mason doesn't play as mm -hmm. good in that game, or if maybe Kenny gets healthy yeah. a week earlier and is able to play in that Bengals mm -hmm. game, he's probably the guy for next year. Yeah, because I think we. St and this is my opinion. I, you don't have to agree with it, but I think we finish the season strong. He does some stuff. Maybe we make the playoffs with Kenny, yeah. and he shows enough that yeah, we were still going to make the, door, the playoffs. The, the yeah. doors, the doors closed. We're we're, yeah. we're ready to roll with Kenny going into Absolutely, year three. Bro. Absolutely, but we didn't get to see him at all yeah. after he got hurt in that Cardinals game. We didn't get to see him at all. Yeah. The door was open then. We don't get to see him. Mason played the way he did, so the door's still open in the off season, and that leaves room for deals like this. And it just so happened Russell Wilson. So combine the the Mason game mm -hmm. with Russell Wilson being available for a million point two dollars. <laughs> that's that's just tough and then that's to tough. turn around and we obviously that's tough this move was after the kenny move but then to turn around and get fills for a conditional six mm -hmm. on top of you just like bro regardless of if you ain't do the the wilson for 1.2 how do you not do the fills for a six ron it's a conditional yeah i'm like either way so you want my both, reaction on that then of course you know i did yeah, yeah. And, and then after that aj we coming back to you aj because i see you in here dropping hot Fire, fire. Holy smokes. You flame throwing, flame throwing. So, yeah, I, it caught my eye. Just know I just it caught me. So, I got you. But I just got to get him to, on the front end before we get in, get in. You feel me? So, yeah. Love it. No brainer move. I'm a fields guy now. <laughs> Let's go. As a backup. I'm listening, bro. As a backup. I think this is for all the reasons why. It would make sense for the Steelers to have Kenny Pickett as yep. your QB2. It's the exact yep. same reason why yes. you bring in a Justin Fields. Yes. It's the exact same reason. It's just that we already had Kenny Pickett here, so that's why I wasn't exactly. trying yeah. to get Justin Fields like that. Yeah. And that, those conversations were happening before we even signed Russ. Whenever right, we signed right. Russ, I think trading for Justin Fields made no sense. Yeah. But now we have Russ, and it's like, okay, we have this Russ and Kenny dynamic. Russ, the mentor veteran you know he's the proven yeah. guy all that and then you got the young guy and kenny pickett mm -hmm. if it's competition or not but like that's the dynamic we got yeah. all right kenny wants out now all we have is russell wilson mm -hmm. all right what's the free agent landscape out there i wouldn't mind yeah. getting that dynamic back oh it's justin fields you got a Tannehill out there too like a tyler huntley yeah <laughs> you could draft the quarterback but i actually think justin fields would be the yes. best option yes. out there to be the backup yes what's the compensation though Mm -hmm. At that point, I was like, I would, I would maybe do I a, fourth. It was a fourth. I, I would maybe do a fourth. <laughs> yeah. Don't pick up the fifth year option. I'm good Max, with that being a one year Max, rental. It's good Max. insurance policy yeah. to have behind uh, Russ, but also could have some upside for you. Mm -hmm. Really good insurance, good upside. 
He's got the talent and everything. And then it actually happened. Mm-hmm. Like, this is what we're saying about Omar Khan right now. I, I think <laughs> if there's a move in your head that makes sense to you for the Steelers. It can happen, bro. No matter who it is out it there. It can happen, Big bro. name, you think it's a splash move? Like, Justin Jefferson, it can happen, bro. It might. It can happen, It bro. might at this point. It will not surprise me if I see that, bro. Five years ago, I would have been like, absolutely not. Why are we even wasted our time? Deke, I'm a believer in the con man, all right? I'm a believer. You're like this. Someone in one of my videos over the weekend commented mm-hmm. that Kevin Colbert was a sea bass. Omar Khan is an effing shark. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. I like it. I like but it. Yeah, I love the Justin Fields I like move, it. especially because yeah. it's a six round pick, too. It's like, it's nothing. It's 2025 six round pick. And it's conditional. So, best case, it's a fourth. And that's if he plays over fit, as well, over 60% of the snaps. Yeah. Yeah, it becomes a fourth. And if all things go towards the Steelers' plan, he shouldn't be playing. It's, right. it's probably Russ balling out and us giving Russ an extension. Yeah. But it's a great insurance policy. It's a great guy to have here to keep Russ in check. Yeah. Uh, Great guy to have in here and just provide youth, provide mm-hmm. upside, provide a dude learning under Russ. It, it's just, it, it makes so much sense. This is the Joe Milton still without having to do the Joe Milton, get him in the second or third. You get a we better, you get a six. better Joe Milton. Yeah. Yeah. Look at the way I'm talking about Justin Fields six, now. Bro. Like, <laughs> I, I, I just it, wanted to hear you. That's why. I, I, that's why I wanted to you. Bro. I think it's because the expectations are lower for it. So it's oh. like it's like all upside with Justin Fields. Like there's, yeah, especially with the compensation we gave up too. Like it's crazy. Hey, I'm just glad that we all to say we all it. on board there, bro. We all good. I love it because like you said, you what's the down? Be- there's literally no downside to that trade. There was no downside mm-hmm. really to the Russell Wilson pickup either. People, your, your man John Neeson was trying to make some downside to it. I couldn't. I couldn't. People find trying it. to find some downside. I, I'm just like, tell me, the, tell me, based off of where we were a week ago, where is the downside to where we currently are today? That's my whole thing. I'm like, it's it is the downside is Kenny Pickett or Mason Rudolph like being like very legitimate. That's that's the downside. But that was for people that still believed on that type of level. Yeah. So I guess yeah. that in my mind that could be a little bit of right. the downside. But I I like. Russ, where he's at right now with yeah. the Steelers and this Arthur, this Arthur Smith system, because everything I was talking about with Kenny and Mason being good next year for us, mm-hmm. I, I feel the same way about Russ, if not maybe even a little bit more excited right now. Yeah. And yeah, Fields, maybe, yeah, maybe he did. You know, we talked about him getting a raw deal with the Bears, just like Pickett got a little bit of a raw deal, deal here in Pittsburgh, but things are way better situated as an offense here. But just structured better yeah here in pittsburgh not only from last year to this year but in in general probably compared to the bears so yeah maybe fields could flourish here too i don't know that's gonna be really interesting hey, this this whole i even rest of the off season like what do we do with fields in the fifth fifth year off we're not gonna pick that up we no, shouldn't you can but do we give him an extension do an extension yeah does he want an extension i don't know why he'd want an extension but then yeah just how does the season play out with russ fields preseason to regular season a lot going on. It's going to be crazy. It's, I, I mean, it's already a, a crazy off season, but I could see a scenario where he would want the extension because, based on the reports, he chose to come here. He did. Yeah. So that's my thing. I'm like, you've already decided that you wanted to be here when you already knew what this scenario was before you even got here. So something is appealing about what we have, and that's the part why I do think Coast he can get in that ear, man. Because it's already something mutual there. That's why he rejected the other opportunities. I would, I wish we knew the other teams. We got, I was you know, speculating on, but yeah. I'm like, I at least wish we one they said was a better offer than yeah. ours. Now, what degree? This is what I was wondering. I'm like, All right, dude, if it was like a third round pick or fourth round pick, I, yeah. I think the Bears GM is just an idiot, probably. Right. But if it's a conditional if it was just fifth, versus a conditional yeah. six, or all right, I'm picking at 20, you're picking at 16, like, yeah. So, interesting though, man. Interesting. But, yeah, this is fun, bro. This is fun. All right, so let me tap in real quick. We got to get to AJ because AJ has been dropping bombs off the top yeah. rope over here. So salute you, AJ. Salute you. Salute you. All right. So first one that uh oh shoot, let me get to the. I will make sure I got these real up. quick oh, before right, AJ. Got, mm-hmm. This fields get one. They said they don't do a one. They said they do single digits, but they don't do one specifically. Yeah, did you see that? Patrick yeah. Queen got six. Mm-hmm. I yeah. was shocked at that. Yeah, but he's the highest free agent. 
signing contract too, though. That we was the only part. We couldn't give. Didn't Pat P want two last year? Yeah, Pat P signed for what? What was his deal? Fifteen mil? Was it fifteen? Uh, yeah, like seven. Yeah, bro, yeah. Like that. You know that wasn't the number he won anyway. He wanted number seven. So obviously, right? <laughs> we we know that he won. Well, I think he wanted to sing. I think he wanted two though. After yeah. he knew he couldn't get seven. Yeah. JP wanted five. I know Pickens wanted one. Now the thing yeah. with one versus all those other single digits is one is supposedly unofficially yeah. retired because of Gary Anderson. Yeah. So it's that's like, the one number we could bring back though, or we we could bring back up and compare to all the other unofficial ones. You don't ones. like specialists. Does it mean that the organization no, just, doesn't feel the same way? No, it's just him versus the other guys that are unofficial. There's there's you, a difference. You don't like specialists. That's fine. No, I like them. But the organization but I don't, is, doesn't is feel he like even, that. I don't even know if he's in the Hall of Fame. Bro, I'm just saying the organization feels like that for a reason, bro. I just trust organization. You know what I mean? Organization makes some dope decisions. I just trust their decisions, bro. I love the decisions they make. Because I know decisions you was going to make. You was going to have me with Kenny Pickett and Mason Rudolph as my quarterback. And I'm just way more excited with Russ and Fields right now, bro. It feels way better, bro. It just feels way better. So I'm like, if they don't want to give out one, I just trust them on it. Just, just, I just trust them. Maybe they know something about that number that we don't I st- know. I still don't think uh, Maybe it's cursed. Kenny or Mason would have been bad moves. I'm I not still saying, feel that way. I'm not saying it would have been bad. It just don't feel like Russ and Fields. Well, I'll give That's you all. there is definitely an excitement. I think yeah. part of it is the newness of these guys that came in, for sure. But is Russ the Russ the Russ yeah. thing's legitimate? The Russ, yeah. I think there's it, it like ups the standard for this year. Oh yeah, I'm hyped about both of them. Yeah. And then the I guess the the Fields excitement too yeah. is just you know the upside remember, the talent. Me and TG were a lot more higher. Me and TG were a lot more higher on Fields than you ever were. With, yeah. Because remember, even the whole you with Kenny and we're with Fields, we're like yeah, we view it very differently. Yeah. Well, with him coming in being the backup with the upside and top, like I get that excitement. Yeah. Too, knowing that you already have a Russ locked in yeah, at QB one. And both cheap as heck, bro. Cheap as heck. Right. Yeah. Right. Actually, we come on, bro. So we got. We got Russ and Phils for cheaper than Kenny and Mason Rudolph. Oh. What do we t- uh, cheaper, bro, yeah, both no, of them? Cheaper, cheaper than, than both of them. Cheaper than Kenny and Mason yeah. Rudolph and Mitch. I mean, we yeah, turned over the yes, whole quarterback room. Yes. But if you think of it this way, too, we we got. I think I think in terms of assets, we got in addition to oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Russ and Fields. Like we're out on top because yeah, we got the we got two sevens third, yeah. from Kenny, and then the pick swap going mm-hmm. from a fourth to a third, and yeah. all we gave up was a. Six. That was it. Yeah. So I think we even got mm-hmm. better with our draft picks too. Bro. With these I'm deals. Like I'll check, check, check. It's across the board, bro. All right, but AJ, we here with you now, bro. All right. So AJ Martinez, shout out to you. And he says the people in the chat are the greatest. Number one podcast. Everyone. I try to watch others. They are horrible. The Diggler. N55, the best podcast ever. Blessings to all. Have a super great day, all. AJ, salute you. You have a super great day, and we appreciate you rocking with the channel, too, man. You know it. We're going to keep showing up every day, how we do it, just how you do it, all right? But no, definitely, definitely respect, man, and we appreciate you from the heart, man. All right, and I think it was another one. I'm going to make sure I make sure I miss your other one real quick. Where is it? Where is it? All right. No, I think I'm caught up. No, we should be caught up. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah, we should be caught up. One. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to just start from the top, then? Yeah. Let's go ahead. And start it. Then. Unless you got any other additional uh, thoughts? No, nah, because I figure everything else going to come up organically as we get. But I just wanted to just give you a chance to on the front end. Yeah. So I said this in one of the videos I made this weekend. Like, who would have thought that? The sequence of events, how they played out, I'd actually be good with every move with mm-hmm. how it happened. If you would have said to me, "Hey, hey, D, uh, Kenny's gonna be off the team, but we get, we have Russell Wilson and Justin Fields on this roster," say like it was a month ago, yeah, and like I don't know how it happens or anything, I'd been like, "What?" Oh, you'd been cursing everybody. Well, especially out, bro. too, I'd be thinking like, "Oh, we traded for Russ. We mm-hmm. got to take on this contract. What, what the hell do we give up mm-hmm. for Fields? Like, what's the point of mm-hmm. this?" But then how it played out. I was good with every move along the way, given the context. Mm-hmm. You sign Russ, that man, all right, understand it. Get it. Yeah. It's Russell Wilson. Kenny reacts to the Russell Wilson signing the way that he did. Damn, we got to get him out of here. I guess on, man. This is a good move. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit, we only have Russell Wilson on the roster now. Mm-hmm. We got to get a backup. Oh, Justin Fields is available. What can we What can we get him for? Oh, it's a six-round pick. No brainer. That's, it's pretty crazy. That's, it's pretty crazy. 
we just on top right now, bro. We just winning. All right. Look, these are a couple ones that came in a little bit earlier. All right. Uh, John Pickett. Shout out to John Pickett. He says, Pickett and DJ, ouch. Was never a Pickett hater. Shout out, Deke. Motes, you're hilarious as well. Keep it up. Nah, salute you as well, baby. We appreciate you. And that was his first super. So salute you, salute you. Hassan. How's DJ feeling right now? I'm sure for DJ, man, <laughs> this is that part where you're like hindsight 2020. <laughs> but at the same time, I understand why he did what he did. It's like you don't know the team is going to make these moves. And all of their communication was Kenny Pickett is the guy. And if you're Deontay Johnson, you understand if Kenny Pickett is the guy, you don't want to go through another year like that. And I think he was just really vocal and making sure that that was going to be clearly understood. It just, if he could have waited a week, I think it works out way better for DJ. And I don't think he's tripping. Because I think he loves the scenario that I, GP, is in, GP is happy right now. I think GP is really happy right now. I just feel like for DJ, if he could have just waited a, a little bit, just a little bit longer. But it's hard to, man, when you don't know. And you play wide receiver, and his success is solely predicated on quarterback play. And as we've seen when it pertained to Kenny Pickett, people will make reasons to justify Kenny's mistakes and put them on other people before they just simply say it was on Kenny. And I think for DJ, man, uh, DJ went, no. I'll say that early on. Not anymore. Dude, I not you. Not you, because you're going to minimize your role. But as a whole, every Kenny supporter. You included? There's not started, many of them Started here. the Mac. There's well, not many. Well, well this is because aftermath now, y'all all have seen that Kitty is not what y'all were projecting him to be while he was here. But for DJ, I'm just like, I get that. But the DJ spoke, the GP spoke, the Canada spoke. We were smoking everybody else because of the quarterback. And we said the direct correlation was when Mason went out. Then it was like, all right, everything pretty much the same. Everybody's still cooking. Kenny got blasted throughout the season. He, he got his critiques. Critiques are very different than we want to witch hunt and fire this guy because he makes this guy not look like we want him to look. So it's definitely this guy. I think the firing was justified though, still. It wasn't of it course, wasn't all it the, wasn't the, all about Kenny Pickett and the, how the offense looked this year. It was the, more Canada's body the, of work. You know I wouldn't expect you to say anything other than that right there. So it's all good, bro. But I think it's legit still. I would expect you to feel that way. That's why I said it's cool, bro. Like, you're straight, bro. We can have difference of opinions on it. I mean, yeah, I like I I get it. Like, you, you can, know, I'm, you could spin I'm it in, in, in just have like a difference this, of opinions with that. What because this is to just me, Kenny defense, but like, I mean, there's there's a lot of lot a lot of people out there that was a saying lot Matt of Canada's people that were supporting Kitty. No, no, no. No, we're, we're talking it's about like cool, national bro. media analysts cool. that have no like cool, stake in the bro. game at all that it's are saying cool. Matt Canada is terrible. It's cool. It's cool, bro. We could agree to disagree. For the non Kenny crowd like that, we could all see it very clearly what this was from the time he got here and from the time they made him the starter. And everything has transpired in between, bro. Like, I ain't tripping on it. I mean, there's, there's definitely a case that the Steelers. Didn't do completely right by Kenny while he was here, and having Matt Canada here and all, all that stuff, with, just with how the offense played out and the scheme, like all that stuff. Dude, it's all just, good. Just as much as trust me, bro. You can make the case with Justin it's Fields. We've talked about that. Before. It is all good. I just know we not going to ever come to an agreement on this. So it's all good, bro. It's all good. All right, Hassan T, nineteen eighty nine. He says, "Deke gonna show up to the live on Monday with the Eagles jersey on." See. He did not. No. He did not. And that's why we let him speak first to let his true feelings be out there, all right? So that's not how he feels. So chill out. All right. All right. All right. No, we were on. You saw. Wait, I, so I, he's going to put the Eagles jersey on. Like, no, I, no. I, you I, saw. I, I, I taped up the uh, Steeler pick at eight. Made it a three. <gasps> that, was, that was right when the trade happened, bro. I was like, we're going with Russ now, man. Let's go. You don't want to be here? I know who does want to be here, and that's Russell Wilson. So we're rolling with Russ, dude. No. Oh. Taped up the eight. What number is Phil's getting, bro? I don't know. That's I've seen I people you. say two. I've seen somebody say, should you give him eight? <laughs> Just quit, swap, swap it out. Just... No, nah, two would be two would probably be cleaner. That's Mason, I think, though. I think you go two. It's easier to replace the Mason than it is it's the closer Kitty. to one. Fair enough. I think it just looked cleaner on Phil's, the two. Yeah. He got to have a single. I think five right. would be dope too, because that was the initial Schefter uh, Photoshop picture that Where he sent he out with the breaking from? news. 
Was that him? It wasn't. He ain't wore five at Ohio State, did he? No. No, I looked it yeah. up. He's worn one, one the whole time. everywhere yeah. since high school. Yeah. And they definitely not giving him one when we just traded a conditional six and you're not the starter. You're not getting one, bro. Yeah, you didn't give it to Pickens. Yeah, you, you ain't get the, the, the Patrick Queen deal, 41, yeah. Could they say to themselves, the one's going to sell better jerseys, though? It definitely would. Sell more jerseys? But did you put them in one and then it doesn't turn into anything special and now you just broke your rule for the dude to stand on the sideline behind Russ? Right. That's tough. That's a tough pill. Yeah, I think two or five should be his pick. That would be my call. Five is tough. I feel like I've seen two. It's the Mason thing. That's what they got to be the Mason. I could see Fields in two. Like, I'm actually yeah. surprised he wasn't. Like, I, I don't know why I could see him wearing number two at Ohio State. I'm surprised he wasn't two. two. <sighs> yeah. All right. Who's the dope two that we've had league wide? Like, has anyone stamped that number yet? Because we've had ones, we've had threes. I think Hurts was fours, two coming in. Fives. Switch the one. Yeah, I feel like we got two. one, two. We got one, three, four, five. Why is this escaping me? Who's number two? I'm thinking of dig on Tim Couch, and Zach Wilson. I'm like these are terrible guys. You want to be them? Right. Um, Wasn't Cam? No. Yeah, who had a two, bro? I can look it up if you want. We played, used to play this game back in the day. We did used to. Who is who's a famous number two, bro? Yeah, league wide. Cause I literally got every number but two. I got six, seven. Matt eight. Ryan, Maddie Ice. Oh, I was thinking way older. Shout out. All right, that that works. Shout out to Maddie Ice. Maybe he is the only one that's number two, bro. Yeah. They trying to bring up number two, Vic. Nah, nah. We, we don't. <laughs> no, 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 no. Vic is seven. We don't acknowledge that, too. Leave, leave that one alone. All right? Just, yeah. You're saying Russ Wilson is the best three. That's how I looked at. Russ, the best three. Best four, you could say Brett Favre. Best five, got Donovan McNabb. Best six, going Doug Hodges. Best seven, we can go your, your, your boy, you know. Yeah. We got options for seven, but oh, we got we on. got options. We got options. We got options. We got options. Eight. You got Steve Young. Only one answer. <laughs> we got so. options. We got options, bro. <laughs> I can't find other two. So. Matt Ryan might be the best number two, bro. Yeah, I think it is. Like I'm trying to think of number two. I'm like, I'm it ain't a lot of two, bro. Options there are. Patrick Sertan the second. They're bringing him up. He just switched the two though when they made the change. Man, why can't I find this? Is it oh, Jameis Winston? Oh, you know who? Jameis definitely ain't the guy. He ain't the guy. I know where I can find it. Pro Football Reference. I think you oh, can just type yeah, in the, the numbers and they'll have Good a call. list. Good call. Let me see. Let me see this. They brought up Bobby Bristol for number six. Give me, give me Duck Hodges though, man. Duck Hodges number six. So you had number six popping for like two weeks. <laughs> yeah, who's the, Jamar Chase's number? Oh, man. Okay, David Akers. Oh, the kicker, when, yeah. When did he wear two? Philly, though? Philly, right? Was yeah. he number two? Uh, he might have worn it. I swear I remember his number. I just remember his name. Aaron Brooks. Yeah, shout out to Aaron with the Saints. That's Vic Cousin too, bro. Yeah. Mason Crosby. Fair. Mason Crosby. You're right, Tim Couch. That's who I thought of, bro, from the old school, like, playing with the Browns on Dreamcast. Darius that was my Slay. team, bro. Yeah. Yeah, two. Two is open. Yeah. So Someone Justin, put a stamp on this. Justin, you got a chance. It is bro. Matt Ryan, though. He's Go, the best. He could catch Matt Ryan, bro. You just need an MVP in the ring. <laughs> he has sexy characteristics to get the MVP, and now you got you a squad that gets you the ring. He can catch Matty Ice, bro. I think he catch Matty Ice. So how's this playing out for you then, with the quarterbacks? Because I mean, you got to be conflicted. Like you, you conflicted? No, you want no. fields? No, 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 no. So I'm actually perfect. But then, then no, with no. Russ, there is there is zero confliction. My message has been the same throughout. Russ to me is the better quarterback of whether it was going to be Justin Fields or Kenny Pickett or Ten Hill or any of these other guys we're going to bring in. The problem was how much it would have cost. Now the money is out the window, and this is why I kept kind of saying how I would when we would talk about it. Like throw money out the window. Just tell me talent wise, who do you think is better? Russ, Fields, Pickett, and all these other dudes. To me, Russ is the starter. It doesn't matter if it's open competition or not. Russ is going to beat out Justin Fields in my eyes. But I look at it as I see it going two ways. 
if Russ is able to do what he, he sees it as, well, then we'll be extending him at the end of the year and we'll have our quarterback for the next five seasons. Real, like, you know, best case scenario. Next five. I don't see it being longer than five personally, but that's kind of like my mindset with it. It yeah, may be three, four more right, realistic. You know what I mean? Yeah. But worst case is I feel like Justin Fields is my long-term, long-term. I love the fact that they've already communicated with him about the scenario and that he was even open enough to say, I don't want to go there. I want to come here because that's my long-term answer, bro. I'm looking you at think that. You and sticking I'm sticking around for those three, four, five years? So though, this like is that? the thing. To plan for three, four, five years, I don't know. But I can plan for right now. And what this year tells me is this. You're going to get a chance to learn from Russell Wilson. We do not know what Russ looks like. So how can I tell Justin Fields what three years looks like from now? But what we do know is this. You come in with the right mindset, bro. You're going to, number one, get a chance to learn from a Super Bowl champion, a guy that has been to two Super Bowls, a guy that has already had the $100 million contract. Anything that you say you want to do as a quarterback in the NFL, outside of winning MVP regular season, Russ has accomplished. Everything that you need to learn, you're following this cat around, bro. He's already the ultimate good guy. He is going to be willing to teach you as well, man. So your job Learn everything you can this year. You're going to compete as much as you can every single day in practice. Every single chance you get out there, you make you put something on tape. I don't care if it's in practice. I don't care if it's in training camp. Whenever you touch that ball, you make all of us know why you are here. And then at the end of the year, bro, if we don't love what we've seen from us, I can easily give you the little bridge contract that we saw Mitch Trubisky take. And that gives you the new opportunity now that you've already sat in here for a year. Now you get the opportunity next year, first days, because... If I was drafting a first rounder, I'm going to want all the traits that you got. Which first round quarterback coming out next year do I love more than what I'm going to get from Justin Fields if he was coming out next year? Because we're not. Which it, draft are you talking about? The I'm short talk, draft? Yeah, the short okay. draft. Because hey, this know. draft is already happening, right? We know we're not taking a guy right now to that extent. But it's like in next year's class, I'm like, bro, if all I can go off of is the four seasons that I've seen from Fields and he sits all of this year. I still feel like, man, that's just as nice as anything coming out in that first round. Well, it's the Mitch Trubisky play. It's exactly. the Jameis Winston play. But, but but he has the upside because his athletic traits are still different than those two dudes. Well, I was going to say this. So, it, I mean, it is a lot predicated on what Russ does right. in terms Russ of field longevity though. here in yeah. Pittsburgh because – if Russ balls out, I'm not worried about. I fields. could see, yeah, I could see yeah. field stock being a little bit up just from sitting. Yeah, a la Jameis Winston Absolutely. or Mitch Trubisky, and another team out there get might, a chance to start, man. Yeah, they might look at the quarterback landscape, yeah. look at the draft, and say, ah, why don't we sign Fields mm -hmm. and give him a QB one competition yeah. with whoever it is Which that we is got on our team, bro. That's uh, you know that's kind of what yeah. we did with Mitch. Mm -hmm. Whenever he sat up in Buffalo for 100%. that year, that's the like you said, the Jameis and the Mitch Trubisky. So but then, yeah, right. that, that's the question then. Does Fields take the extension? Because right. if he takes the extension, then we still have him under right. contract for at least another year. Right. I don't see him taking the extension unless he feels that the door is going to be open in some way or form that following season. That is only going to be predicated off of Russ. And that's why it's going to be tough to know because you're, you're making you that extension this, this offseason, right? But no, no, no. It's not tough to know in the extent because I can deny his fifth year option and he's still under contract for this season. And then once the season ends, the same way we were talking with Mason Rudolph and we're like, bro, we got uh, first dibs. Before free agency. I'm look, yeah, I'm saying gotcha, the exact gotcha. same way. Yeah, I'm like, I know I'm going to reject the fifth-year option because I've only given you a conditional six-round pick. So that's not enough skin in the game for me to feel obligated. If it was a first or a second rounder, it's like, yo, if you're giving up that type of capital, you almost got to pick up that option to justify it. To see the two years. But I'm like, with this, I'm like, bro, you're not tripping. So you play this know. year to see how he's going to react. If he's cool, we're cool. If he's tripping... Cool, bro. We ain't tripping, bro. It only He's cost a six cool. round pick. We're gonna go get something in the first round. He's gotta be cool. Yeah. We want to be here. So So that's my thing. I'm like He's already told he's the backup. And once again for Justin, it's like you have a quarterback in front of you that once again has very similar traits to you. Big arm, got legs, right? Not the biggest in terms of a six four, six five quarterback either. So in terms of how y'all see the field, it's going to be similar. So when you're watching film with him and he's saying, bro, I can't look over this 6'5 tackle. I got to shuffle here to look between this guard and, t this guard and tackle spot. That's something he's going to be able to tell Justin. Hey, Justin, I know you like to drift back. And then because you know you're super athletic, you do this whole here. Now you want to jump over here. Do you get back over here? And Russ going to say, hey, no, bro, you ain't got to do all those big movements. You can just slide right here, step up here, and now you right to where you need to be. Cut out the waist of movement. Because he does have a lot of that. Now, it works because of how athletic he is. 
but he does put himself in some bad positions because of the athletic ability. That's what we would say as like rushes when you're going against those type of dudes. They get themselves in trouble at the time. But it's like Russ is going to be able to educate him on, yo, this is how you escape. Who is giving him them nuggets in Chicago? He's teaching himself essentially them it nuggets was, in Chicago. It was you're what, right. You know what I mean? <laughs> Think about that, bro. Whereas Russ, that's that's where, where Kenny right. was learning from too. Here. So when Russ tells you, bro, this is how you escape. Kenny could have benefited too. We said Kenny and Russ got very similar escape patterns, right? They like to bail out the back door in reverse pocket, right? You don't think Russ could have educated them on the best way to do it because Russ do it like a son of a gun. His ability to roll it, but it's like, yo, you got eyes in the back of your head. But it's something clear that he sees or feels that he's going to be able to communicate to Justin Fields. And that's the part where I'm looking at Fields, the same when we talked to TG and we're like, yeah, he does have all the intangibles, legs, arms. He has all this stuff. But can you put it together? This is the best case scenario because he doesn't have the pressure to having to put it together by week one. Your clock, in terms of if I'm talking to Justin Fields, is, bro, I need you to be ready by the end of this season, bro. I need to see what that looks like by then. Can you master the stuff that I'm seeing Russ do? Russ is going to be teaching you or Russ is going to be showing you. I need you to pick up all of that. Now, if you develop faster, great. If you could do it in training camp, great. But my goal, my vision with you, when the season ends, I want it to be that decision where I'm like, boy, should I really extend you, bro? I feel like you ready. Or do I do I, do I I still with this real quick, all right? But that's like perfect scenario how I see it kind of playing out. Yeah, the, well, the reason I brought it up is because you were talking about, you know, Fields basically being the franchise guy, yeah. winning the Super Bowls, mm -hmm. all that type of stuff. Uh it's just, so, I feel like it's so predicated on Russ because you're seeing the reports out with like mm -hmm. Steelers and Russ, how yeah. they view this. They even though it's, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even though it's just a one year deal right now, they're viewing this as mm -hmm. more of a long term thing. I know talk is cheap right now, yeah. but if they're viewing the Russ thing, it's like, yeah. all right, so how long is Fields going to be sticking around? Mm -hmm. I, but you, you got to see how the whole season plays yeah. out. That's my thing. And it's like, bro, it doesn't hurt even if they decided prematurely to extend it. Without the, it, the I think it would be a great option. move. That's for what the I'm Steelers saying. Right. I don't know him. if he'll be open for yeah. it, but if he is, then that is definitely an option. But we won't know that until obviously more information comes out. But the one thing that we do know, and the reason why I do feel so good about both here, is the fact that the communication has been there about what the the hierarchy is in terms of the room. But more importantly, knowing that Justin Fields, after all of the dust settled. He said no to the mother teams and yes to us. It wasn't like we just sent them there because that can also feel different. If he was just getting shipped here and he didn't want to be here, I'm over here like, bro, this I don't think that's going to happen, bro. You know what I mean? But knowing that he decided to say no to four other teams, bro, that's the part where it's like clearly you see something about what we have that makes you feel good about your career because yeah. you're betting your career on this move. I mean, you get sent to the wrong spot, bro. You could be about this thing. It's a draft for every year, man. Yeah, you saw the yeah. market obviously wasn't as hot right. as what people were expecting with Fields. Absolutely, bro. Um, uh, what did I want to say? It escaped me. Damn, I forget. It's all good. I thought it was a good point. It felt like a good point. It'll come back to you, though. We ain't true. It'll definitely come back to you. Yeah, damn. Oh, that's two times today. I'm, I know, no, no, bro. the first time I, I caught it quick, though. Yeah. First time I caught it quick. Hold on. Man, you got it, bro. No, no, let's yeah, let's move on. Respect, respect. All right, all right. So, uh, let me see which super do you have to start with because I think I'm getting close to like the four o'clock time now. Oh, here's what it was. Um, what do you have? yeah, well, I don't think we're gonna be getting any issues from Fields just because everything that they said about him in Chicago, like great teammate, yeah, like great dude. So, yeah, I guess we got two of those type of guys here. And Pittsburgh. he's still young, too. Russ and Fields. He's still young. He's younger than your boy. Although, I guess with uh, Russ, it's weird because obviously he's good guy, right? Russ is like... Good guy, but then some Russ people question like good, good teammate at times and his past stops. Good teammate is a good teammate. People just don't like his approach at times. What did TG say? He's Hollywood. Yeah, right. And that's the thing. It's like Hollywood does not mean you're a bad teammate, but Hollywood is an acquired taste for certain people. And when we kind of broke down what Hollywood was, it's like... Rogers is Hollywood. Yeah, it's like, kinda. to an extent, we say Seven was Hollywood. Brady's Hollywood. Like, when you get to that level, you deserve to be Hollywood, and you treat it like that. Not everybody rocks with it, though. But 
dudes aren't tripping when you balling out though and that's the other part of it i just think as a whole that denver scenario was just ah yeah and that I, ain't what you want bro yeah maybe uh i i think he comes in humbled with a chip on his yeah. shoulder i maybe i think he'll learn from that yeah should be a better teammate here he's got to be his career's on the line here yeah but i think this is a better scenario that he's walking into that's true too like Tom across the, head the coach, board not bro. nathaniel yeah. hackett or sean payton like yeah. sean payton bro he with that yeah he'll be working with arthur smith and mm-hmm. all these new guys that we got on the offensive staff and low-key i'm like russ and Fields fits arthur smith perfect bro yeah and you look at what we doing roster wise with these receivers i'm like okay I, I'm picking, yeah, what do you I'm picking think of the Mike your, Williams move, bro? I think that'd be perfect. Well, you, then you just got to get a slot guy, though. Yeah, you because right now that. what we've done, you bring in Van Jefferson, you gonna bump George Pickens to the backside X. If you were to bring in Mike Williams, what you've done is play bully ball at receiver. You got three dudes that can go down to grass and jump ball dunk on you. Godwin and uh, Mike you catch Evans, what I'm basically. Yeah, Our version of that. right. Why are we running the ball, playing twelve personnel, making you play big body people out there? So I got receivers that can block on the edge. That's going to give me the chance for the long run. But then I also got receivers that can take the top off because these are big vertical down the grass. They're not the route runners. They're the dudes that Russell Williams Wilson. ain't slow either. No, nah, th- it's the Russell Wilson, the play action deep ball. Ru- Mike Williams kills that. When you talk Van Jefferson, even last year, that's still something that he does. And we know GP. He's a down the grass, throw it up, let me go get it. And what does Russ still to this day, his best attribute? Is that day going deep ball, bro? You watch it in Denver. It's still going 60 yards up in the air and it's dropping right in the dime. I'm like, I've already peeped the Van Jefferson and the GP. It's like, if you bring in Mike, I'm like, oh, you got exactly what you're trying to get with this big, this bully ball. I'm going to run it, plax you to death. And then I'm like, when Justin Fields, eventually, if it works long enough for him, it's like, bro, now you just got the height, like the more heightened athlete at that same position in that same scheme like yeah you making teams play with a big body guys but your big bodies are athletes and that's you know if you can get it done like that man you're in a great position yeah i love it i hope that happens because he's probably the best receiver out there right now Mm -hmm. you look at who's left it's like him boyd odell now do you feel any hesitancy though since he is the one that's coming off of the injury now granted he tore his acl in september so he should be completely healthy. But when you think of T. Boyd or even Odell, those no, dudes I, did I want play Williams. more. I want Williams Respect. for him being a big body. I think he, yeah. he gives that uh, unique ability that I don't I don't really think anyone else has yeah. out there right now in free agency. Because you could mm-hmm. you could get a slot guy in the draft. Yeah, you get it. I mean, hell, you could still sign a Tyler Boyd. But I mm-hmm. think the first priority should be Mike Williams. No, we on the same then. Because I I'm bring like, that unique attribute in there. I want the big dudes, bro. Get the big receivers Pair out there, him bro. With picking, yeah, that'd be that'd be awesome. Because you could draft that Michigan dude maybe in the third yeah. round or something. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah, you just have a competition for the slot between Jefferson, uh, whoever you draft, and then Calvin Austin. Yeah, because the way I see it right now, if we don't make another move, you go center. You got to go center first yeah. round because we haven't touched that. That's the one that we haven't touched. So I'm like, if we don't make any of the moves, center is the first option. But after that, I'm like, you kind of going BPA between tackle, corner, receiver, linebacker, safety. Mm-hmm. Because even Deshaun Elliott, that's a starter. I like him. So I'm like, once again, you brought in another dope player. Like, I'm a big fan of the Deshaun Elliott signing, number one, because you got a quality dude that has started in this league, a guy that's familiar with the division. He spent his first three years in Baltimore before, you know, leaving to Detroit and then uh, Miami. But it's like, you got a dude that started 17 games. You got a dude that plays in the box too yeah so now it frees up minka to go back to doing that minka stuff we complain about no turnovers but it's because minka when you play with casey minka gotta be the one in the box more casey gotta be one in the post deshaun elliott changes all that now he get to be down that box he's a shoot 80 90 plus tackle type of dude sure tackler physical cat and probably just got a better throw admin yeah really. seriously that's the vibe yeah and now you get the chance to put minka back into the post and let him Go ahead and be the guy, man. Go go do that mink stuff you do. So, yeah, bro. Like, I just think, like, across the board, the moves that we've made. For we three obviously, million? That's, come on, bro. I wanted Justin Simmons, but uh, this move Justin ain't bad either. Justin would cost a lot more. He would have cost a lot more. Yeah. And yeah. even with Justin Simmons, that doesn't solve the whole Correct. box. What uh, safety is going to be going to the line of scrimmage? Because both of them are going to be inconvenienced at some point in time. Which isn't the worst thing, though. Yeah. Both of them would be inconvenienced, but they're both nice, though. They're both nice. Listen, 
Justin Simmons and Mika attack well enough, and yeah. they and they both are elite on that back end. But Deshaun Elliott, I just think it just simplifies it. It's, this is the Troy Edmonds move. There's just, a hierarchy. Yeah. But it is funny when you what think about it. What are we doing with Casey? Though. I don't know yet. I, I mean, if he's our third safety, it's not the end of the world. Well, I was going to ask, would you rather him versus Edmonds? Uh, because prior to the Elliott move, I would have said I would have won Edmonds. Mm-hmm. But now the Elliott's here, I'm like, I feel like I already have my yeah, Edmonds Casey, vibe. Casey was good in his third safety role his first mm-hmm. year here. I liked him. I liked him in that role. And it simplifies it once again because three safeties, who has to go into the box? Elliot, it's simple. You go there, KZ, you the dude that's on the other side doing all that, you know, sexy, go get the football stuff. If Edmonds is here, now I'm either got to put Elliot back there and then Edmonds down in the box or Edmonds is out there and Elliot's in the box. It yeah. just doesn't feel the same as the KZ part. I mean, if Edmonds wanted to sign here for depth, I'd take him. Yeah. Yeah, then we don't have to even worry about safety at all. It can mm-hmm. just be those four and Killer Brew. Yeah. That's it. And shout out to Killer Brew. He got a nice check, but man, that's our special teams guru right there, man. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good pickup too. Good good resigning. But it's like, bro, like you think about the moves, man, when you talk to Deshaun Elliott, when you talk Dante Jackson, we have a starting safety, starting cornerback too. When we talk Patrick Queen, we got Patrick Queen, Landon Roberts. We feel good. We can start with them right there. When you talk on that offensive side of the ball, we didn't revamp the QB room. Russ. Feels feel good there. We moved on from DJ, but we said GP. You go backside, Van Jefferson. Your front side now, and you still got Calvin. Still got your Titans under contract. We, we need we need some more receivers though. No, no, no. I'm, I'm not feeling good no, about no. that. But, but what I'm saying is this though. In terms of going into the draft, we can legitimately say we have a person. If we had to go play a game tomorrow, we could put them out there, and we could still start with this group right here. Sure. Because there is a scenario where we hope it doesn't come down to it, but there is a scenario realistically where our starting three receivers could literally be GP, Van Jefferson, Calvin. We right. don't want Based it that. Injuries. Right. But it could get to that. We would still feel like, yo, with Russ, or even if it had to be Phil, we feel like we should get out of that stadium with the group that we have offensively and defensively, though. And yeah. that's the part going into the draft. That's a great position to be in because – we don't feel like we have to reach for any. Like, if I said to you right now, Deke, what is the one position you feel like we got to go it's get? got to be center. That's the only one, right? That's a great position. And even with that, we still said we could put James Daniels at center, put her big at guard, and we could still get up out of a game just like that if we needed to. This is the, this is the position you want to be in, man. It's a great spot we in, man. Oh, yeah. I don't think we're done in free agency either. Oh, I don't either. We still could play, bro. We still got cash. Was was there a report that we were looking at another receiver today, too? I just seen Justin Jefferson and Mike Williams. Those were the two. Mike Justin Williams, Jefferson. Well, they keep flirting him out with the trade stuff. Well, that's CTSPN reporting that. Well, he wasn't the only one reporting that. I've seen multiple. Not what are you serious? No, I'm just saying the name has popped up multiple times. So the same way any of these other names have popped up, and I've already told you, since the way Omar Khan has moved, yeah, I entertain all of it because why not? Who who's to say that he want to go do it? That's all I'm saying. Who's to say? I like that. <laughs> Has you told yourself right two weeks ago if we would have said, "Hey, we gonna hire oh, Russ man. and Justin Fields," what would you say two weeks ago? Hey, bro, you get out of here, man. I ain't hearing none of that. This is crazy. And now here we what are. What would it take with for us to get Jefferson? Dudes. Who know, bro? The fact that we have Russ we think for one point two and Fields for a conditional six. A week ago, I would have said this is absolutely insane to even talk that type of conversation, bro. That's my day. I'm just like, a hey. couple firsts. Are you are you sending something up there? I don't know. Send a player in the, in the day. Yeah. yeah, you got to send a player. Send a player. They in were the saying day. the Bengals' potential package if they were to get Jefferson would have been two firsts and Higgins. I don't know if we have that because I don't so want to give first up this year, first next year. You're giving up Pickens in two first for Justin Jefferson, though, bro. You would do that? Uh, what? So what has Pickens done that is better did, than Justin I, Jefferson? I, That's kind of how I look at it. Like, whenever I'm talking player to player, what does this player do to make me not want him over this player? I'm, I'm thinking, though, with Russ maybe being here, could we get the best version of Pickens we've seen. And that's all good. And I'm saying and to myself, not I've having seen, to give up those first round picks either. And I'm just saying to myself, I've seen Justin pieces. Jefferson with Kirk Cousins. You like Kirk, though. Exactly. But I don't like Kirk when I like Russ. So the same way you feel, what if you could see GP with Russ and what that could do? I'm like, what if I get the chance to see Justin Jefferson and that with Russ turns into Moss? 
because think, that to me is are, closer to that than GP I, right I now. Say, I do think they are like different style of quarterbacks, though. Respect. But what I'm saying is, regardless of the styles of quarterback, the production that I've seen from Jefferson compared to the production from GP, if I'm going to just pair one with a higher-end quarterback, I'm like, well, shoot, give me the dude that's already been killing folk already. That's just my mindset, though. We different. No, I feel I. And you know I like proven production. Like, that's proven. That's not a draft pick. That's not a, oh, I'm trading for a ready to mill. That's arguably the best receiver in the NFL yeah. today the past three years. I'm rolling with that one. I for want, two first, I, for I two want, first and GP? I want Jefferson yeah. and Pickens, man. Yeah. That's what I want them both. Because that's how the Bengals, like, the Bengals would be able to keep. They'd have Jamar Chase and Jefferson. I'm with I got one of them bro. both. I'm with you, bro. Trust me, I'm with you. I'm just saying. If it's Justin Jefferson, because that's the one we Two speak first on and specifically. Nausea, maybe. Yeah, maybe we could. I mean, if we would have kept Deontay around, th- three first in Deontay. I already told you I was good with my first deal. The two first to pick is, bro. I'm not tripping, man. This is Justin Jefferson I'm talking about. Anything that's opposite of Justin is gonna look great. Yeah, I know he's legit. I- Anything I think, opposite I think, of Justice go look great. I go draft Jefferson in the first, Jefferson in the second, Jefferson in the third. You can hear me out on this, though. I, I do yeah. think Kirk to Jefferson, I think he's just a more, like, volume passer, just get it to that guy. Okay. Whereas Russ, it's, like, improvisation. Where yeah. I think, I, I kind of feel like Pickens works really good with that here. Okay. I'm not saying Jefferson wouldn't work perfectly. I just don't know if we're getting the same stats he was getting with Kirk here with the Steelers. That's all well and good. And, I just go and what does that I, necessarily mean? Yeah. And what does that necessarily mean either? Because maybe yeah. Jefferson's getting more double teams attention to him. That mm-hmm. opens it up for other players. So yeah, the stats aren't yeah. the, the end all be all either. Yeah. I'd hate giving up those first. Like I said, if we're we're not, I'd hate just, giving up Pickens too. This is my thing. I'm not pro trading Pickens. I know, but we're specifically saying Pickens for Justin Jefferson. And the two first. Yeah, Pickens, Jefferson, it's straight like, up. What, no are we, brainer, what but... are we talking about? It's like, yeah, this is where I get a chance to get Justin Jefferson for two first and Pickens. Yeah, I'm going to personally do that deal, and I'm going to let, you know, I'm going to wish Pickens the best. I'm still a fan. I'm still going to like all the picks he dropped. My best little G still going to rock his jersey. We still going to be all, we team Pickens. But, yeah, we also going to be over here doing the real gritty because, yeah, we know. Since Justin Jefferson's coming to this league, it's, yeah. That's the one. At least to it's me. It's been pretty insane. I mean, he, he yeah. probably has in his first four It's been mm-hmm. four years. Mm-hmm. Might be the four best. Uh, or, yeah, it might be and the best with them getting first hurt. four seasons uh, receivers had. And that's with him getting hurt. That's with him getting hurt, bro. When did he get hurt? Was that last year? Yeah. They might, he was cooking, cooking. The whole Kirk cooking it off and all that stuff. Yeah. How long was he? Yeah, he had a hammy. It wasn't he, that crazy. He had a thousand last yeah, year, right? But he missed time with the hammy because the whole Dobbs coming in and out. Yeah, bro. What was he putting up per game? Mm-hmm. Yeah, his per game was uh, actually the most he's had in his career last year. He had one hundred seven point four. Twenty twenty two, when he won Offensive Player of the Year, it was one hundred six point four. So he had one more yard per game last year. He was averaging. <laughs> And y'all want to tell me that I'm wrong for being okay with trading George I'm not Pickens you're wrong. in two first rounds for Justin Jefferson. I'm not saying you're wrong. Not I, you. The chat, the chat looking at me like I'm crazy. Like, bro, you go it trade Pickens. I'm like, bro, this is Justin Jefferson. We're not talking about C.D. Lamb. We're not talking about I think, Warren it's a, I think it'd be a fair deal. We're not talking about just, Jordan Addison. I think it'd just be a fair deal. Yeah, we're like, talking Justin do you, Jefferson. Do you want to do it or not? I, yeah. I, I would get it. It would almost be like yeah. a sign and rust for a mill. Good. I'd get it if, if we mm-hmm. did it. Like, I'd be bummed with losing mm-hmm. Pickens, but... You're getting Jefferson. I think Jersey sales would go up with there's, Justin Jefferson, bro. There's got to be a way to uh, work around this, though, to give up another player outside of Pickens. There's yeah. got to be a way. The, would you Would you do Minka? Oh, wow. Uh, no. Uh, can, can we sign Simmons? I'm just because for you, we're talking Justin Jefferson. This is arguably it's, it's, the number one <laughs> receiver in the NFL right the now in the past thing couple is, seasons, bro. This isn't past con, right? To trade Minkin two first to get Justin Jefferson, pair him with Pickens, and then we sign Justin Simmons right uh, after. It ain't. <laughs> it ain't. <laughs> it was come, it was, is Omar already thinking about this? Was he thinking about this three days ago? We're, we're actually late to the party. <laughs> I'm just saying, bro, he eat a mood or for one. 
because at the end of the day, it's like, yo, if you can make the numbers work, now it's literally the conversation of who's the better player. And that's what he's been able to do with the Russell Wilson, the Justin Fields dynamic, because a lot of the debate or people going against them was because of the compensation. That's a lot of the reasons why people are going to potentially be against the Justin Fields or Justin Jefferson, because like, oh, what does it cost to get him? But if you're telling me you can make them numbers work, bro, we are talking about proven production at a great age. You're not even in your prime yet. Yeah, bro, that's that's a hard, hard one to pass up on, man. That's all. All right, so you you're saying find a way. He's on your radar now. I, I think I think it's what Con has done. That's make you that's think what this I said way, earlier. right? Like yes. every, anything is on the table. But this is what I like because prior to that, when we first started this dig, you know how just frustrating it would get at times when me and you would have like a thought or you would bring up a player, and I'm just like. Well, Deke, it really ain't no point in us talking about him because we know the Steelers aren't going to do this. Steelers will never trade. Steelers will never sign big name guys. They just wait for the draft and we ain't moving up. But now that we doing this type of stuff, we like, bro, why can't we? <laughs> he nice. You like him? Go get him. What are we waiting on? When that Super Bowl, man, we'll worry about the Bills later. We're about them dudes later, bro. When you something now, we loaded. We, all right. Okay, uh, we get into these supers. Let's get it, bro. All right, all right, all right. So, skydiving, heck, I was gonna say, are no, you, you at him more. just yet? I was. What's your first one? Because this might be the first one. Yeah, I, I got him. Yeah, all uh, right. Yeah, I, there might be some that Wait, we'll be I good. missed throughout yeah. this because we were talking and we'll be good. A lot of supers are coming. In. Shout out to you guys. Scott Evan Hack says, Deke, did you ever see Kenny quitting on this team and not wanting to compete for his drawback? And have your opinions changed on his ability to be a top quarterback in the league? Um. No, I think he can be a top quarterback in the league. Uh, did I ever see Kenny quitting on his team and not wanting to be able to keep for his job? No, I didn't see that. But they, I, maybe – so his ability, I still think he'd be a top quarterback. But seeing how these last few months have gone off the field with Kenny, it, it does make me question uh, just locker room stuff, leadership type of stuff. Yeah, not not the ability to not not like the on the field stuff, but I do think some of the off the field stuff does play into that. So who knows? Who knows? Um, yeah, I, I told you going back whenever we first started talking about the Kenny Pickett trade, like I I didn't I didn't see this in him. Yeah, I didn't see how end of the season played out with that Seahawks rumor, and then just with how this whole requesting trade stuff happened so quick. Like I just I didn't think that was him, but hey. I think that's something I could say I was wrong about. Respect. Respect. Didn't think that. Uh, all right. Next, we got Baron Bradford. <laughs> you can read this one. I was waiting to see how you was going out of this one. <laughs> you can read that one. Shout out to Baron Bradford. Shout out to Dick. I, I was wondering. I was like, oh. I don't know. D go go handle this one. Yeah. All right. So we'll, we'll just keep it very PG. Uh, Omar. Uh, so Farron Bradford. Omar is that dude. He's Omar is that dude. That that's the great way to say it. Omar is that he's, dude. He's that guy. All caps. That dude. All right. So shout out to my guy. All right. Yeah. They did it with my guy. That's my guy. Ain't nothing wrong with that, bro. What's up, my guy? Hey. Shout out to Farron Bradford. Shout out to you, Deke. Shout out, bro. That's that's how you do it, bro. I thought we was going to get the whole show canceled. I was like, oh, Lord, they're going to just cancel. Everybody's going to lose their mind. Dick, don't read this one. Dick, don't do it. Uh, Dick. We can't get canceled after Shut all up. these moves and stuff and how interesting you know what I'm the saying? season's I'm just, I'm like, be, Dick, too. Don't do it. It's like, Dick, not the day. Dick, it's a great day. Just don't, don't say that one. So I'm glad you ain't, bro. I appreciate you, bro. Appreciate you. Hassan gifted five months memberships to Jay Swizzle, Martin Valdez, Martian, JJ Kennedy, and Dominique Scott. Shout out Hassan, rockstar at life, paying it forward and being a dope individual at life. And those people that just got them uh, upper room memberships, welcome to the upper room. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Let's get you dub. Says, man, I don't know what it is about these moves of Friday, but all of a sudden I have a renewed sense of optimism. I stand by Let's my comments it. on draft night. I was right about Kenny. Respect, respect, man. I don't remember the specific comments, but either way, man, I like it. I like it, man. And I'm glad that you do got some renewed optimism, man, because you should. This is what it feels like, man, when you don't have to 
base your optimism on projection or on more of the speculation side this we just feel better because we've seen what russ has done right in terms of can you do it can you win it all we've seen him do that can you still throw for 3k can you still give us 20 plus through the air it's like we've seen him do that so like I said, you should feel confident. I think it's more validated now, and I think that's what all of us and still yeah, the nation as a whole can feel that's right now. That's very fair. Yeah. Yeah, very, very fair. Um, Jeff H., real talk. Y'all ain't check out Deke's channel. He been with all the offseason moves. Big facts. So salute to Deke. Now mm -hmm. back to the regular scheduled programming. Deke, we whooped y'all. Sent Pitt home to the NIT. Rejects. Ooh. I'm guessing he's Ooh. a UNC guy. I, I can't say whooped. I mean, it was a tie game with a couple minutes Ooh. left. We, we we hung with you guys. And we're not going to the NIT, so you're wrong on that. He said he just, he just sent y'all regular schedule programming. So it's just normal that UNC is going to whoop y'all, the way he said. No. Nah. No, nah, Pitt's mm -hmm. on the up, dude. I like what Capel's doing here. Me too. Yeah, it sucks we're going to lose Henson, but hopefully everyone comes back. They still sticking with Capel, though? Oh, you should. You okay. have to, in my opinion. Unless he tries to go somewhere else. I think he likes it here, though. Respect. Yeah, I, I, think I, the, don't, I don't know. I, was I think the program's good, too. I went to... Did I go to two games this year? I might only went to one game. But it's packed down there. Like, yeah. the, the zoo's back. Like, the stadiums are packed for these home Respect. games. I'm mad, bro. Because I thought, since Pitt was hosting the first two rounds, March Madness, I was praying that my Dukes was going to get into the Pitt Oh, that would be cool. Where, yeah, where are they playing? Brooklyn. I thought you about it. Trust me, we thought about it. it. It was heavily in the discussion, but I think we're going to pass this go around. That's only like, what, an hour flight? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, trust me, bro. You get direct and everything. And I love me some New York. You know, I love me New York. Oh, but y'all don't think it's a go this year, bro. I don't think it's a go. If it would have been at Pitt, it would have been perfect, bro. Yeah. It would have been perfect, man. Is there anywhere else close that host games? Is, is like D.C.? They four host hours. Yeah. Dayton does. Yeah. Dayton. Well, that's what we said. We said Dayton. They're like but five hour drive. We was like hour, Dayton and New Dayton and Brooklyn are like the best secondary options. It was just, hey, now we can't just simply drive down the street. Them is either car ride, fire this way or fire that way. So it is what it is, though, man. It's all good. We're gonna have to catch you on the sweet sixteen. We ain't sure. Elmer Anich, crazy and exciting free agent period. Hoping Arthur Smith implements slash two point oh. No. It wouldn't be Wildcat, though, because it's actually two quarterbacks. And one's a first rounder. We're putting fields at receiver? No, no. Put them out there just like the oh man, line about there. Get your, get your gadget on, man. Yeah. No. Yeah. I'm out. You know I'm out yeah. on that. But it's a quarterback. You don't like it when it's the non-quarterback. This is a first round quarterback. I'm so out on Everybody that. Everybody loves first round draft picks, too. They didn't, remember, two first round picks and George Pickens. This could have been a first round pick. Kenny was a first round pick. See, just throw them out there, bro. Yeah, just let them go out there and get a, get a rep, man. No. I hate that stuff. Absolutely hate it. <laughs> Some people say he's a running back anyways. Just imagine him on the jet sweep and they throw that thing. <sighs> oh, my God. <sighs> or he gets it. No, GP gets it, flips it to Fields. Fields gets it, and he hits Russ on the backside. Oh, backside will rock, and you know he got the arm to throw it. Come on, man. Come on. What are your serious thoughts on that? I don't like it. I hate this I don't stuff. like it. I, whoever's my quarterback is my quarterback, bro. Yeah. yeah, if you're my quarterback, you're my quarterback, bro. But if you're going to weaponize See, slash him, you can weaponize slash 2.0, Cordell before it was he quarterback, was a he was doing the receiver Yeah, stuff. he did all that. So this isn't like putting him out there in the wildcat for just right. playing, taking rough. This would be like, Phil's field. go line up in the slot. Go catch you a slant. Go get you a quick <laughs> I mean, little pitch. I don't like that either. And look, really? go, go get you a little quick little, I and then like go that. get it. Yeah. It would make more sense if you have him in the backfield, like you said, doing yeah. uh, like a sweep or something. Yeah. and. I think anything being where you're, a threat to throw yeah, it while where you're he's attacking on the, run. the edges and he got run pass option. I think that's when you're gonna like him the most, man. But I feel like you got to show something on tape early on of him like catching a pass. You do. So when he's out there, you got to worry about that. But then you drop him back into well, the backfield. I'm gonna just say, Deke, as a linebacker. Now we're actually talking about this being a possibility. But Deke, this is the thing: as a linebacker, you're gonna match up with Fields if they put him in that slot area. So you could low key get the matchup you want. You Put him could, on a bird. You could get the matchup you want. You're going to get base personnel, guaranteed. That means you're going to get T.J. Watt or Alex Heisman in our defense walking out on that. Yeah. I, don't, I mean, I don't like it. I really don't. 
All right, fly high. Well, says, maybe I have more faith in Smith implementing it than I do if it said, was Canada. Why don't we use them like the St. Shoes Taysom Hill? See, I didn't know. I I hated that. I hated Hill, that. But he, he was productive. I hated that. But he was like legit. They put him. They put him at quarterback though. I don't. I don't Wide like receiver, that. tight end, running. He was all over. You the got place, one bro. quarterback, in my opinion. Yeah. If you want to throw fields a receiver, maybe do one of that. I prefer that better, but I still don't prefer it. I prefer that over like putting fields out at quarterback for a player too, yeah. but it's still, it's still not a thing that I'm about. It's yeah. too gimmicky. For me, just play ball. In terms of realistically, why I don't want Fields doing that, I personally don't want to jeopardize him getting hurt on something dumb. And number yeah. two, I want all of his focus to be on learning to play quarterback at the National Football there, level. Yeah, that's a good point because too. he has all of the traits. We know he's fast. We know he's athletic. We know he can do all these things. But can you put it together and consistently play quarterback? I literally, man, if I'm coached, I might be calling him right now. Justin, I don't care what you're doing right now. You're flying to wherever Russell Wilson is, and you're just going to follow him. You're just doing everything he does this offseason. Like, that's what you need to be focused on, bro. Because that's the guy that's going to give you the answers to the test. And if you are smart about this, man, that is the best resource that you could have right now, bro. Russell Wilson being on your roster. Best resource you could have you, Justin Fields, man. Let's go U-Dub. I hope Russ pulls a Kurt Warner for us while Fields sits and develops a year like Haskins did. Nah, facts, man. R.P. Haskins, man, because that was part of the plan, too, with him. Sit for a little, and then he was supposed to, you know, get a chance to compete. We obviously yeah. know the end up passing away, and that opened the door for even us drafting Kenny and everything that transpired since then, man. But, um, low-key, I like this move better, if we're being real about it. Just Fields has shown more, at least at this level. Over you know Haskins? I mean? Yeah. In terms of that stage where they were both at joining us. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Fish momentum. Yeah, Haskins got cut, right? You see them? Yeah. He got it's cut. Like, yeah, it fields. wasn't to that with Fields. Even, yeah, even though I, you know, I have my complaints about Fields. Mm -hmm. At least he's been in the league for three years and was a starting quarterback for the Bears. And, you know, there's numbers out there that shows that. And it's certain things that we can play. point to right. each and every year. We're like, yes, this was better than that. That was better than that. And that better than that. So, yeah. Yeah, his third. Yeah, I think the one thing you can't give him credit for, like his third year was his mm -hmm. best year. Mm hmm. Fish momentum, Mets and Deke. How are y'all? Happy belated B day, Mets. Deke, Spooch. love your takes. Hashtag Mr. Jack Myers Jr. Hashtag Here We Go. Hashtag Ambition the Kid and hashtag Omar Khan Artist. Let's go. We need Ambition the Kid in Sierra, bro. That's the collab we need. Uh, you're talking about just music collab. Yeah, right, yeah. I was going to say, I, I hope no, you're not don't trying to sabotage don't, don't Russ. Don't give me trouble. No, 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 no. Don't do that. And this is the other part, too. All the day on future memes been popping up now that Russ is with us. I totally forgot that this is what comes when Russ signs. You get all the future jokes. They're like, yo, Phil's trying to, hey, I know he bombed future. I know that's probably his favorite artist. Now, with that QB run, how do you, what you listen to, what you warm up so to? So, where are you, you at me? right now? A little bit more removed, like... You were entertaining, still listening to the future. Like, you're still bad. But, like, how about now? You, you see the memes piss you off a little bit, and you're like, you know what? Um, Russ is our guy. Listen, no, no more future. Listen, as much as I would love to take that stance, I love future's music way more than I love Russell Wilson, at quarterback, bro. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I will, I will be respectful about my music choice. Like, I haven't been putting future on my IG posts, even though I wanted to put future with my post. I was like, you know what? I'm going to chill on that. I got, I got that. Oh, the songs. Because they yeah, let you yeah, songs now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like, I'm, I'll am i chill on that. But it's like, bro, it's future. And he about to drop an album with Metro Boomin. Bro, he about to have a whole summer on fire. Come on, man. No, nah, no. Nah, I t t can't take my future away from him. Don't, don't, don't take future away from him. Don't do that one. All right? Like I said, I won't play it loudly around him and obnoxiously around him. But I'm going to bump that future, though, D. You know you got to play that future. You got to play that future, bro. It's future. Come on, bro. What'd you think of uh, Russ's press conference? I loved it. Yeah, I this loved it. I loved it for multiple yeah. reasons because uh, it was a bunch of cliches and he didn't mm -hmm. give the media anything. Yeah. But then there were moments where he's talking about Super Bowls and stuff, mm -hmm. and that, that's where you I see was him like, serious. Okay, yeah. Just fast forward to that part, mm -hmm. like the Super Bowl stuff and being contenders and like just getting better and putting in the work. I like mm -hmm. that. When I tell you, man, Russ to me, the way that he's handled this process, pre-signing, signing. Kenny trade, Phil's trade. I think he's been perfect throughout. And but, he still got the bus cut. He had but, the ice too. And he right? redid the bus cut too. Did you see the redo in Pittsburgh? So he's checking all the box. But the thing that I do like in, in terms of just like an all seriousness, man, 
this is what we were missing the past couple of seasons. Leadership. When I've said we have not had a true leader on offense, a true leader of this team, that's what Russ is. You talked about the buzz that everybody in the city you feels. Feel the organization reflects it. The play, like, bro, this is what QB won franchise. That franchise, it just hits different. And it's like, everybody can have whatever opinion they want that have never been around a franchise caliber quarterback. But it's like, when you're around them dudes, it is just different. And all of us get a chance to revisit that feeling because I think at times, because Seven was here for so long, you do, to an extent, is not as new anymore. But when you go through that phase of, okay, now y'all forgot what it's like. Okay, not everybody has franchise quarterbacks. It doesn't always last forever. Now y'all got humble for a little bit in terms of still fans. But now we get that feeling of, bro, we back. We got this guy. And everybody is responding the way they're supposed to. But this, this is the rest effect. This is the true leader of your team, man. When he goes to talk, nobody has to ask who's going to break down the huddle the first time they got OTA practice. Nobody could before here, that was a conversation. I'm sure if it was going to be Kenny and Mason back, yeah. it would have been a debate. Hey, who going to put the hand in first? Yeah. Can I fight you to fight? You think anybody is going to think to say anything when Russ is, bro, it's Russ. Same way when Seven was here. When Seven is here, you know who break it down every single time, D? Seven, unless Seven says, hey, I want you to break it down. That's about it. It changes all of that stuff, man. So, yeah, bro. I love this day, man. This week five. Does Fields get a press conference? Personally, I don't think so, but I don't think he should want one either. I think if you're going to do what has been kind of communicated, you come in here, learn, be the backup, compete, but you know, Russ, this is his squad. I don't think you do a press conference. I think you come in, fly under the radar, bro. Show up, first day of OTA practice, it's time to work. Let me work. I'm here to work. I'm not here to make headlines. I'm not here to be noisy. I'm here to work. I'm here to compete. My head's down and I'm grinding. That's not the energy that Kenny had. And I think that's something that a lot of dudes will respect more if he is on that type of just, I'm here to work, bro. Because he got just as many excuses for why he wasn't successful in Chicago as Kenny does for why he wasn't successful here. And are some of them valid? Yes. But when you focus solely on them excuses, that's where you run back to the whole Coach Tomlin, don't seek comfort part. For Justin Fields, like, bro. You ain't need you no press conference to justify why you're here. We know why you're here. It didn't go how we thought it should have went for you. You don't feel like it went, and Chicago don't feel like it went the way it should have went. You here now, bro. Lock in. Ball out. Do what you're supposed to do, bro. Now, who's that on, though? In terms because of, you know so, fans want to hear from him. Media yeah, fans want to hear from him. And t- put it like this. If it's a scenario where he does have to go because, yo, it's just so many people asking for you to speak, yeah. then, yeah, you have to do that. Because Kenny did with the right. Eagles. It's like if enough people, if enough media is asking for it, yeah, they will go ahead and say, man, set the press conference up. But if that's not the case, then, yeah, he still could. And this is the other part. Players still do. I don't want to do the press conference right now. And I wonder also is the difference because Kenny actually – is in Philly. He went to Philly. Russ, when he signed, he came here. Phil's like, yo, you got the trade. All right, the trade is signed, but where is he right now? Uh, That's my, you know what I mean? Yeah, I guess yeah, technically yeah, he doesn't have to come right, here. Right, he doesn't have to come yeah, here. Yeah. Right. So I'm like, you're not about to just fly in for that when you were the conditional six. That's the reason, that I'm like, we ain't see uh, Deshaun Elliott either yet, have we? No, he did one. We did one? Okay, because I saw Queen Patrick and Queen and Russ. Um, Russ. Okay. And speaking of Elliot, I wanted to say this whenever he was brought up uh, like 30 minutes ago. Yeah. The thing I liked about him at the press conference, he like yeah. he pointed to like the Steeler logo. Oh, he did? Respect, respect. Like, so I missed him then. Yeah, yeah he's like, I this missed is the him. brand of football right here. This is I what like we're it. all about. I like it, bro. Yeah, he's that I like good. It. But y'all, I'm hoping for Phil's man that, you know, he just stays low-key with it, bro. If he does talk, talk cool, but stay low-key. I you think don't he, need to be noisy here, man. Yeah, I, I don't think he... Mm. Based off everything in Chicago, he never was noisy. Nah, he, was, he was quiet. He seemed like a pretty humble dude, yeah. just a hardworking guy, good teammate mm-hmm. and stuff. So I don't expect that to be the case here at all. I would I would think if he did the press conference, it would almost be like he's forced to because yeah. everyone wants to hear from him. Right, because that's my thing. But I'm I don't like, think he's going to say anything newsworthy. Like, not nah, me either. This is, this is my job. Yeah. Uh, I'm going I'm to take this from Russ or anything like that. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm just like, man, I just think sometimes it's a lot for him. It could just be better. Very the Jameis Winston, the Mr. Bisky, because you are already a loud, polarizing player, regardless of if it's what you've done or not done. Sometimes it's better to just chill for a little bit, man. Right. Just chill for a little bit. 
Fish momentum. Love the field trade. Miss KP8. Another live show? Question mark. Another live show? Yeah, we live. Heck yeah, we live. Yeah. yeah. Heck yeah, heck yeah, heck yeah. Uh, AJ Martinez, go Lobos, Mountain West champs, pound the Tigers. Oh, this, that is his little squad. It's his squad. Stop Shots. bringing up NCAA comments, please. <laughs> please stop. Don't care about the NCAA tournament. It's a hoax. <laughs> Let's go New Mexico. <laughs> Whoever wins this year, fake champions. <laughs> Pitt wasn't Let's, in it. Listen, if JMU don't win, you definitely did. You're right, it was fake champs. It was rigged. I'm telling you now. If JMU wins? If JMU doesn't win, it's rigged. Uh, I'm just throwing it out there, bro. Yeah, pitch it. Yeah, say yeah. that. Pitch it. If been JMU in. doesn't win, it's rigged, not a legitimate bro. field. Yep. Since Pitt's yep. not in. Uh, come on here. I went from being heartbroken by the Kenny news to having my heart get put back together in full force after we got Fields. Hoping we can lock up Mike Williams and get Fields signed long term. Hashtag let's go. Yeah, I like both of those options, man. Um, the Mike Williams part and then even Fields, like I said, long term to me has a couple of meanings. Me long term for Fields right now is get two more years on this deal because we know we got one right now. If you could do a two for something where it's two for 10, two for You're six. You're saying 2026 or just this year in 2025? No, this year plus two additional. That, that, no, because he said long term. I said to uh, me, that's the only thing that I envision as long term right now would yeah. be a two year extension on top of the one year that he's doing. And that's why I was like a two for 10 or a two for seven or something like that. But I don't see the point in a long-term deal today because we just don't have enough information just yet. But if the info is what we want it to be, like I said, I'm all down for the Phil's extension, but just make sure that number is right. We don't want to be risky, and I don't think Omar's going to put us in a risk. The way he's been handling things, he look cut, though. Omar might hit him with the look. You could take a, a two for four, <laughs> all right? And you're gonna like it. And you go like I'm, and I'm gonna give you sixty grand for your signing bonus. I right? feel good about yourself. Like, dang, I don't know what Omar has, but Omar's not playing fair. He's different. He needs to write a book. Seriously, bro. Like, Trump has that book, The Art Seriously, of the Deal. Bro. Like, Seriously, Omar Khan needs to make a book just like that. Shout out, bro. <laughs> all, all I'm gonna say is this: the I'm glad Omar went to GM when I was going to my negotiations because I don't think I'd have got the deal I got. I, he he was talking a little different, bro. This version right here, Deke. Oh, this this ain't the version you want to play with, Deke. Don't play with this, Omar. All right? He different, bro. He different. What would the book be called? <sighs> How to be the con artist. How to rob him with the mask off. <laughs> <laughs> How to be the art of con. The art of con. There's got to be a good net. How to, something, bro. It's got to be something, bro. How to be a dominant NFL GM. Facts. And hey, y'all hit that like button one time, too, man. If y'all rocking with the show, don't forget the to subscribe. The life and times of the con either. artist. It's got to be something, bro. Con the Conqueror. That's what, that's what Steel Squad says. JP says, Quan University. <laughs> mm -hmm. Con University. The Conway. Trials of the Con. Shout out to Skylar Brady. Trials of the Con. The art of business. That sounds real professional right there. The art of the art of an business. NFL GM. Mm. The GM way. Fleecing the bears. The steal away. Remodified. Or modified. Con artist edition. Ooh, special con edition. Yeah. Special con like edition. <laughs> steal away special con edition. Let's go. You dub says, watch out for NM in the bracket. Hey. The New Mexico. Yeah, they, they I just don't know which side of the bracket they're on. As long as they ain't on JMU side, y'all good. All right. So just you would know have, I'm feeling who good. do you have next then? I haven't even looked Wisconsin. that far. I'm One game at a time. I'm singularly okay. focused, D. Singularly focused. We got Wisconsin. Wisconsin went deep in the Big Ten tourney, right? I'm, I'm happy for them because I needed to be legitimate. You know, we, we we took off the head, you know, early on in the year when they was like, oh, this is the number one team in all they the nation. They made the tournament over Pitt. Michigan State, Pitt beats them in every category out there. They were Every the number, they, they were the number one ranked team in the nation this year, D. You know? Hmm? They were the number one ranked team at one point in time in the nation. Were they? Didn't you beat them when they were four though? No, we beat them when they were number one. No. They were one. I can't make this up, Deke. Deke, Gosh. we had the most wins of any college basketball team I know that. this season, bro. I know that. Michigan State. Yes, that was we one. I feel like we opened up with Michigan, bro. We opened up Michigan State, bro. Yeah. All right, all right. Yeah, bro. I'm not going to argue with you. That's all, bro. They was you the sure one. they were one? You should pull it up. No. I, yeah. I thought they were like three or four. You should pull it up. You want me to? 
I already know. That's what I'm you should pull it up. All right. Yeah. Just pull up JMU, Michigan State. Yeah. Pull it up, bro. So, I guess it would be on YouTube. Like the, no, no, no. You just, like, if you just type in it, it should pop up right nah, there. No, because it doesn't have that ranking. Oh, you know what I mean? Oh, got you, got you. Or pull like the TV yeah, or Hold something. On. Yeah, they would like want. Like a game recap or mm-hmm. something. There we go. There we go. Yep. Let me see. Uh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Bro. Mm-hmm. What do you owe me? What? They're the one seat. Not four. Got the four seat, bro. It's four. All right. When was that the career, bro? Because when I saw that game, it was the one seat, bro. Maybe yeah, I missed it. It's four, yeah. All right. Respect I, prom- it. I promise. All right. Respect it. I promise. Respect. What do you have, man? Nothing. You ain't betting nothing because you be scared. <laughs> scared money doesn't Come make on, money, bro. Deke. The same way Kenny Pickett was scared money, bro. It don't make no money, man. If Go you on, felt confident, bro. you would have said it. I was confident. I was wrong, but I was confident, bro. We got Force Works 7. Just want to bring up that Kenneth Pickett skipped exit interviews at the end of the season. Did he? What maturity know, level does that have as a prominent first rounder? Tell me, did he, bro? I remember the whole debate with Kenny. I mean, not with Kenny, with TJ. But I don't remember right. that being the case with I didn't Kenny. hear that. Yeah. No, I didn't hear that. Um, I'll say this, man. Um. In terms of oh wait that's well, I'm I'm I skipped all the chats that's actually like the most recent one sorry oh, all right we'll, we'll spend the block one shout out to Force Works yeah 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 I will spend the block one now we'll wait we'll wait we'll come back to that then my bad yeah yeah I think that's actually one of the more recent ones yeah. we still got a ways to go here coming here wish my boys uh wish my Vermont boys good luck versus Duke. Now, y'all going to take care JMU of this. JMU, too. Hashtag March M. Salute you. Hey, look, look. I'm rooting for you. I'm rooting for Vermont. I'm rooting for New Mexico. Is is, is Did uh, Wyoming make it? I don't know if Wyoming made it. I don't know. I don't think they did. If they did, I would have rooted for them, too. But they ain't make it. I don't think they made it. But yeah, I, I just know I I no, Pitt didn't yeah. make it. And a bunch of teams that didn't deserve to be in made it in. That's, that's all I know. Yeah. Respect on that, bro. Uh, Nanzito, I need to see that plus 900 already for our Super Bowl odds. They're tripping. They I think I already have something on our Super yeah. Bowl. I forget what I got it at, but... Nah, people, I got something in there already. I was seeing the MVP joint where they were saying how Russ is the starter, but you got, I think, better odds for Phil's? I think it was something like that. The Russ, the Russ odds, like the are, MVP? The Russ odds yeah. are pretty good. There's a story there. There is a story. There's a story. And you and you saw the stats Lamar won it with. Uh, it's Russ's numbers from this season. Everybody said Russ was washed so, with. Yeah, Lamar yeah. Lamar had more yards. He had more on the ground. Mm-hmm. Like combined yards. He had like I think over mm-hmm. was it close to forty five hundred? Was it forty two, forty three hundred? Yeah. Russ was at like I think mm-hmm. thirty three, thirty four hundred mm-hmm. total yards. So he could bump the Just yards saying. up a little bit. See, there's gotta be like the one seed though. Yeah. We got a ball out. And I think quarterback play has to be down too, because that's the one benefit Lamar had last yeah. year. Mm-hmm. Quarterback play was down. A lot of injuries. A lot of studs he were hurt. Also has the Sierra element. Do not lose sight of the Sierra element, bro. That matters. That's gonna keep his name in the headline. That's gonna help him out. Sure. Voters like that, bro. Turn storylines. They like they can sell that. Tactical. Oh shoot! Hold on real quick because we um, we did have another one. Uh, Hassan right, okay. Hassan T, nineteen eighty nine, says the con man smoking that picket pack today. <laughs> mm. <laughs> that boy then turned picket into a pack. Lord, Lord, Lord. He said, "Get with the program or take your bro mm, home." Hey now, that that does seem to be the uh, the communication going on over there. To, uh, you know, on the south side. It, did you partake in the picket pack also? No. No, I'm not doing that. You smoked the Canada pack? What's the difference? They this is a package deal. Thought no. it was like like a two pack. You know what I mean? It's like, all right, that's the Canada and that's the no. that's the Kenny. Yeah. No, not the same. Dang, all right. No pack it pack. Cause I was coughing. I didn't know if it was yeah, it's I think it was a hybrid. You know how that go. Yeah. I figured that. Like but I said, I think that was your birthday wish when you brought I the candles. I did it. I did get, it out of Kenny respect. Up, get Kenny up off his team. I did it out of respect. I said, if it was any other person, it would be a pack. So I need to make sure that I still respect Kenny enough to make sure that when I use this here biscotti, that, you know, I do it in honor of Kenny. And I did. And it felt good, bro. It felt good, man. Like, shout out to the Kenny pack, bro. Shout out. 
but I just felt like you was gonna be with me on that, bro. No, you knew I wasn't. You were on the kit. You were on the Canada pack. I figured you was on the Kenny pack. I thought because they sabotaged each other. I thought just yeah. No, it was more Canada. It, it, no, it was more Canada. I was trying to pass to you, bro. Yeah, man, I thought you went. Yeah, you know, that's crazy. Nah, that's crazy. Dick said he quit now. That's crazy. <laughs> Dick said I want no packs. I'm good. <laughs> Nah, nah, I haven't quit. Although I was, <laughs> I was up and down last year with my packs and my consistency on those videos. Yeah. Sorry about that. It'd be a lot easier to be consistent now, though, bro. You got way more action now, bro. I, bro, you, I feel like you're gonna be turned up with a thousand. I can just see you now, bro, because you was already like that. This, this. Man. I feel good about this season. I'll... We ain't felt like this in a minute, bro. This feel good. This is a good feeling to have right now, man. See, I told you he's got five. Let's yeah, go. did you see that? I did see that. I don't bro. think in the picture. That, that yeah. was the Schefter. That was definitely the though. picture, though. Talking about the uh, Justin Fields yeah. was going back and forth about the jersey. Yeah, so they definitely just flashed on ESPN with that five on. It was the Photoshop, but it definitely was a five. I think you got to go two. Two would be my pick. League wide, two has a chance to be. You can solidify two. I think, I think it looked the best too. Yeah. Uh, tactical. What do you guys think of the Sneed Debo rumors? I have been seeing those also. How'd you feel about them though, man? I, this is the first time I'm hearing about it. You serious? It's no I way, promise. bro. It is no I way promise. you haven't seen Debo, bro. For a fact, <laughs> to the Steelers, bro. For a fact, I saw the Debo and the no. Jefferson names started to pop around the same time Debo over the Samuel. weekend. I'm trying to tell you, bro. And then That'd the whole Sneed cool. part, because with the Sneed part, they were the saying Smith how, because with Sneed, they were saying how the difference with Chicago, Chicago with Jeff, uh, with Johnson, they did the extension with him. They haven't done the extension, if I remember correctly, with Sneed just yet. And I think that's why they're saying that it still could be potential because what they both communicated was if they can't get the deal done, then they're going to trade him. But they were going to franchise tag him just to make sure that he's going to be compensated regardless of if it's here or if they trade him elsewhere. He's still going to get paid what he's going to get paid. Mm. So that was the part where it was like, well, they haven't extended him yet like we saw the Bears do it uh, with Jalen Johnson. So if that's the case, well, what is it going to take? And I think because of how Omar's been moving with the Russ move and with the uh, Justin Fields move, I just think as a whole right now, bro, yeah, it's like how do you legitimately say that those can't happen right now. <laughs> That's my thing. I'm like, would he mortgage the future? I don't know. But is that a possibility? Sure. But would he do it? I don't know. Do, do you think if it came down to him deciding on moving first round picks for some of these type of players that we name in, do you feel with 100% certainty that you could say Omar would or would not do it like how we felt with Kevin Colbert? Hey. Because I'm like, what call could be in play. I could see Debo working with the offense. Come on, bro. Don't trade Pickens for Debo, though. I don't want to trade Pickens for Debo. Like I said, it's Justin Jefferson was the only person in that argument. What about your boy Jamar Chase? Well, that was going to be the second combo. But okay. those, I view them two dudes, to me, those are my type of receivers. Then You know, I like Diggs. But it's like, I'm not big on trading Pickens for just anybody. But we were specifically asking Justin Jefferson. I what's view the Justin what's as the, the best guy in the league right now. What's the update on Diggs? Oh, he's he's locked in. His, he's his contract already guaranteed for the year. Yeah, okay. 18, 18.9 mil. Yeah, we'd have moved on some dudes, extended some cats, just extended Taron Johnson. That nickel. You know, you know the 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 best nickel corner in the league. I don't care if he was second team All Pro. He's the highest paid guy now. All right, shout out to him on that. So you know, we 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 we've been doing some finagling, some extendings here, some some fire cell here, and yeah. We were able to keep the main core band members together. All right, we're going to do one final tour. And then after that, we're just going to switch the whole band up. All right, we're going to have the original singer. We got the front man. As long as you got Freddie Mercury, hey, queen is queen. But you got to have Freddie. All right, we got Freddie. You know, about to, you know. So make it count this year. But now I'm conflicted because I'm like, bro, we hot right now. I like what we got. I, just, I think this gonna be. This got a chance. Legit. This got a chance. Like before, I just ah, I was, I was talking myself into it. But right now, I'm like, hey, bro. All I got to do is see where Russ is, and I don't need Russ to be forty million, dog, because mm, we got more than enough around you. This ain't forty million set up. This is the setup for you to just go and be the cheat code. Yeah, I like that a lot right now, bro. 
So you're coming back to us. Never coming back. Just think of it like this, man. <laughs> I don't move how you move. Because think about this, right? You got to go and come back because of how people view your hard stances or plays, man. I've always kept the same energy with it, man. So, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. They be looking at you because you be putting that flag and you be talking crazy about everybody if they don't no, get a flag, I'm not, bro. I'm not, no, yeah. no, no, no. I'm not talking about. I'm talking about the the team. I'm talking yeah. about the Bills and Steelers. You, you, I've yeah. I've been rocking. I've been rocking all year, bro. I tell you the same thing all the time, bro. Yeah. And we will see if Russ can do what I think he's capable of, bro. But. You know that's the big well, difference could, in the combo. I'm, I'm saying, could we get a Steeler pick, maybe? No, 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 no. Steeler Bill matchup. Uh, 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 no, no, no. Because see, you want that now that <laughs> Kenny isn't here. When Kenny was here, you was quiet with that talk. You want talk that talk like that? You was quiet. No. Now all of a sudden, Russ now you want. Hey, can we get that pick now? What's up with that dude now? You ain't want to do none of that oh, talking. I still wanted the pick. You I'll... ain't want to do none of that talking, it's, there, it's, bro. That's no, crazy, no, no. bro. I, I wanted the Steeler pick then. <laughs> I, I just knew I wasn't gonna get it. I, I wanted to steal the pick. You then. just seem like you a lot more excited for that pick now than you no, were back I'm seeing there, your, bro. I'm seeing your excitement with the team because we should be excited. So I was just, yeah. I, that's I was curious if we were. But, gonna, but see, I'm a cause and effect. Am guy. I going to get a Steeler pick? I, I'm cause and effect. When you do something to make me feel excited, oh yeah, I'm a legitimately be excited. But if I don't feel like I should be excited, it's like yo, y'all can say whatever y'all want. I just can't buy it, and I felt like that was kind of our disconnect at times. You know what I mean? Whereas now it's like, bro, I can get behind this. Now the last question I guys need to see that part, but I feel really good about that part right now. I feel really good about it, bro. So I think it's gonna be dicey, bro. I think it's gonna be fun. But I would also say this in terms of just both teams right now, different of how we're approaching stuff right now. We're doing a lot more free agency because we had the cap situation to do a lot more free agency. Those were like, where they were down They bad. were over 30 in the cap. So they've been doing the reverse of trying to trim here, trim here, add something. So the next thing for them is draft. After the draft, you might see a little bit more. Oh, I bet, 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 bet. But right now, it's like, all right, let's see what else y'all got in the works over there. For us, bro, we go, we active. We going to get stuff. Just a different feel. Yeah. Russell Swartz, Moats report came out that the Steelers plan on signing Russ to a longer deal next year. Hey, we were talking yeah. about that, kind of. Yeah. If he does what he's supposed to do, they'll take care of him, man. I'm sure that is the plan. Yeah. But you know, I trust they were. Shoot. If you do what they if you talks do what you're supposed cheap, to do, though, bro. Right? Like at this yeah. point, it talks cheap. Right. The thing that you want is just a simple communication of what was given to Russ right now. And just from a person that had a similar conversation, it's literally. Bro, we like what you're doing. We feel good about this. If you do what we think you're capable of doing, we are going to take care of you on the back end. That's how that convo goes, man. If Russ take care of what he's supposed to, the Steelers will take care of him, man. 100% they'll take care of him. So that's the part where you're like, yo, you're in control. But it's just good to hear it, though. You know what I mean? Because you at least know, all right, there's a chance I might be in the long-term future versus I'm just playing for Mercenary. the next opportunity. Yeah. Because those are two different things. Like the mercenary, man, you playing for that contract, you playing for the money. That's cool, but I'd rather have the guy that wants to be here yeah. for the T, bro. Like, I want you willing to die for the logo, not because of your check. They both could work. You still nice, but I done had the $100 million mercenary before, bro. It just, yeah, you be saying, like, bro, ah, can you just, can I get a little bit more? He's like, I didn't check my box. I'm good for the day. Lord knows 36. What's good, y'all boys? Can we please go trade for Brandon Ayuk? Trade Muth for a pick recoup. Draft 6-7 Johnny Wilson out of FSU. Let me know what you think. Sheesh. Trade Muth. No, there's, there's no reason to trade Muth, right? I don't want to trade Muth. No. I think I, I think Muth is excited also because of what he has at quarterback right now. Well, you know, uh, if you trade Muth, you got to get one of these top tight. You, yeah. yeah, you got to get one of these top tight ends in the draft. And I don't yeah. even know who's in this draft outside of Brock Bowers. But I was about to say that's the one. Or anything out of out the who, who's out the Big Ten? I know it's an Iowa somewhere. Iowa yeah, State maybe just or draft the Iowa tight end. Anybody out of Iowa, just go. Whoever get it. it is, we, I mean, we should do that anyway. Even Seriously, if, if they even if he's Iowa, only projected him, like six round or something, yeah. just draft him. Yeah, just get him on the roster. Iowa, and they play tight end. Go get him, bro. Go get him. Johnny Wilson out of FSU. I don't. Even I gotta know check him out. Yeah, because I haven't. We even on the tight ends like that. Yeah. I could be off. Maybe he's right here. Six seven. That's a big, yeah. big cat, though. Yeah, I guess he is a tight end. That's what I'm like. Talking yeah, about six, moves. Seven, yeah. I mean, he might be a receiver. I don't know. Almost like that's almost too man. tall. Yeah, it's yeah, too yeah. tall to be a receiver. I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Brandon Ayuk, maybe a good Deontay replacement. 
Oh, now time up. DC 53 says Muth is one season away from being Kenny Pickett, to be honest. And he says he loves Muth. Oh, come on. How you feel about that? What, what is, I don't even know what he means by that. He was, Muth was just hurt last year. Mm-hmm. I, the, the, the reason I, I see why you'd want to trade him, though, is because of uh, the potential contract extension you're going to have to give him coming up. Yeah. It's almost like trading away Deontay right now, or even why we were talking about trading Deontay before we gave him the yeah. extension. Dude. All right, shout out to Skeeter Jones. I'm glad you refreshed me. The Colorado State tight end, he nice too, bro. I saw him. Yeah, he's good. Oh, yeah. yeah. He, he a good you dude. Know what? Yeah, Why did I yeah, watch? Yeah, he's straight, bro. He was at the senior role. Because he's, you know, is that what it was? Star- was? It was the senior role East West. He was at one of the ones. He's considered one of the sleepers, maybe yeah. one of those guys you get late. I think oh, was, wait, we it talked was it about East-West? him. We definitely talked about him. He had to be East West with two and with, uh, with Lil Tua. With, with Ty, 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 Ty Valor. He was one of those bulls. Yeah. We talked about I remember we talking about We definitely talked about this cat, though. Yeah. Someone brought him up, or you brought him up, yeah. I brought him up. Because I remember it was the tight end. Because even in the game when they played uh, Prime, the tight end, and they got a DN, like a pass rusher that's nice, too. Those are right. the two cats. Yeah. Yeah. All right. There we go. There we go. Uh, no. Nah. I mean, most tight end, like, we don't have anyone after him that's really proven like Man. that. Because Darnell's big, but I don't want to take the shown... risk on that right now. Yeah. He hasn't shown to that level. They and we did get some confirmation from the chat. They said Johnny Wilson is a wide receiver, but he has not said that he's willing to play tight end just yet. Uh, they're talking yeah, about him talking about a converter. Yeah. AJ Martinez, Pickett couldn't take a hit. He was hurt a lot. I talked about that. Yeah. Oh, he was saying literally. I thought he was saying like in the figurative sense of just like the hit of Russ coming in. Uh well, I guess either or at this point, yeah. Yeah, because I was like, man. Like, I know people put the whole Kenny soft like, from a physicality standpoint, but that was never, like, my vibe with him. Like, yo, injuries happening as a dude that's been out there, man, just because it is not a broke bone or an ACL or something that we can physically look at and say, yo, that's bad, it does not mean that these injuries are still not valid. They're still not significant enough where he doesn't or a player doesn't feel comfortable going out there. If you are worried about if you're healthy enough to move, man, or healthy enough to get out the way or certain things like that, playing in a game, man, come on, bro. That's not even in the equation. So I do feel like it's certain parts where for Kenny, when we have talked, not us specifically, because I think we've done a good job at it, but I know some of the criticism surrounding Kenny has been his inability to come back or faster from some of these injuries. It's like, some of it's just bad luck. You know what I mean? Yeah. He, like, some of it's bad yeah. luck, bro. Yeah. But, like, I'm not about to sit here and act like this dude saw from a physical standpoint because he's hurt and he can't get on that field. It's like, yo, we not his body. We not these trainers, man. But just living it, man, yeah, it's a lot that kind of goes into your body. And if you do feel good enough to get, you can go out there, you know? Yeah, and it's funny, too, because... The one time he did come back quickly from one of the injuries this year, that was the ribs. Mm-hmm. It was a quick turnaround. It was that Thursday yeah. night game against the Titans. Mm-hmm. Like, dude, I, like you again, it's not an excuse. Yeah, You're out on the field. You can see it, though. But, yep. mm-hmm. I mean, dealing with those ribs for, like, two, three weeks, don't yeah. don't you think that may have contributed to some of his poor accuracy out there? May yeah. have. It's You're out there, but... Mm-hmm. Again, that's another reason why I, I still feel yeah. like when you look at everything that happened with Pickett these mm-hmm. last two years, it's like... There, there are excuses. There, there are, there are reasons why I think I would agree. you would be fine in wanting to see him for a year three. Steelers, yeah. I, I'm not even saying they didn't take that approach. The Steelers but did. Me and you both did also. The only thing that changed they just was Ryan Russell Wilson, and then his, action, which I understand too. But then his, the plan was still the same even when Russ got here. Who made the first move to change all of that? Kenny. The message was still the same. The plan was still the same. Competition. You're still going to get a chance to compete. You're still going to be in the QB1 convo. Yeah. The, the only, I guess the yeah. only thing that changed from maybe Kenny's standpoint is Russ is going to get the inside track at QB1 mm-hmm. now. Probably didn't like that. Yeah. I'm not saying the Steelers are wrong for doing that either. But just think, you didn't like Russ getting the inside track for you to compete. So now you're going to Philly. What's your track out there? You know what I mean? Like that's the part that just yeah. We and we we talked Kenny, about man, that. Yeah. We talked about that. Yeah. I'm like, dude, you getting yourself in a little 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 of a pickle right now, man. Yeah. Uh, Russell Schwartz, Kenny ran away like a baby, not getting his own way. Lol. If someone get him a pacifier. Jeez. The good thing is though, he set himself up in position for a great 
second half of his story, you know? Sometimes you need some adversity. Sometimes you got to get a little bump or two. So he didn't bump them up. He didn't, yeah. Now you can rewrite it. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Rewrite your story, bro. Early 92, while Virginia Hands showed his true colors. No fighting him. No balls. Oh, and no talent. GP had it right. KP is just some guy with mm. the hair, not an NFL QB. Listen, listen. Here's listen. the thing. When GP was on, he was also he was talking like, up mm-hmm. Kenny Pickett a lot. He was like, yeah. yeah, I think he's the guy. Yeah. I think a lot of us thought he was going to be the guy for us. Dude, I ain't about to sit here and that. Like, I'm changing how I viewed him. You know what I mean? Like, You, you thought he was yeah, going to be. Like, not name, to the extent bro. of me or some other right. people, we but you thought he was, was going to have develop. a, a yes, pretty good he was second gonna year. Be better. Absolutely, bro. And even going into this season, there were still parts where we was like, yo, he still should be able to grow, but he has to be better with this. In terms of, you know, this is kind of what comes with it, right? We talked about the whole of the Whopper hands and how everybody's going to kind of take shots at him. And they, like I said, I get it, bro. I get it. I just, like I said, the one thing that I would say for him, because I'm not a Kenny apologist, never have. It's not my vibe. Control what you can control going forward, man. Control what you can control going forward. Because, yeah, I mean, the actions are what they are, so everybody's going to have, you know, their opinion on it. But it's like, bro, control what you can control going forward, man. Justin Gordon, Justin Fields is more comparable to Lamar Jackson. KP8 is more comparable to <laughs> Jamarcus Russell. By the numbers, not feelings. God dang. Come on, bro. Hey, sir. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because Justin Gordon also dropped another one before that. He says, Deke, be real. KP8 touchdown to interception ratio, not even better than Jamarcus Russell. Jamarcus Russell, here he is. He says, Jamarcus Russell in two years, 19 games, 13 touchdowns, eight interceptions. Kenny Pickett, two years, 25 games, 13 touchdowns, 13 interceptions. It's more to it than that, but KP is not better than Fields, and he put that at all caps. Shout out to Justin Gordon for doing his whole work. That boy that put your bed in the Jamarcus Russell category I mean, had numbers to back it. I mean, Yikes. Perfect example. Boy. Yikes. Stats on everything. Yikes. Perfect example. <laughs> That's a great reminder. Mm-mm-mm. That did make me laugh, though, so I do appreciate yeah. that. Thank you. I was like, Jamarcus, ooh. He said, your boy played in more games than had. Yeah. Mm. That's, that's tough. A, that's a good one. That was tough. I didn't expect that one today. That was tough. Uh, so we on Richard Hunt then? Yeah. <laughs> I made the comment about the FanDuel job last week. Okay, he's following up. Okay, he says, okay. you both inspired me to chase my dreams. No more just going through the motions. Thank you. Nah, respect to you, Richard. Let's get it, bro. Can I get another follow-up? I need more specifics. What What made us... <laughs> <laughs> or what made you uh, not want to go through the motions anymore? Like he what? Said, what about us? He pulls what up. Did he, we do? he watches what we do on the podcast. He's like, Maybe they look it. like they're having fun. Because we grind, I guess. They having yeah. fun. They working, but they doing something that's their passion, and they're following it. And like you said, instead of sitting on the couch talking about what we wish we could do or what we think we want to do, it's like, yo, we like eff it. Let's do it. And we go figure it out along the way. And I mean, shoot, we going on six years now, and we figuring this thing going out, bro. It's, Figuring it out on the way. I guess it's going off. Yeah, because tech is. Yeah. Yeah. No, you What year is it? I was about to say it's 2024. So technically, this would be going on five. I think this would be the fifth year. Yeah. Yeah, it's going on five. The completion. How about say? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Completion of the fifth would be the sixth. Yep. It's been good. Nah, man. It's been great. Heck yeah. So maybe that's what inspired him. He's like, yo, all right. F it. Picking's down there somewhere. Just cut the cord, man. Let's go. I like it, bro. Yeah. We are Fat Deke. Gave us shout out to uh, We Are Fat Deke, bro. We, we Are Fat Deke's been rocking all weekend. I, I don't know who. I, shout out to We Are Fat Deke, though. Yeah. Uh, diet hasn't been too good over the last week or so. So I might, but might you, be getting, you, might you be getting look back good, to though, that bro. a little bit. Thanks. No, man. You drippy, bro. Don't, don't, no, I'm with you. I, it's, it's not going to be possible for me to go back to that because, like I said, diet's yeah. been off maybe for the last week, week uh-huh. and a half or so. And, like, I'm already just to the point of, like, disgusted with it. And yeah. I'm going to be eating pretty good here soon. Deke got on Yeezy phone runners, all right? I haven't Deke, worn these Deke, in a while. Deke ain't worried about gaining. I kind of want to sell them. I, I haven't worn these in forever. You're still I drippy, though, bro. I just like that you drippy. You just pulled up on a casual Monday just like, bro, I'm just throw the phone runners on. Like, I like your energy, bro. Yeah, I'm open to selling these. I like your energy. Sean McCartney, in Omar Khan, we trust. Hard to believe we got more from the Kenny trade than what we had to spend for Fields. Mm-hmm. Now we got to get this O-line built. Built even more. Yeah, we're going to build it up even more. And this is the thing, though. 
we had it set up right now where we could still tap in with some of this free agency stuff. But if we legitimately wanted to just say first two rounds, let's focus on O-line, we're in a position to do that. And it doesn't kill it. You could still go slide in the third and get you a receiver if you needed to, man. Or you want to get one of these other positions. But it's like, we're in a good spot right now, man. Definitely a good spot. Yeah, it might be better. To, I think that would be the play right now. Maybe you yeah. pick up one of these cornerbacks that are still out there for some depth. See what Trice can do. You got Dante mm-hmm. Jackson. You got JPJ. Like, you got your starters. You I think, feel good. I think the best guys we can get out of the positions of need right now for the O-line would be through the draft. Because I yeah. think the market's kind of beat for free agency. But I still think there's still quality corners out there. Mm-hmm. There's still some quality receivers. So, let's go free agency with that. And then... When you just said just the go market center, is beat. Just go center, right tackle. You just made me think when you said the market is beat. What, did we ever find out what Chooks signed for? Not much. Uh, like four and a half. So four and a half, because I'm just trying to think of what other tackles, right tackles, were available that we would think uh, yeah. could afford, like in that price range. Because it's like if you if he got four, I'm like, all right, well, who do people view in that vein that you know is available? Yeah, the only I guess the only question would be is how how great are we feeling about them? And that's the question. Yeah, but, but I'm like, what are the names? I mean, are? Yeah. James Daniels got to pick it up this year. I'm sorry. We would agree. We're on the same page with. Like, that. I'm not feeling great about that either. We would agree. And you know I've had my feelings. And we lost that on Dawson because of it, too. That one hurts. It was the compound effect. I got you. That hurts, man. I got you. I trust my get it, bro. And we that was home him, We didn't put him in his proper position, and man. this is what happens. We lose out on a franchise goal. But we also had And his Castro, prime, and his favorite team but was But we also had DeCastro here while that was going on. Yeah, why did we have Dotson left guard? The, is it because that we was signed because Daniel, Ca- too? Yeah, after and then it was DeCastro after that. Yeah, it was DeCastro first, and then Daniels came after that. And because we had already moved Dotson to the left when DeCastro was here and we saw him play well, we were like, yeah, we're just going to keep him at left. And then we put Daniels out there. Yeah, it sucks. And then from that, we brought in Sayumalu, which put Dotson as a uh, available. Made him expendable. Made yeah. him more expendable. Yep. So here's all that's out there. Tell me if I'm missing anyone. Bro, that list looks really short. Trent Brown. Here, bro. Uh, Billy that's Turner, big, that's big trend, Kendall Lamb, I I don't even know who that is. David Quisenberry. Quisenberry straight. 33. Yeah. To me, Brown. Andrus Pete. Trent Brown, the only one I like to that extent, but I feel like he's going to cost way more than I'm willing to pay, and I'd much rather draft something. That's specifically right, Tack. Yeah, specifically right, because he plays right. He's a right. Like, he's a big body road. Like, yeah. But for what? My father. Bring I, my dog I would, back. I would love to sign him. Bring, and he just celebrated his... The, the six year anniversary, man. He's, six he just had a six year six year anniversary to him and his wife Julie. Shut up, man. Bro, you know I'm team Matt. He's I'm depth. team that Filer, bro. Perfect depth. Right I'm tackle Filer, depth, bro. guard depth. I'm team Matt. I'm team Matt Filer, bro. I'm how is he thirty he gotta be thirty two, right? Thirty one. Thirty one. I wanna say, yeah, I'm team Matt Filer. Bring him back, bro. Bring him back. I think it'll be a great pick. Bring him back. Bring him back. And then it still gives me wherever I need to be where I'm in the draft, man. I still feel good. Check, 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 check. Cameron check, Irving check. is is he right or left? He's he's left to me. No, he plays right. He plays right. I want. He started swinging though, not like in that sense, but like swing tackle. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Me personally, I would rather go with Matt. I think with Matt, I'm way more comfortable with it. I know it's what it is from it being here. How we feel about Donovan Smith? I don't hate the move, but once again, it's like now that you talking about Matt, my mind's on Matt because I'm like of those yeah, free agency he, he dudes. He might be the best guy here, based for on, us at least. Yeah, because based on market, David Bakhtiari's out there, but, but he's gonna cost the most. Yeah, so it's and like he's. Yeah, I mean, he's older wanna, too. You yeah. want to talk about injuries? I know we're talking about Mike Williams and him being banged up a little bit. Yeah. Jesus Christ, with David he hasn't Bakhtiari played the past like two. I don't <laughs> think he had a full season the past like three years, bro. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. That's my thing. It's like I would rather go Filer because I still feel good about him if he had to go out there and spot start. But I could also draft whatever I need to draft, and I'm good there. He's going to be inexpensive. I also have uh, positional flexibility to put him at guard. And on top of this, I've already dealt with him. I've already worked with him. I know he's not a locker room issue. I know I'm not going to have to worry about an ounce of any negativity coming from him specifically, bro. No. He's going to show up to work every single day. He's going to put out there his best tape. Every single opportunity he get, he's going to play through the whistle. He just check all the boxes, bro. Yeah. And I could sell that story to, hey, Mark Robinson. Hey, you're a late-round draft pick, right? You're a guy trying to figure it out, right? You're trying to make your name, get some money. 
Well, let me tell you about this Matt Fowler guy. He was actually an undrafted cat when he came here. Practice squad guy. Nobody really even thought he could, like, do it, do it. And then you look what he developed into. Man went over there to L.A., got paid, paid. Now he's coming yeah. back here, bro. Why can't that be you? What's stopping you from being the next version of that? Let me tell you about this cat, uh, 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 Kevin Dotson, right? Mid-round pick, right? Nothing crazy. Let me tell you about this other, this, this tackle that we didn't have to do here, man. You know what I mean? Like, we can go down the list. Chris Hubbard, right? It's like, man, another late round undrafted dude come here, develop, make money. Hey, them type of dudes you can sell to the other dudes and motivate them on the roster, bro. Yeah, I like, the, man, shout out to you bringing up Matt Filer, man. That's my dude. That would be the I perfect like signing, him, bro. Just in terms of signing someone before the draft, man. that'd be perfect. Man, then you're going to have me go draft for Marius Mims. I'll be straight. Because I got like my... Get my God God and I got a God and I go get Frazier. Oh, you're willing to go with what we got at center then? No, no, no. I if said if I, go, if I go Mer- if I go Mims, then I'm going to go Frazier. I'll try to go Frazier in the second. I'm seeing him in the first. Well, this is Late that time first. of year. This is that time I'm of worried. year. We know how the draft goes. Everybody's going to quarterback, 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 receiver, receiver, receiver. And then when it happens, it's like, all right, let's see how it actually plays out. Dude, these six quarterbacks might go in the top 15. You catch what I'm saying? I hope they do. If that does, that's great for us. Yeah. Heck yeah, bro. That they pushes might. them DBs back. That pushes a lot of people back, man. Anyway, if, if six quarterbacks go in the top 15, bro, it, can't, it, it just numbers alone, yeah, dude's going to fall. Nate Wiggins, Quinn Mitchell, who's falling, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm like, okay, we, hey, we ain't tripping. But this puts us in that position because of how we killing it in free agency. It's like when you do that, if it does fall like that, bro, we could really get after it, man. I kind of want that Odunze, dude. He nice. He's I think probably he... going to go top 15 at least. He seems like a stealer. Put it like this. If he's at 15, you can move and get it. And you're not tripping on it. That's yeah, my thing. Th- I guess that could be possible. You catch what I'm saying? Go. Yeah. If six of them dudes go like how they pre- – because they getting hot, bro. They do this every single year, though. They talk themselves in these quarterbacks. You like you want them dudes for real? Well, right, and just seeing how it. dudes are getting signed right now, like there's a clear path for yeah. the Vikings, Broncos, and Raiders to take a quarterback. Yeah. So that plus the top three that are clearly going to take the quarterbacks mm-hmm. with uh, the Bears, Commanders, and the Patriots. Patriots like that's yeah. your six right there. Yeah. I think that's the six in the top fifteen. Mm-hmm. Like legitimate, bro. Yeah. yeah, that'll be great. AJ Martinez gifted ten most memberships. Shout out, AJ. Jeez. Eddie Sherrick, Noah Hood, BD. Uh, Javon Kinley, Skylar Cannon, Carl, Moe, and Force Works. Man, welcome to the upper room. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. And shout out to each and every one of y'all, too, man. Appreciate you, but more importantly, AJ, you are a rock star. I've been telling you that. This ain't the first time, but you already know. Major love. Grateful. From the heart. Nanzito, the football gods presented a once in a lifetime opportunity to the Steelers and they answered the doorbell. Thank God. Here we go, boys. Facts, bro. You never know when this opportunity is going to come, but it's here. And worst case, Deke, it burns the heck. And in two years, we got to clean out anyways. Heck, not even two years. We could do this next year if we wanted to. Realistically. You know what I mean? So it's like, yo, this hasn't cost us pretty much anything. Well, we can't burn to hell. Uh, well, depending on who you ask. But you see what I'm saying? Nine and eight is hell, but. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But that's the worst <laughs> we're gonna go. Yeah, it's like we we're gonna, gonna go nine and eight. We'll be nine and eight, moving on from a one point two million dollar quarterback and a conditional six round quarterback. Some Please. people do view that as hell, though. It's like a Steelers version. You're of right. Hell, yeah, because we don't get a high enough draft pick to take a dude or, in like or, the top or, ten or a Super Bowl. You're right. Yeah, it's one or the other. Yeah, purgatory might be the more appropriate word. I I, I could get behind that. Yeah. We are Fat Deek says Stephanie went away because the weight went away. She like him thick, with two C's. All right. Who, who, who likes Slim Deke? All right? If y'all want Slim Deke, right, man. No one this, does, man. Yeah, you right. You don't even get hit on this. And, and this is what I would say. I was researching the numbers over the weekend, Deke. Our Everyone female, our female viewership is up, bro. When we first started, we was like 0.00% two female. We got a whole five percentage of women that watch the show, Deke, because of you. Yeah, but you're saying it peaked in the But I don't Deke know what's Big going ben on. Era. Yeah, it's like Did they it stopped. Was like, it like 6 or 7% then? It, I felt like it was a chance it was going to be a little bit higher. Okay. But I don't know. It's like, bro, they like you because like, they keep they don't show it for me. They show it for you. Yeah. The taco meat, you do it all. But yeah, they don't, they're not making their event. It's your baby mamas, bro. Mm. That's the difference. You ain't had She's a baby mama and away. you got your baby mama in your side joint in the chat all the time. It's mm-hmm. too much drama. 
Well, and one of them crazy. One of them we we've seen defecate on the bed. Like we know she do it. She she capable. So it's kind of hands off. We like oh he got a crazy ex. Be careful. All right, yeah. It's all right though. Shout yeah, out got, to Healthy I D. Got, though, I got bro. the LASIK and I lost some weight. Yeah, man. They said they don't know what to do. You drink water and stuff. I say like, what was this? Yeah. yeah. They used the white claws. Think about yeah, that, bro. Trying to trying to ease off that a little bit uh. too. Quan seventy seven. Since Arthur Smith likes playing big person now, do you think they'll try to get a fullback or will they just plug in Connor? I still could see them going after a legitimate fullback, like a true, like not battering ram, but that sense because Connor can play the fullback position in passing, but he's not a fullback just in the sense of like mentality or even the ask of what you ask fullbacks to do. Fullbacks are the crash dummies. Fullbacks are the batter and ram. That's the you're the human shield essentially. Not everybody wants to do that. You can want it. You could be a physical player and want to hit people and not want to be the 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 human shield. Like not everybody wants to be the human shield. I just yeah. I don't know if Connor would want to do that. And I personally think for Connor, I low key think that might cut some of his NFL life down if he goes and plays like fullback, fullback because. Those are some legit car crashes, bro. And I personally don't think his body is built for that. Nah. You think about Rosie, you think about Derek White, you think about just true like fullbacks. I'm like, yeah, that's a different what you asking for in terms of what Connor Hayward is capable of. Like, I think he can moonlight and do something. Same way we watch him in the slot on occasion, like, all right, go run a route. But we don't want him as a slot receiver. But yeah, on yeah. occasion you can match up and, and win. Yeah. So it's army knife. Yeah. That's what it is. We got Javon Kenley gifting a membership to Joey Weaver. Shout out to Javon Pan and Ford Rockstar. Salute you. And what was that name again? Welcome uh, to the upper room. Who gets it? Yes, to, indeed. Know. Yes, indeed. Yeah, I told you a blank. Sorry. I'm sorry, bro. It, it happens like that. I was looking at Hollywood Brown. Sorry. Threw me off. How much did he sign for? 11. He got one for 11, I want to say. Yeah. Hmm, that'll be interesting. If he could do what he's supposed to, I love it for him and the Chiefs. I think that's a yeah. I'm hoping Com- he brings the Chiefs down all out. Oh, Kadarius Tony, got you. Because I'm like they was paying Kadarius. I'm like, yo, this is way better than Kadarius Tony, bro. It is. He's way better than Kadarius. Yeah, but the expectations were low for Tony to begin with. This is and so, he's ho- the, so hopefully, yeah, Hollywood version is the, the better version of Kadarius Tony. The, how did Kadarius Tony have low expectations and still underwhelm, bro? That's the crazy part. He did all right. Maybe it's because he did all right his first year there. He actually Maybe helped him. It was. And then he just went down the tubes after that. It just kept getting worse and worse and worse. Yeah. Dom on. do you agree we should go heavy out line with two of our first three draft picks? As it's... Oh, yeah, yeah, I was just going to yeah. say exactly what you were just about yeah. to say. Right now, yeah. All right. Why not? I'm like, until we see another move come up, yeah, I, I'm over well, on the focus right now. Right now, right now... I would just go center because I think we could get away with like Dan mm-hmm. Moore, Broderick at right. Like if we don't make any more moves, okay. I would go center. I think you got to get a receiver. Because right now, this is my question. Omar said that they want to put Broderick at Corner. left, right? So does that happen this year? Or is that a next year thing? And if it's a next year thing, are you fine with Broderick? Weren't you thinking it's right? going to be this year? I thought it was this year. So my yeah, thing is yeah. we've never seen Dan at right tackle. Well, either way, I think we got our tackles. Like, if 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 in the hypothetical yeah. world of us drafting right now, I think maybe you do keep Broderick right and Dan left just to get out of stadiums, just to win games okay. with what you have right now. Okay. I think you got your tackles set. I would rather – I think we need need a receiver more. You know, I'm de- – my qu- I'm trying to Because think. people be hating Dan Center, Moore, center bro. receiver. People talk about Dan Moore like he was like – the worst tackle was played in Pittsburgh. So that's why I was just trying to figure out if you I felt think he'd like do better that, than a second or third round pick right now. Like right now, day one. I think a first rounder is the upgrade. If it's yeah, not a first rounder, exactly. Dan Moore is going to and win. I'd rather do first round yeah. with center. Mm-hmm. Center, receiver, and maybe corner. Nah. Right now. Because I think we can get away with the D line, we get away mm-hmm. with the linebackers, secondary. O line quarterback, running backs. Yeah, get another receiver and get another corner for like the slot or, yeah, mm-hmm. someone that could maybe go outside. You bump Dante inside. You got Trice though. And my thing is, after talking with Moan about this whole build your O line up, give him time to develop, I'm like, 
He liked Dan Moore. He said he ain't tripping on Dan Moore. Just give him time. Give him. I'm like, bro. Give I think Big Ben likes Dan Moore, too. I know. A lot of dudes was like, you just give him time. Like, bro, you a three-year starter out of the fourth round. Like, that's a dub, regardless of how we feel. Like, yo, you got three years started at left tackle out the fourth round. Like, Maybe he could be better yeah. right, too. Uh, Tito Good Vibe. Shout out to the GOAT. Adrian Martinez for just being a dope human being. Facts. Also, shout out to the low key signings of Deshaun Elliott, Dante Jackson, Koontz, shout and out to my dog. Connor's cooking. Bro, I was so happy to see Three my dog deal, Christian, right? uh, Christian Koontz get back. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. I'm going to still say he's the Shard Valley. He, he, he's Mr. Shard Valley. I know we got TJ. I, shout out to TJ McConnell. I know. I know. I know. But I, but that's my dude. I like him. All right? Shout out to the Benston boy. Shout out to my dudes. All right. But I like Christian. That's my guy. All right. Yeah, nah, but across him. the board. Hey, and, and Tito, good vibes, man. All right, I, I'm going to come clean. I, I just stalked you this weekend. All right? Because, you know, I was getting a whole bunch of birthday love. And okay. when I seen his name pop up, I was like, I wonder, is this like Tito from the show? Okay. So I checked him out. Deke, I like him, bro. He works out. Real motivational. Always got good energy. He's a sneakerhead, too, bro. But I was a little bit surprised. I didn't know if he was, like, older or younger. You know, he's, he's in his prime. He's in a good age right now, bro. A little okay. older than me. I was, I was like, yo, shout out to Tito, bro. But, but got the family thing going on. I was like, yo, Tito, I rocks with you, baby. I like shit energy, man. So I said to come clean. I, I definitely was IG stock you, though, bro. You be lifting, lifting, though. I like your energy, man. I likes it. But yeah, I, I, I IG stock on, on occasion. All right. Official moment I, I done IG stocked him multiple times. All right. I yeah, I, I will. Psh, shoot. This, this most people. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, still is gross. Yep. I stalk him. Yep. Yeah. Like, hey man, y'all didn't, y'all didn't like my pictures too much at the time. Just like, uh, yeah. Like, let me just, I, just I, I, I want to learn. I, I want to learn yeah, who we talking with. He's in the chat. Because y'all get to see us all the time. Right. We don't get to see y'all. So I'll be like, yo. Return the fair. Yeah. Yo, pull the curtain back. So it was dope, bro. It was dope. Salute him. Yeah. That's what I do. You know, I'll be researching. I'll be like, you know, just, just search the name real quick. Let me see what this is. Yeah. So, okay. Just salute nice. you, Tito. It's, yeah. You was on my mind. You been on my mind all weekend since I seen your, 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 your post. He says he appreciates the stalking. Oh. All right, respect. I just, I figured if I if I verbally say it, it ain't weird. I feel like if I kept it to myself, I felt kind of guilty. I got a secret. <laughs> yeah. One summer wants you to stop me because I want to make mine public. Respect, yeah, bro. Because think about it, bro. The amount of you know just the people that rock with our channel, man. Like y'all be commenting on Twitter, IG, Facebook. I be like, bro, is that such such from the, like no, is that for real? All right, let me just click and just see. And about like, oh, that is such like yeah. So it's pretty cool, bro. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And especially when it's like, oh, bro, you actually dope. Like, I like what you got going over here, bro. And with you, I was like, yo, I like the energy, bro. Like cool people who watch the show. Yes, yes. Yeah. That's the energy, bro. That's the energy, man. It's good you dub. Gilmore and Chase Young are still available as free agents. If we don't Chase just get signed. anyone else, I'd like those two. Yeah, he signed Chase with just the signed. Uh, yeah. Saints. One year, 13 million. 13? That's more than I would have thought. Yeah. 13. Yeah. They take it upside. Yeah, let me, they pay it upside. Let I like me, it. Let me like see it. if it's if it's that's fully guaranteed too. That's fully guaranteed. Deke. That's no uh, stipulation Deke. or anything. Oh, uh, Deke. Ah, uh, I don't know if I ah, uh, Deke thirteen off the rip, and I like him, but I don't like him like that right now. His stock a little down to me, bro. I need, he I need did all more. right in the Super Bowl. Yeah, he had, he had, he had his play early on. I, I was with him. <laughs> right. Yeah, he had that play early on. But That's it, all you need. Yeah, I'm just, I need me personally for me to get up to 13. I just I want a little. Just just give me a little more, Hachi. But we did see the play. He did make the play in the Super Bowl. And we said that's what gets you some money. It could he got him 13. Because, yeah. But shout out. Shout out. <laughs> I don't think I would have paid the 13, bro. I, yeah, nah. it's a little rich for me, man. Gilly the kid, though. Oh yeah, give me stuff on Gilmore. I told y'all that's the one I've been hollering about. It's the one I've been wanting. So yeah, what's what, what what's his price? Six, six or under? Because he got seven to and go to he Dallas. Could, he could be that mentor too. Yeah. That Pat P said JPJ's thousand missing out percent, on right now. Thousand percent. But just a younger version than what Pat was. I think he still got another year before he started to keep going down. But the way that he's aging, yeah, I'm like, bro, I like it. I like it, man. But yeah, he's yeah, definitely Gilmore somebody that I want, bad. man. He's definitely somebody that I want. I think wouldn't across the board, bro, like he's quiet off the field, but he gonna hit you, he gonna cover you, he gonna lead you in terms of not the most vocal leader guy, but in terms of, bro, like you just watch him. Kind of like TJ Watt approach. He ain't gonna talk a lot, but you just watch him work, bro. President Nitty, y'all should come to CP and Lake Erie Islands in the summer. 
you had me nervous when you said them islands. I ain't know what island. You, ever since the whole Epstein, you know, I'd be nervous when people say it's an island. I'd be like, why, why you calling that? All right, but as long as it's a chill spot, I ain't tripping on it. I know I want to go to Lake there's, Erie there's to do some fishing. There's islands on Lake Erie? I know you could do, like, some fishing out there, bro. That's the thing I want to do. I, Grab yeah. a boat? Yeah, they do, like, the whole little boat charters and stuff. Yeah, I want to do, like, a like fish me, fish me, bro. Like, yeah. But I don't know enough to do it by myself, so I need to, like, get them, like, the professionals. But I'm a fish fish, though, bro. Okay. Yeah, so you're into that. I, I don't know. There's something about it. You would think probably just based off my personality and how I operate. You I'd, would I, definitely be the, yeah. I'm not. It's like I can't last like five minutes fishing. And I'm like, I'll, I'll throw rocks at my buddy's line. <laughs> and I'm like, get me out of here. It is crazy because it does feel like that should be flipped, bro. I would it just should. drink. Like, I don't I, I don't care to catch a fish. Bro, I don't care the excitement to. when that line, ah, oh, I got me one. No, because then you got to take it off and shit. I'm like, all right, just give me a beer and let me sit here by the lake. Oh, and then it's I can like do the, that. I get the fight to see, all right, do, did I pull you in or did you pull me in? You know what I mean? Like, I, come on, come to Papa. Oh, man. And just like you said, when you just, you hold that thing, you take that picture. It's, yeah, man. Now I'm a little squeamish in terms of like touching the fish. I ain't, I ain't big on that part. It's like, yo, you still kicking. I don't want to touch you. Yeah. You wouldn't touch me when I was fresh out the water, so I'm not going to touch you fresh out the water. You just respect me. Yeah. T Star, Deke, keep your baby mama away from Omar Khan. His talk game is crazy. And are you getting a field jersey? Ooh. Yeah, I, I'm in a tough spot here. Uh, well, you won't be. Alone. I already said I'm getting a rush jersey. You won't be. Alone. I already said it's it's locked in. I asked mm -hmm. everyone, do I get the color rush? Do I get the throwback? Yeah. I was going to get it the night Kenny was traded, but uh, mm. I went out. So I didn't, I forgot about it. Cold blooded. I hit, I hit the town. My dog said the night he was traded. Well, I already put the tape over it. I put the tape over the uh, the eight. So <laughs> there's that. I um, love it, bro. I, I don't know why I'm thinking the block numbers. I mean, Russ posted that video to his Twitter. I think that's got. My eye, like, leaning towards that one. He did with the Wilson, yeah. The block jersey. It did look clean, bro. Did I, look clean. I have to get it. I have to get it. Yeah. And so I would just say uh, they, they, the house would like for my son to have both of the jerseys. I'll just, I'll just leave it at that. The house has already kind of put that out there. It's been planting that seed of, oh, these are, yeah. I think Fields is, on a, Fields is on a Mason type of deal for me. Yeah. Let's see what he does. Like, if Russ gets hurt or someone Fields comes in, it, it yeah. might might be a tags type of situation. Yeah. I'll go down to the game. Okay. I'll buy the Fields. Okay. It's up to him. It's way more legendary like that. I'm just throwing it out there. <laughs> that know, is, like, I mean, epic, epic, bro. Do I do it again or just – I think I think that that Mason run was just – it was a moment. Maybe I just leave it there. Like, I, you can't repeat the past. Maybe I'll do – Maybe I'll have to do a different shtick for Fields. That was a moment, though. I don't think I should do that but again. But that was a moment, bro. <laughs> That was moment. President Nettie. Deke wanted to ban a Kanda over, <laughs> or Abracadabra over Najee, LOL Supians. <laughs> I mean, a borderline still do. What's up, well, why can't you really call my man Abracadabra? Out, outside though. of the last eight <laughs> weeks of the season when it's winter time, uh, I, I, mean, I take my chances with a ban of Kanda. Shout out, shout out to the homie, President Nettie. My man said, yo, he wanted Abracadabra running back over Naj. Oh. Yo Young, gonna save the pod for the drive back to Philly. Let's go. A hey, safe travels as well. Hey, Yo Young, if this is when you are hearing this message while you are driving back on the pod, I hope that you get that energy boost right now. I hope, Yo Young, that you realize that, you know what? This is the voice of Arthur Mozen Deke telling you that you are awesome on your drive back. You got it. You got it. You got it. Salute you, baby. All right. So we got Christian Cushman. This is a good question. Says, Deke, what are you doing with the Christmas Rudolph jersey? It's a throwback though. It's vintage, like like a duck jersey, right? I should burn it. Dang. I can't believe Mason left us like this. He disrespected us. I saw people he saying did us so dirty. They say he's supposed to do it with the Kenny joint. Because he actually like requested the trade where Mason isn't. I don't know him. if I could burn a Steeler jersey. I thought about that. I think it's taboo, bro. I think yeah. I think burning the Mason jersey after he uh got picked up by the Titans would have been hilarious. Because like yeah, we know how yeah. yeah we know how he got treated here right. it's like there's no reason for any Where's Steeler fan to, oh yeah. I can't believe he's not loyal there's no bro. reason yeah. for any Steeler fan to feel key, bad that about Mason hilarious, it would have I don't think I could burn though. a Steeler jersey though I I, I definitely can't nah. I don't think I could I think it's bro like if you really rock with the squad man like I don't I just 
It's, to me, it's like if I burn an American flag, like I would. Ne- I can't yeah, even, that's like, how I viewed it. Yeah, I can't fathom burning the flag. I can't fathom burning the Steelers or I'm like, bro, it's, what? It's, like, it's, nah. it's got the Steeler logo yeah, on. Yeah, I'm like, I rock with it too heavy, bro. Yeah, it means too much. Like, it would have been funny, but yeah. yeah, I wouldn't have done it in like a serious fashion. Yeah. You got, you got to get like the T-shirt. You should have went to like Walmart and got like the little uh, replica T-shirt see, I don't know if and I could then do cook it. it. I don't know if yeah. I could do I, it. I look at it like the flag, bro. Like I'm like, I would never burn a flag. I'm not about to burn. Because if that Steeler logo is on, I don't yeah. know if I could do it. I just like can't do it, bro. I can't do it. That's how you get bad luck, bro. Yeah, it's like walking the ladder, yeah. cross a black cat, burn a jersey, bro. It's bad luck, bro. It's terrible luck. All right, uh, we uh, let me get Justin Gordon yeah, real that's quick. Probably some I missed. Yeah, you all good, bro. We ain't tripping. Shout out to Justin Gordon. No, Justin Gordon says perfect world. Oh, no, I do have that. One. Oh no, you got. Oh, all right, I never mind. No, we read it though. Oh, all right, all right. All right. You, you wanted to read that one. I did because you know it's felt all right. He says perfect world. Fields is our Justin Love. Jordan Love. I'm so stuck. So I'm on forgetting Justin's. thoughts. You're botching up names. Today. I'm, bro. It's, it's Justin's. It's all these Justin's, bro. Justin's and Deontay's been killing me all weekend. Dante, because it's Dante and Deontay, and then it's Justin, and then I was thinking of Justin Jefferson, and then obviously this is Jordan Love. All is these Deontay gonna have a press conference with Carolina? Because it was a train. Someone's got to ask him about the Mitch and Minka. Because I think you'll get it in like OTAs, but I'm like in terms of like the introduction right now because it's a train. I'm like, where is DJ even at? Like. DJ probably on vacation somewhere, bro. Unplugging. It just it's different in Carolina, I guess. Because I mean, mm-hmm. we got our three free agent signings. Press but, but free agent versus trade is what I'm saying. Oh, you see what I'm saying? Because uh, DJ was yeah, traded. Yeah. He's not a free agent. So I'm like, when you're yeah. traded, that's like we could. If I'm on a contract right now, I could have gotten a call and say, "Hey, bro, we just traded you to L.A." It's like freak, man. I ain't finna go to L.A. today, but. Send oh, the paperwork, so, I'll sign yeah. the contract, and I'm report when it's OTA time. Fair. We didn't have Dante yeah. Jackson do a press conference for us. So that's why I was saying, like, even with the whole fields, I'm like, I don't think he would do that right now because they're traded. Yeah. Whereas when you're the free agent, you're going on visits. You over here like, hey, man, like, bro. You're out. Pull up. Yeah. All right, I got to go check out medical anyways. Yeah. I got you now. But I think OTAs, you will, like, you'll hear Justin Fields in OTAs. Because everybody's going to be, it's the first time that they could talk to him, right? First time they'll actually see him in Pittsburgh. I think DJ would be a similar thing. Deontay, John, uh, Deontay Jackson, I think it'd be a similar thing also. But it's just the trade versus free agency, just the logistics of this dude being here for a reason versus these dudes don't know when they're getting traded or who they're getting traded to. And it's like, bro, I had no clothes going to be across the country today. Yeah. Steve Carpenter says, just use that eight jerseys, firewood, Deke. Dang. It's crazy though. Within two years, <laughs> what a fan base got to with Kenny, bro. It's crazy. Not all, but a large majority though. Yeah, that was yeah. It was what a wild run. Martin Valdez, based on our free agency and potentially Mike Williams signing with us, what are your thoughts on the draft for us? Spencer Rattler with a day three pick. No, I don't, hate I don't it. care what the hell yeah. we do at QB3 at this right. point. Like, yeah, we're fine with Russ and Fields. Seriously. Do whatever. I, I, I don't want Rattler here, though. So, no. Sorry. He, I don't want he, him. He's another low risk, high reward. Um, In terms of the upside, we know he got the arm. We know he was a high pedigree dude coming out of high school, Um, failed. And then we saw him, you know, kind of get his name back to at least a respectable space coming out. But I would just say, what's the difference to me between a Spencer Rattler flyer versus a Jordan Travis flyer versus. Anything that I'm taking rounds five or later, yeah, I ain't tripping on any of them, man. Um, yeah, but Spencer Riley, like, that's cool. I mean, because once again, I think that would just be kind of going with the same theme of the Justin Fields. You like some of the intangibles. You like some of the talent, the traits, but you want to see can it develop, can it learn to just have a higher floor and how to get that footwork, anticipation, consistent release points, you know, Manu- uh, understanding how to maneuver through the pocket so i don't hate that thought process but yeah I mean, any of them dudes man any of them dudes gonna work and hopefully we should never see them dudes anyways yeah, yeah. yeah. be like chris oladokun become a multiple time super bowl champ and we never see your jersey on the field and there's nothing wrong with that bro if we get to qb3 we with gotta that. see what yeah the titans are doing with mason like if do we if, call if, him up if he's yeah. on the bench i know i'm being yeah. serious if he's on the bench we gotta trade for him <laughs> GF, Justin. Oh, hold on, hold on. We have one other one. Uh, we the ones. He says, I told you, Kenny equals Bo Callahan. Bye-bye. See ya. Huh? He said he equals. Who the hell is that? 
That's We the Ones. We the Ones says Kenny equals Bo Callahan. No, I, I don't even know who that is. Bo What's Callahan. It? It's not the one that I want to say he was Nebraska. It sounds like a Nebraska quarterback. Yeah, I feel like Nebraska, but I just want to double ch- Wisconsin. Is it Wisconsin? Is this a movie? Ah, uh, Sam <laughs> Wisconsin a, in the is in the Wikipedia is joint. A fake character, maybe. Maybe he is. It fake says Wisconsin. It's got to be, bro. No, but he's playing. <laughs> a, it looks like he's in. It's got to be. <laughs> yeah, because he says it's such such playing this person. So I don't know, bro. <laughs> yeah, shout out to shout out to Draft Day, there, man. Maybe maybe can it be like him? Did you watch the movie? I never no. watched Draft Day. No. Nope. Yeah, I never watched it, bro. Yeah, they're saying draft there. All right, respect there, respect. Cause I was like, Bo, I'm like, no, that's Bo Nix is what I'm thinking. I'm like, that ain't that one. And there was a Callahan, but that was the head coach at Nebraska. Yeah. Yeah. So he just combined two names. Shout out. I like it. Bo Pelini, right? Yeah, I was say it was a Pelini. Yeah, it was a Bo, Bo Pelini. Was, was there a it was a Callahan out there, though. Yeah, I think you're right. I'm not tripping. Yeah. GF, Justin and Tom have been linked since that pro day. He wants to be here for the mm-hmm. long haul. His number matched Lamar's MVP numbers. Hope we get hopefully we just let him grow. He'll work the contract out. We will get Williams. Respect. You know, I like the mindset, baby. I like your mindset. Jagger Murphy, can y'all Deke actually watch the field tape now? You need the the context behind the stats. I'm mm-hmm. sad to see him leave Chicago mm-hmm. and hope he gets to start. You know I'm with you, baby. I like him. I was watching him again today. I'm like, yeah, I see exactly the same stuff that made me excited about him. I just love the fact we didn't have to expend so much, and I get a chance to give him somebody here that can show him, not just expect something to happen without being able to teach him. I have somebody legitimately here that can show him how to be the best version of quarterback that he is. Russ is that. He's a variation of that. Russ. Fields is closer to Russ than he is to Brady, than he is to jo- or not Josh, than he is to, um, I'm trying to think, Burrow, and that he's like true, more traditional, just sit in the pocket, throw you that type of dude. Nah, he's closer to a Russ. He's closer to the athlete than that. But now you got a guy that has actually had success and a lot of success with this to learn from, man. Yeah, whether Fields likes it or not, just being delegated to a backup this year, mm-hmm. this might be the best thing for him. Mm-hmm. Like, because even if he came here to compete with like Kenny, yeah, say we never sign Russ mm-hmm. and you know we never bring in another quarterback uh, thus far in free agency, we're able to pull off this deal for Fields and have it be a Kenny and Fields mm-hmm. competition. Yeah, maybe it, maybe he doesn't get to the heights that he could potentially get to just because he doesn't have someone to learn from and and sit there and wait. I feel that way. Because to me, I say, Justin Fields beating out Kenny Pickett doesn't make me feel like Justin Fields is going to elevate and keep elevating and keep growing and developing at a faster clip. But Justin Fields being here to watch and compete to an extent with the Russell Wilson, I just think what he's going to be able to learn just being around this dude is going to help his game out way more than him just beating out Kenny and just learning on the fly. I think learning on the fly, we're going to still see some of that good and some of that, ah. I think him getting a chance to be in a room with Russ all offseason, him getting a chance to see how Russ practices, how Russ views things, I think that's something that is really going to help him out. Because, once again, going back to his time in Chicago, who was his vet? Who was the guy that took him under his wings and said, yo, this is how to play quarterback at the national football level and it's not your coach because your coach can say it but the coach it just feels different because your coach oh well, he's a defensive coach too but i'm just saying even like your quarterback was coach, it naggy to start he had off? naggy early on yeah okay but my thing is like when it's your coach it just feels like a superior it's like yo this doesn't feel like peer-to-peer this doesn't feel like i can truly confide with what i feel good about don't feel good about all those other things when it's your teammate it's just a different dynamic but now that they've kind of already hashed this weirdness of we competing but we not competing i know it's you i just think it's a healthier spot for him to grow and develop in yeah. same way we would have thought for kenny man yeah coolness kills what's up with mm-hmm. l bell thought he was coming on the show but we got to follow up with him man <laughs> hey you yeah, know this, how i go bro isn't this, uh, didn't he say yeah. a month he said a month bro he said a month I, did has he said yay or nay just yet about if he's coming back because i know that was a part of the convo 
I didn't see anything. I didn't see I'm, anything. I'm so yeah. far removed from Me that. Too. I, I, I was like, oh. less bells here. I was looking like, bro, this is it's actually bad time right now. Right. Because of how crazy everything is. It's like, but that's what we say. Like, when you were a free agent or if you're, and this way you've seen guys get released ahead of time before this happens. Because now you lost in the sauce, bro. Just, yeah. Uh, Santi, 1989, Omar Khan will now be known as a GM named Slickback. <laughs> hey, I, sp- I peep what you're putting down over there. Yeah. Let's go, Dub. What about a reunion with Eli Rogers? <laughs> what? <laughs> Come on. Shout out to my dog. Come on. Believe. Come but, um. Uh, Come on. That was out of, like, yeah. Did I miss something? Uh, let's, let's go. Let's go. You does bringing it up. Okay, I didn't know if it was like something recent that popped up or anything. All right. Um, like I said, last time I seen my dog, he was XFL. But man, y'all know I was always I, I was rocking my dude Eli, bro, straight like that. I would just say, man, it's always hard, man. When you the longer you spend away from the NFL, the harder it is to get back into the NFL. Now, the one benefit that he does have is some of these leagues, right? UFL which is now merged with the XFL. Um, if the league ain't about to give you an opportunity, get one of them spots again and cook. If you cook and you get your tape pot, there are plenty of those guys getting signed from those leagues and coming over here where there was XFL, where there was the AAF, where it was the, the USFL, and now that we're about to get the official UFL, which is the merger, yeah, it's going to be dudes coming from there that's going to get a chance to get signed, man. So, trust me, man, if he can do those type of things, man, I am all for it because I rocks with Eli. I didn't like how it went for him the first go around here when he, you know, got exited out. But I get it. And, you know, it's, it's the politics and the business of football. David, draft UFC quarterback Plumley as our QB3. We can get him late. All right. Any other dudes I ain't tripping on. Any of them. Any of them. Also, Deke, now that I think about it, man, um, we do got to start getting these mocks coming in, huh? Okay. It's almost that time. It's almost that time because we, we free agency, free agency, now, bro. We, we kind of got some outlook on. Yeah, about a month at, away. The, yeah, yeah. You already know, man. PFF mock draft simulator, man. Let's start tapping in, bro. Let's start tapping in. That's how we get it in, all right? We're going to push it a little bit more. Then, obviously, me and Deke will drop a mock draft sooner. Rather than later, all right. But whenever y'all do make the mock drafts, send them to Moats Winners at gmail.com for your chance to get your mock draft featured on the show, all right? Because, yeah, this is what we needed to check off free agency. We got a lot of clarity now, baby. A lot of clarity. Uh, Black Lavender says, Pickett made us jersey guys look bad. Such a cuck for the Eagles. Mm. Should have known he was chilling with P. Diddy. SMH. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. All right. I'm going to leave that one alone. I don't want no parts of that one. I'm good. Shout out to you, Black Lavender. <laughs> Do you want to touch that? I, I, I want to touch that one. I'm good on that uh, hot. No. Mm, see hot. what John Ryan's got to say. Yeah, that so was I hot. think Justin will be our starting QB before the season ends. Okay. I hope not. I was like, I don't know. It's, yeah, it's a weird, it's a weird <laughs> dynamic. Like, it would be cool to see Fields, but... Yeah. but Probably doesn't mean Russ was doing good or he's hurt. Or he's hurt, yeah. I don't want that. I want Russ to be cooking. I would agree. I feel like it's, something bad has to happen, and I don't want something bad to have happen, bro. Force work seven. All right, this is that one I read way back. Oh, yeah, I want to bring point. up Pickett skipped his exit interviews at the end of the season. What maturity level does that show as a prominent first rounder? I always say is this with the exit uh, meetings here in Pittsburgh, <clears throat> there are not – the day of your last meeting right so just logistically sometimes the communication is man sign up for one of these other days come back later on throughout the week not everybody feels the need to stay i suppose but at the same time i've never made this big ordeal about guys skipping the last meeting i just personally feel this i always went to the last meetings right because to me, man, that's your chance to finally get a, a, a hash out what happened in the season wise. Because clearly it's not going the way that you want to go since you didn't win the Super Bowl. And shout out to the analyzer. I already sent that mock draft in. I see you, baby. But um, it's like you have, you know, 
you want some type of close. You want to know what went right, what went wrong. How did you view my play? Then the next thing typically in the exit interview is, bro, what do you want, you know, future wise? Like, do you see me a part of the future plans? All right, cool. We're on the same page, yay or nay, right? We said they either send you to the back or they tell you, hey, man, we appreciate you go test the market. Yeah. Or you're already on the contract, right? But that's kind of the play. Then after that, you usually end it with, well, you're the coach, right? You're the boss. You're the guy that knows everybody. We trust your opinion the most. What do you see in my game that I need to improve upon? Because I already know what I could do good. We feel good about this, feel good about that. But say, like, yeah, what are you seeing that I need to work on that can expand my role, make me a better player? And that's what you get out of exit meeting. But if Kenny didn't feel that that was needed. I feel like uh, we cool, would have like, heard about would've, this. I feel because we heard about with TJ. I'm like, with TJ, we for certain heard. We would definitely have heard right. about this, right? And with TJ, it was a big deal because the whole, all right, you got the contract negotiations coming up, but we won't trip it because it was TJ. That's why I'm just like, yo, I'm not tripping on it. Well, when someone said to you, like, slap the papers down, too. Yeah, like, there's something, yeah, there's, there's yeah, something dramatic the contract, about it. Yeah. <laughs> That's my thing. I'm like, bro, like, it don't be straight. Like, it ain't the end of the world. Kind of like the walkthrough thing with the elbow. Everybody made the big deal about the walkthrough. It was like, sure, it, it is. Like, you want him there, but does it kill anything? Is that a deciding, ah, uh, oh, this is the moment? Nah. Like, I can't act like that that. Uh, Greg Yeager says uh, Pickens and Ayuk would go crazy. They they could hoop. We get Ayuk action. I, mean, I, I don't know. Who, oh. This is the second time he's brought. I was say because I've seen Debo's name. I've seen Justin Jefferson's name. I've for for and it wasn't AB. Like because you know if it was AB, I wouldn't even be there in the time. Like bro, I'm, I I I hope it works out for you, but I'm not. Yeah. Yeah, I think his credibility has yeah. gone down the tubes the more he's tweeted. Yeah, but it's like I've seen these names, so I'm like I just didn't see the Ayuk name, but I've definitely seen Debo and I've seen Justin. Uh, Sean McCartney says Con's book should be how the con stole talent. Ooh, uh, that sounds like a little Christmas book. Play Low off key the does right. Stole, Low stole key. Christmas, yeah. Low key. Uh, we got Mac the Guru, Baltimore Gaming. Got a smoke on that Kenny pack, Deke. No favoritism. No favoritism, man. Get it in your lungs, bro. Come on, that KP pack gonna hit. It's got a little Kelly Green in it now. <laughs> you like it. It's all good, bro. Uh, it's all good. Right, we got a couple. I gotta get in here real quick. Uh, Juice Bellamy, Juice okay. Bellamy. Shout out to you. He says, "Well, Phils is in Amsterdam right now, anyways." I think. Well, there you have it. Shout out to Amsterdam. If that is where What's he's he at, doing out there. Hopefully, he's enjoying himself. I, I heard you could really enjoy yourself in Amsterdam. You could really, really enjoy yourself in Amsterdam. So okay. salute him. Salute him. Well, he should be working hard. Yeah, work hard, play hard though. You gotta get you know work life balance, man. All right, and then you got Force Works Seven. He says, "My bad." He skipped addressing the press after his exit interview. Oh, that is there true. we go. I do yeah. remember that. He's okay. right. Yeah, because people yeah, we never heard about, about it. Yeah, that way better. Because I was like, we would have, we I don't know, we'd have remembered. It him wasn't good though. The exit I, remember, I remember you saying from a yeah. player standpoint, because like, you want to hear him, bro. Yeah. Like you, you got to every all Everybody the other players that. are yes. facing the media mm -hmm. if they're requested. Yes. Like, people want to hear from me. Like, and we know a lot of the music. questions surrounding at that time was, well, how do y'all feel about the quarterback stuff? Yeah. And he was a part of the quarterback stuff. It was like, yo, I think, didn't Mason talk? Mitch talk? Yeah. He was the only one that didn't. Yeah. So. All right. Uh, then we also had Ty Mo. Let me get Ty real quick. Ty Mo. Shout out to you, Ty Mo. He says, Kenny's downfall. I walked in. Started because of Zach Gentry. Could, could, I I need some explanation. Could, Deke, what is he what is he implying, bro? Kenny's downfall started because of Zach Gentry. Uh, maybe because Gentry was here for Kenny's rookie year and was a safety valve, a tight end. Hmm. Had a good depth to the room. Made consistent catches for Kenny. When Big target, him. but I say he was tall, dude. Yeah. I mean, is that what he's referring to? Yeah. Uh, Jason Wood, though, speaking of KP, says his farewell message threw more touchdowns than he did in Ooh. 25 starts. Dang, they're coming at my dog, bro. It's dog. Oh. <laughs> mm. ah. right, what does he mean by that? Ah. 
just back to back comments that you read, D. I don't know, bro. I don't know where you picking these comments from, bro. Nah. Um, we got GF. The 49ers just caught for payroll issues, but lost draft picks. Maybe they will lose a receiver. Hmm. Payroll issues. I missed that. Lost draft picks. I guess it just popped up. Hmm. Well, if they will lose a receiver, that's might be why they saying Ayuk. Then, if that's the case, then yeah, we'll definitely holler at Ayuk because we like Ayuk. Ayuk was cooking us this year. Yeah. Uh, well, speaking of 49ers, uh, Josh Dobbs signing with them. Shout out to Dobbs. He's the new Trey Lance. Let's go. <laughs> I ain't hating it. He's the new Trey Lance, bro. S. Dresden, if Bowers were within reach, take him. Weapon. Shout out to S. Dresden. And your regular comment, I just read what you said in the regular chat. You are wilding, bro. You are wilding. All right. Anywho, S. Dresden, if Bowers is in reach, I do agree. He's one of them dudes. But that's also going to be in the first round. Would you go Bowers in the first and then draft you a center? No. Second? Unless you trade Muth. Would you trade Muth to draft Brock Bowers then? What are you getting for Muth? What you think? He has, what, a year remaining on the deal? Yeah. Hasn't been extended. Mm -mm. Has been good, but not great. You can make the argument top 15, fringe 10, just based on, you know, availability and production. Still young. Hasn't had any significant surgical injuries. I think, what, third or fourth, maybe? Or probably fourth, fifth, maybe. Uh, keep moving. Yeah, that's what I'm like saying. Yeah, I think it's like fourth, fifth. I don't like that. Yeah. Second round pick, I'd like it. Call of Chicago. I think you get a second from Chicago. <laughs> Chicago, they, hey, Chicago, give him a second, bro. <laughs> I'm calling Chicago first before I call anybody. I'm calling Chicago. Hey, hey, how yeah. you feel about moving? I'm not going to say what I think. You tell me what you what you think first, and we'll start there. Because they might just be like, I think he's the first one. All right, well, let's talk then. Yeah. Could they? Omar's definitely letting them talk first, though. I feel like that. Omar's like, yo, what's your number? What you think he's worth? They're like, all right, what about a condition of six? Hey, well, you know what, man? I, I think you're right, buddy. I think you're right. What you think about Claypool? I think he's oh, you think you know, I hate to part with him now, but if you if you think he's worth that, I suppose I could do that. Yeah, bro. Mm-hmm. I don't think it's worth I don't think it hurts the call, bro. Just, hey, how you what you see in Pat Fry? I know you got Cole Komet over there, but what you see in Pat Fry? Well, you want a two tight end setup? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Maybe you just call him about anyone, right? Yeah, get a two tight end set up, bro. Just say, how do you feel about this guy? Yeah. Okay. You need a running back? It's, can't hurt. No, they actually just signed I know. Swift. I mean, it can't hurt. It's just a bad. You, you want thunder with that lightning. That's just thunder, though. That is true. If you if you want to go that route. Just, Chicago is the first team I'm calling from here on out, though, Trey. I'm calling them first. Now that I think about it, they the ones who paid Edmonds from Buffalo all that money. Yeah. Yeah. That Montez Sweat deal don't look bad for them, though. Respect. Well, and they, and they yeah. got the Caleb Williams pick yeah. now, too, yeah. for the Panthers. Facts, facts, facts. I think it's just with us. We're the kryptonite. Yeah. We, 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 that Carolina Panthers deal is unreal. That's an amazing deal right now for them, bro. Yeah. Like how we fleece them with Claypool. That, that's I mean, what they did. That's, yeah, yeah. That's their fleecing over there. That's mm -hmm. their uh, grand, like, I don't even know what you want to call it, the grand masterpiece <laughs> that, that Poles pulled off. <laughs> As Dresden, King Kong is cleaning house. Respect. Respect. I do like it, though, man. If you're not 100% here, bro, we we'll don't need you, man. We'll, we'll win without you, man. We'll figure it out. 828 Style says, the QB room is fire. I thought KPA trade was great because I would have traded him for a Pokemon card, and I felt like I came out on top. He knew he couldn't win and ran away. 828, could it at least be a holographic Pokemon card? Like, like you know what I'm saying? Holographic Pikachu, holographic Charizard. Like, can we, can we just make it a special. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, was, it, was it not Jake Paul? It's the Logan Paul. He got, like, the iced out, like, Charizard. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, holographic joint. It's supposed to be, like, all expensive. He's so it on a chain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, really? It's like a million dollar thing or something like that. Some type of, wherever he explains it. Oh, wow. So I'm like, if it was that, then yes for Kenny. But don't don't just, not no regular or regular Pokemon. You know, it can't be one with little bent edges, nah. Robert Williamson, Fields has the third worst fumble rate in NFL mm -hmm. history, worst sack rate in NFL history, and yeah. a 53 passer rating in the fourth quarter last season. How does anyone think he will be elite? 
the video is why the numbers are cool and the numbers will give you what you just regurgitated back to us and that is fine but if i asked you for context as to why those fumbles have happened if i asked you for the context as to why the pass rating is what it is i've asked you for the context as to why the sack rate is what it is that's what is legitimately missing when you just regurgitate stats regardless of if it's for or against the player I always encourage everybody to cut the tape on. If you cut the tape on, you will see legitimately why not just me, but plenty of current and former NFL players and NFL analysts, why we all feel very strongly about Phil's physical traits. That is the big reason why we think that he has a chance to be elite. Traits are what get guys drafted in the first round. You either have that or you don't have that. He has all of those things. Now, can he put it together consistently at a high level? That's what you want to see. And that's what we're hoping with Russell Wilson being here along with Arthur Smith, Coach Tomlin. The stability of the Pittsburgh Steelers organization, that's the mindset. That's the intent. But that is why we feel that he can be elite versus just simply regurgitating stats without any type of context. That's no different and not as a negative, but like when Deke would bring up and we're criticizing Kenny, he's like, well, he has a winning record. It's like, okay, well, what's the context behind it? If you don't give any context, it doesn't hold the same weight in terms of just the validity of the statement and just the weight that it can hold. So that's long answer short why I personally feel like he could still be elite even with the stats that you did read off. A Lopez. There's a couple other reasons. 499. Shout out to A Lopez, man. Let's ride, baby. Salute you, man, from the heart. We appreciate you. And we hope that we dropping, you know what I'm saying, some fire off content for y'all, man. Bro, we've been here for three of them things too, bro. We in the bag today, Deke. We in the bag today, Deke. We just getting after them, bro. So is the chat, though, too. They, no, They're making bro, fun. They locked in with us and we locked in with them, bro. And you got the taco meat out, bro. It just feels appropriate. It just feels appropriate, bro. Uh, A2A style, that Jay Russell comp would have changed my whole mind and made me mad if I was a KPA <laughs> fan because the reality would have set in. Deke, are you going to follow <laughs> the Eagles now? Hell no. Can't do that, bro. Can't no, do that. I don't, I don't, Can't do I don't, that. I could care less about the Eagles. Can't do that. <laughs> care less. <laughs> Uh, Yinsberg 88 Happy belated Moats Steak What jersey did you decide on For Russ Appreciate you Well Maybe the block That block is clean And I feel like Because that's the first one We've seen All of our minds are like Yeah I'm kind of Attached to it Yeah Because it did look Like I'm not even big on Block numbers But that looked clean When he put I'm like ooh Maybe that need to be the home. That's that's the regular. All I'm right. telling you, that, I, I've, <laughs> I've said that. I said we should have done that once Ben retired. Just, I was just throw the block, the block it, numbers permanently. Hey, it's the rest area now, bro. Throw the blocker on it, bro. Throw the, throw the blocker for rest, bro. What up, rest? <laughs> Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Oh. Ginsburg 88, happy. Uh, no, I just read that. Sorry. So nice you read it twice. We ain't tripping on that, bro. I like to get shouted out, bro. It's my whole birthday month. But I'm going to, you know, I, I, I took off the weekend. Sean McCartney says fish in Erie many times. I'll say walleye are the best yes. tasting freshwater fish. Also great for perch, bass, and steelheads in the fall. See, I've never done it in the fall. I was thinking it's only like a summer thing, man. Um, but yeah, I did hear about the walleye. That's what I really like. All right, I'm going to go off the rails for just a second. Bro, I've been hooked on just I want to try a walleye fish because when I first came to the NFL, my DC up in Buffalo, Okay. He would name our blitzes after like different fish and different places he's been. And we had this blitz called Walla. It was like a Walla fire. So I had never heard the term Walla. And I was like, yo, what does this even mean? And randomly we were talking, he's like, it was fish. And ever since then, I'm like, I want to try this fish. Mm. Just because you had a blitz called Walla. And yeah, I used to mess the call up all the time. It was like this little cross dog joint. You had to drop, oh, blew it most of the times. But it stuck in my head. And when I found out they got that, I'm like, I want to catch one of them. And I usually don't even take the fish home. I'm going to, like, if I ever catch a walleye, bro, I'm taking it with me, bro. Okay. It's coming with me. So, yeah, shout out to the walleye, though. I just had to, I'm sorry. Just, nah, I go, bro. Good story. Just remind me of that, man. Justin yeah. Gordon. Shout out, the, shout out to the fishers out there. Uh, Y'all still got the pre-birthday super leftovers. So, we got about a couple pieces of cake left, though. Okay? The cake's been fired. The red velvet, shout out to Bella Christie, okay? Shout out to Wifey. 
that's about all we got left over though. All, all that steak is gone. All the food is gone. Tyler from the three three four, all these supers, we should do a fundraiser for a local food bank or something. <laughs> also, Vince Williams said NFL is like WWE. God bless the chat and let's ride. Hey, respect, man. Respect. I mean the entertainment is there, one hundred percent, man. And um we actually do do a good amount of give it back too, man. We we actually sponsor multiple things, man. Um, yeah, shout out to Minithon going over at South Fay at Four Diamonds. Also, we talked about the leukemia and lymphoma society. We dropped the video on that on this channel. We also contributed to them as well, man. So just know we all going full circle with this thing, baby. All right, impact on impact on impact. Force work seven. Ben Roethlisberger threw as many touchdowns against the Colts in a game six in 2014 as Pickett did in a whole season. Franchise quarterback might be behind. Dang. Well. I was there for that game too, D. Well, yeah, I watched it. That was a fun one. Well, yeah, I mean. That was a fun one. If you're going to bring up pro, pro Ben stats up, then I'm, I'm not really going <laughs> to. It's whatever. Yeah, that's, I, that's why I never wanted to get rid of Ben in the first place. So, <laughs> You know D go get behind any of that. Any of them stats he's getting behind, bro. Yeah, I, I, to be honest with you, yeah, I never wanted to move on from Ben. So that means – we would have never had Pickett in his rookie season, drafted Pickett. We would have had Ben in 2022. 20, uh, Most likely win the division, make the playoffs, and who knows, going to run. And then, yeah, uh, does Ben come back last for uh, 2023, just this last year? Who knows? Does he want to hang it up? I don't, who knows? But I, he wanted to come back in 2022. The organization should have never ran him out of town. And we wouldn't have had Pickett. We wouldn't have had Pickett, Trubisky, or it wouldn't have played out this way and we shouldn't have had Canada either fired Canada and bring in whoever Ben wanted that's what should happen uh, Mark the Guru Baltimore Gaming word on the street is oh okay interesting so that's why the uh, I, ain't, I ain't see what you said I, I missed that that's, that's why the comment was brought up huh what are you talking about what the, the prior comment oh 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 hold Hey, all right, all right. I just peeped what you said. See, I was checking my cellular and I missed that comment. That's, that's why it was. Yeah, brought up, all so. right. Shout out to Mark the Guru for um uh, for the information. But um, yeah, we gonna we gonna pass that one if that's all right with you, Mark. We or Mac, we appreciate you providing some uh, some clarity. But yeah, on man. why the why the initial comment? Yeah, was yeah. But we we go we just. Uh, I don't want no parts of any of that, all right? I want no parts of that or that. We 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 innocent over here. So we appreciate your comment, but we just go we go go to the next comment. All right. You're saying that's not how we do business. Eh? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's not the steal away. That's 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 not the that's not this that's that's not our way. Okay. We, we we don't we don't we don't get into that. All right. Yeah, we're we're peace, love, tranquility, and we're we're pro peace, love, and tranquility. Okay, and that's that. We just yeah. Nope. Yep, I'm good. I missed that dead. See, that was wondering why you was talking like that. I'm over here like multi I'm like, bro, why you keep standing the same I just, thing? Yeah, I was I didn't <laughs> yeah. want to read the I was just I like, I appreciate okay. you on that though. Uh, yeah. I, I was I guess, sleep at the will. I was sleep at the will. I'm glad you caught that, bro. Yeah, definitely don't. Yeah. Just yeah, don't wanna Yeah, we won't do that. <laughs> uh S Dresden, Cloud and Justin mm. in the past, but the reality has always been the, that the kid could be a champion if he cleans up his game. And that's the reason a lot of people are fans of Justin, man, are excited about what he brings. Whether you're talking Chicago or even here in Pittsburgh, even some of the other potential plays that he could have landed. Atlanta. There's people in Atlanta. They're like, bro, we wish we'd have Fields instead of Kirk Cousins for $180 million. Justin Fields, in terms of the intangibles, he has every single thing that you want in your quarterback right now. In terms of the physical traits, he has all of that type of stuff. But as we've shown you numerous times, and I think the combine is a good depiction of that also, it doesn't matter if you have the traits of your great a crazy athlete. It's a difference between being fast, strong, and having these traits and actually being skilled and understanding how to play these positions. And that's the difference of why you got guys like myself who isn't 6'4", 260, isn't any type of, you know, crazy specimen but can last as long while you're still out there with some of them dudes because it's like yo skill matters just as much as those traits as that athletic ability and for fields we just think that you can marry both and if you can get both things to hit man you got your guy the same way they you know 
talk about how Lamar impacts the games and the struggles that it is playing against him or how Josh Allen impacts the games and the struggle it is playing against him or Justin Herbert and how he impacts the game and the struggle is to go against him. Justin Fields is the same type of animal, the exact same type of animal. We just got to see if it's going to actually grow up like that or here or not, man. But I love the fact that we got a Russ here to to really put them hands on that thing and help, you know, develop it. AJ Martinez, get on the iron, Mr. Diggler. Bring the pain. P.S. Watch out for the poo-poo ladies. Yuck af. 5-5 five, five is fire. Deke News. Fire chat is fire. I'm on fire. J.K. Nah, you big fire, bro. Big fire. And I always love you, man. You already know that. Major respect. Major respect. AJ be on one, bro. Shout yeah. out to AJ. And, 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 and Rita. And, yeah. Yeah. No. Yep. And the cheetah. Because the cheetah made an appearance this weekend, too. Shout out to the cheetah. Okay. Yeah. BJ Bat. What about drafting Talia you know I like in the later rounds? You know I like him. As QB3. What are your you thoughts? You know I like him. I like him. I like him a lot, bro. Oh, yeah. Didn't I say I didn't yeah. mind him? I watched some of the highlights. Yeah. I didn't mind him. I like his game. Smooth cat. Got the little RPO game. Bro, low key. Get, get a little brace. Got some brace on him. Yeah. He's a little quarterback. That's the only thing. He's a little guy. But I like him. And especially when you talk about as a third quarterback flyer. And tell me he don't fit the same model of what we already have in terms of Justin Fields, Russell Wilson. So Russ is like 5'11", right? Yeah. He's probably I mean, shorter than that. Isn't he, is he listed like he, that? He like 5'10", 225. You know, he just he built like a, a, a running back. Yeah. That's my thing. I'm like... Bro, you could have three of them dudes, all very similar makeup, all fit Arthur Smith system, so you don't have to worry about changes as guys develop or if injuries happen. You know, it's not like you're going from athlete to pocket passer to whatever, you know? Yeah, they got him 5'11 on Google. Yeah, he ain't no 5'11. What do you think the combine height was? 5'10, 5'9, and 3 fourths. Ah. What they have him as? Hold on. The one site had him 5'11". Okay, okay. With the yeah, 5'11". 5'11", all right. 5'11", Respect on then. NFL.com. Respect. I like that 5'11". 10 and uh, one-fourth hand. What was Kenny's? 10 and one-fourth inch hand. Uh, well, he grew it. What, 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 what the combine, though? Because Russ could have grown his, too. I was just, just <laughs> apples to apples. You know. I think Kenny's was eight and a half at the combine. and uh, You said Russ was how big? Ten and fourth, bro. That's like a grown man to a kid. All right, what about Phils? Was Phils well, got Kenny's the little did, hands uh, too? Kenny's did grow to eight and three fourths for pro day. Respect, respect, respect. What, what about Fields? Phils? We're looking up. Who, 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 who's bigger? Who, whose hands is bigger? I got between do, Fields and Russ. hands. Yeah. No, 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 no. Between Fields and Pickett as well, just because we know Russ is ten, ten and a, you said ten and a four, right? I think Russ is gonna win. Yeah. I think there is something like he has like, like massive the, hands, bro. Yeah, it's like it, it was actually like I mean, you watch when he's out there doing all that. Yeah. All right, hold on. It's crazy though that his hands is that nine much and good. one eighth for Fields. That's like Burrow. That's like Burrow and Mahomes. Yeah, because they say get over nine. Nine is the magic number, right? Dang. Yeah, I think Burrow was nine. Uh, I think Mahomes is like nine too. So he's got the perfect hand size. Your boy was a little bit undersized, and then Russ is like well, massive Vic, size. Vic got eight and a half. Vic is Vic, though. That's different. You know. Not everybody got what Vic got. I'm just saying it didn't stop Vic. No, 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 no. But not everybody got what Vic got. Vic Vic got eight and a half with stupid foe, too, and any lefty swag. It's just, that's a whole nother. That that hand didn't stop him from having a cannon arm. Yeah, that's that's a whole nother ball. You've seen the Michael Vic experience. You've seen the commercial. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Okay. Now, WrestleMania asked, did Kenny get dumped by handstands also? Or is he still the face of the product? Like, what was no, going on? I know you had some issues he, with D-Hop. He denied. No, Kenny, uh, yeah, he denied use of it. So I think the That's company thing, folded you know, after that. That's his thing. He don't, he don't really like to rock with y'all. He don't, don't want to put the feet in the fight. Just, I'm, I'm going to holler at you. I don't want this company no more. He went. He said, trade me to another company. He said, give me Rogue Game. I'm going to get just for me. All right. There ain't nothing wrong with that, bro. Man. Just for hands. <laughs> yeah. AJ Martinez says Tito the King, the master of life. Shout out to Tito. Tito, I'm telling you now, bro. I like your energy, bro. I like your energy. All right. I'm about to just follow Tito. I don't even care. I'm just putting my job right now. I'm going to follow, follow him. I'm about to follow him right now. I'm just letting you know right now, Tito, because I just like your energy, bro. Like how your energy is, man. All right. Ronaldo Gutierrez gave us two bucks. Shout out, shout out. Respect. 
from the heart. We do appreciate you. I'm just over here working on, you know, sending this follow real quick. Give me one second, man. Justin All Gordon right. says, leftover super chats from the last episode. Yes. I still have those saved. Absolutely. Absolutely. This was my dilemma, though, because I did not know how much we were going to get into it today. Hmm. I'm just going to do a separate one. I would do a separate video like I did last week. Just to knock those out, I would drop that tomorrow time frame, though, all right? Because, yeah, I was thinking it was going to get like this today because it is 7.30. So, yeah, it is 7.30. But I have all them super saved. So, trust me, they're getting it. They would have got answered this weekend if it wasn't for Kenny getting traded and then mm. Phil's coming in here because that changed all the Kinda weekend plans. Switched yeah, switched up the precedent. Yeah, that changed what everything. Gotta focus on. Yeah, that changed everything. But I'm, I'm officially following you now, Tito. We locked in, baby. All right, we locked in. So heck yeah, man. But um We got uh one more here. Yeah. Major Martinez, Nas, Cody X, Tito Beast Vibes, Feel the Burn. Let's go, Miss Trita. Love. Let's go. Let's go. Shout out to Miss Trita one time for the culture. So you got Trita and Rita. Don't forget that, bro. Don't forget that. Salute them then, man. Salute them all. I like it. I like it, man. Alright. So, that's how we're gonna do it then. That will be it for today because it is 730 and I do got to go, you know, do the whole husband, family, you know, but this was communicated. So I ain't reckless out here. D just know that we ain't gonna reckless. Be a big time we ain't reckless. Yeah. She already knew coming in. All right. Communication, fellas, ladies and gentlemen, communication, communication. All right. But those supers from Thursday show, I do have them all locked in. So I will be dropping a solo vid. Like I said, some point in time tomorrow, man, answering the rest of those that did come in. I right? just give you all the heads up on that. But other than that, man. Bro, this has been a heck of a day today, bro. Man, heck a of a day. day. I like it, man. You got anything on the back end before we tap up out of them? Nah, screw the NCAA tournament. There it is. If JMU don't win it all, it's screw the NCAA. Definitely screw the women's side because our, our girls' team got jipped. I'm throwing it out there right now. Our, our ladies' team got jipped. They should have been in the dance. They ain't get the dance, all right? So I'm with you. But other than that, when in doubt, it's true for the Dukes, all right? So hit that like button one more again on the back end. Don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, baby. Peace.